<laughs> this is what peak performance looks like. <laughs> you may not like it. But this is what peak performance looks like. <laughs> Damn, lean back, girl. Holy shit. You ever lean back so hard your face just goes in on itself? Y'all ever, y'all ever really leaning back? <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's some, that's some good shit right there. What's up, girl? <laughs> when you see a fine young thing walking down the street. <laughs> Oh God, holy shit. <laughs> 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 Genuine Italian sausage. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Right in the middle of nowhere, we're trying to take come back. Train, I barely knew ye. Oh, train, I barely knew ye. One day, train will join me. Oh, train, why did you leave me? All right, well, time to reset, I guess. Though, we, we kept up with that for like seven hours, so I guess that's incorrect. Oh! Dorsal save me. <gasps> oh. Oh. Did we lose anything? Are we? Are we good? I got you. I got you covered. Okay, what is it? All it's a. Uh, Oh shit. There we go. Oh shit, you can change seats while driving? Oh! We got it. Gamers! <laughs> Big Pogs, can I get some clippies in chat? Where are all my clippy clips? Uh. What are you building a legacy? <laughs> <laughs> oh god what a great what a great choice of words for that a legacy <laughs> an affront to god is also true got it or two coming I'm about to milk that ass 
Well, it's time to milk my cow. <laughs> well, it's time to milk my cow. Hey, I am Devil. I have bad news for you. You are dead, but there is good news as well. This is clinical death. Find and defeat me to get back to the farm. You have a very long way to go. You will have to kill my demon friends and make your way over the lava. Good luck, Jacob. Okay, so Jacob in his infinite dishonesty as a farmer was killed by a cow, banished to the TV dimension, and then the devil, he said, get back here, Jacob, you sinner. Oh, man. The fucking suspension on that dodge dart is out of hand. It's not a dodge dart, it's a VW Golf Mark 1, maybe, sort of. I don't know, Eboero! <laughs> Woo! Damn! Oh man, we're still going. <laughs> Look how it just keeps going. Look what everywhere has done. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, God, that's funny. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I gotta get Ben out of there. Ben, I'm coming. Don't sit on it. Oh god! Oh no! It is, it's gone. It's gone downhill. Literally, it's gone downhill. Man, I'm so confident in our current setup that I think I I could drive at night with this. Like we can we can fall asleep with the wheel. I think we could do it. You guys think we could do it? Time to grab another fridge. Oh, another blow up doll for our collection. Got it. Got it. <laughs> because why go overkill when you go ultra kill? Good. Always go ultra kill. What the hell is happening? Oh no. Oh chat. Oh. Oh. I don't know if like he's gone. He's gone. He's he's out. The West, uh, <laughs> Revenge of the Jackalope! No! <laughs> there he is! He's terrifying! I hate him! You think we're laughing with you? Bless your heart. Don't you dare. Don't you dare ever use the words of my people against me. Don't you dare. You think you've earned the right for Bless Your Heart? You don't even know. You don't even know. How many shitty country club gatherings have you been to full of nothing but wasps? I haven't been to any. <laughs> I haven't been to any. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> really, you just have to be from the South to hit somebody with bless your heart. Welcome you're to the bits. <laughs> You're pre You're pre-qualified. It's like, uh, what is it? Natural... Natural... Natural citizenship. I am from MS and I have heard bless your heart. Look, I don't know what Minnesota has got to do with this. <laughs> I'm going in. I'm going in. Red VLC and walk now at least.
I'm going to do guacamole and, and horchata. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like a smooth, creamy. Oh my god. Who, why would they make these? Who was this made for? Who was fucking sitting there one day at Brax and they're like, ooh, boy, wouldn't it be great if jelly beans taste like a fucking fat filled diaper? Oh boy, put some Tabasco in it. God. Who owns Brax? Now, when all the radios are going... See, I have radios in different fridges all tuned to the same station. But the Doppler effect will start, and you're going to love it once we're driving. We got the water, it's fine. Everything's cool. Bitch shit up. Is we kept going and like we ended up doing re engine replacement on the truck but it was really crazy because we had to reload because the game fucked up so then we had to get a different engine it was actually the original engine we had so we had to refill that with oil so we put that all back in got everything locked and loaded started driving for like hours and hours and hours and then eventually we hit a fucking hole in the road or something and the truck went flying out of control we lost everything that was in the back but we found this really cool sports car and then we tried to switch everything to the sports car but then the sports car didn't have all the shit we needed for it so it didn't have like the oil it didn't have like the coolant or whatever so we had to try and swap everything over but we didn't have all the ingredients we needed to get this fucking thing up running in the first place so what we decided was we were just going to coast truck down the hill and then we took the truck down the hill had to bail out of truck at one point because i tried to grab something off the road and then i didn't put the handbrake on so it kept rolling down the hill and then it got all the way down to this bus that was in like the middle of nowhere and then there was this bus and then we got in the bus and truck kept going but then we thought the truck had delivered us to a bus and i got with the bus and then the bus was sitting there and we got the bus and then it all went downhill and unfortunately the bus let us back to the truck but then we realized the truck had gotten fucked up because it had just gone crazy down the hill so we was missing like a tire, missing like a door, all this other shit. And... Hello, hello everybody and welcome to Wednesday! Hopefully everybody's having a good day and if you're not having a good day it might get better now because we're gonna be doing some stupid bullshit on video game land in video game land outside of video game land all of the thing <laughs> i i can't get over needles describing uh describing lucas alexander as weirdly rich wizard singer who sings queen of hearts because i don't think i've ever heard a more apt description for that man in my life like i don't think i've ever heard anything like that that pretty much nails it directly Like, I mean, that is like, that's, that's part, right as I said that, Kale just like busted, that, he just like Kool-Aid man in the door. He just came in, he was like, Meh. and he just, he just bopped in. I am officially, ladies and gentlemen, you may hear the squeaking periodically on some streams from this mic stand that I have had no shit since like 2014. And uh, you will be happy to know I finally ordered a new one. Oh my God, can you believe it? Maybe you'll never hear the squeak ever again in your life. Who knows? That's with how like how like noise resistant this microphone is, and yet still you can like bing, 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 bing. Druids was strong. Ooh, I'm live. I'm li I'm live for every Wednesday, and both hoping for dreading, hoping and dreading for something to be as good as Druids. Hey man, we've had like several days of uh, the long drive, and I'm gonna be honest. I think the long drive has been way funnier than Druids. Druids is like really funny in its own right, but long drive has just been like an absolute fucking content machine. Like, it's unbelievable. I'll never forget the sexy lizard in Limbo. I don't even remember the sexy lizard in Limbo. I don't think I need to be reminded of the sexy lizard in Limbo, though. But, like... Oh, this is what... We've seen... This is our Soviet grace. We see Soviet once every... I think it's, like, four and a half months. I don't know what the cycle is. It might actually have something to do with the, uh... It might have something to do with the moon. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty positive it's got something to do with that. Something to do! Also, Steak was asking if people could recognize everything that's on the stream dick. Uh, which is which is fun because there there is still stuff in this that people have not seen. 
which is kind of amazing. There's some pretty obvious ones that people have, of course, called out, but, uh, yeah, no, there are things that people have still not gotten, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. This has been up for a few months now. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, sorry, I had to hit the old, uh, I had to hit the old thing. Pookie always giving you that, that side eye. I don't know, is Pookie, I don't even see Pookie up there. Where is he? Where is he? I don't even see him. I don't even know if I remember all the, uh, all the stuff on the stream, dick. The fuck is this, little dino nix? What the hell is, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. What, it, oh, that's Tessie, dude. That's Tessie. God damn, is Tessie old enough to not be recognized now? Oh my god. What did, what did we call what did we call Tessie Nick? Was he was he Nessie? No, because Nessie wouldn't make sense. That's like the that's the actual name. No, it's not. Tessie's the actual name. I don't know what the name is. I don't know what anything is anymore. Everything's just an illusion. The illusion. The illusion. Wait, wait, wait. Glass, are you implying that Poogie's eyes move? Is that what you're saying? Or are you saying he's just giving us the side glance? What are we what is the what is the implied cation? I don't know. I don't know any of it. I decided to do the do the swept back hair tonight. I'm going in I'm going in deep on like full super villain. I'm going in deep cuz it was driving me crazy, so I was like whatever, dude, we're brushing it back. We're going full super villain. Full full villain. Like I feel like I'm I feel like I'm about to give a speech. Guess what was on sale for the first time in like a year. It has been so long. It was like a dollar 50 at Whole Foods. I was like, "Oh, my God, because I swung at Whole Foods to get something. I don't remember what the fuck it was. Oh, the the, the Italiano? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. No, we're leaning into it. Yeah, we're doing the mob boss tonight. Yeah, it was a, it was a great price, man. As I was like, damn, I'm actually going to have a high ball. It's been weird. Uh, It's been weird drinking an energy drink. I think that's the first time I've had one in, like, fucking six months. Uh, granted, I mean, this is one of the seltzer water ones, but still, you know how it is. What all has been happening tonight? We got Zaris. Yeah, I see stuff happening there. I don't know what the hell that is. Zaris gifting out a sub to Soviet. Six months, as a matter of fact, which is a very long time. Zaris, thank you for being the cool dude that you are all the time. For dragging Soviet on the bus. I do appreciate it. You are the bomb. It tastes like fruit was waved over water. Uh, yeah, kind of. It feels like, um... It feels like somebody, somebody mentioned that their granddad worked in the fruit industry for a little while while standing next to a, a glass of seltzer. I rewatch the old Mountain Blade Italiano VODs from time to time. It's always interesting to me to see VODs that people go back to because, like, they're VODs that I forget about sometimes. Um, there, name, name a VOD you go back to, and I'm gonna see if I even remember, like, if I even remember any of the jokes or any of the gags from it at all. Because, like, there are times where I swear I don't remember, like, anything about them. Okay, I definitely remember Deadly Prim. I remember some of the, some of the jokes and some of the stupid stuff from that. Neo 2 was a long time ago. <laughs> it, was, it was a long time ago. Well, the Neo 2 uh, demo that we played, that was a long time ago. Wide Nick, I remember that one. I mean, that one. Wide Nick's a little bit harder to do than it used to be. Because OBS got less jank. <laughs> like, I love, how, I love how one of those stupid jokes is actually harder to do. Because OBS got somehow less jank. Did I even put up on Steam that I was doing this? I, the Steam, the Steam alert is probably the most useful, useless alert that we have, and I think I'm gonna stop using it. Because I don't think anybody in the Steam group has those alerts on, so it's probably a good idea to just not. Oh god, Radical Relocation, I remember that. Legend of Dragoon. There's, Legend of Dragoon, I think, has a comfort quality to it, because it's so damn long, but like, it's also fun and stupid. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. You know, how, you know how it is. You know how it is. Why am I looking at cock hot sauce? Why am I looking at that? Why am I looking at that in my Discord right now? Yeah, no, I finally ordered a new fucking mic arm because this one is this one has been squeaky for such a long time. And you may not be able to hear it, but it drives me nuts. Because, like, every time I move, it's like... <laughs> I'm like, please stop. Uh, LOD was seriously a light in the dark for us. It was a bad place in, uh, in time, and you made us smile and laugh. Well, thank you so much, Azuri. That means a lot. I'm glad, I'm glad you guys, uh, yeah, it's probably small for you guys, which think about that. My mic is really good at picking, like not picking up stuff. Like if I talk over here, I mean, it's like, cuts out, it cuts out a lot, even like super basic stuff, right? So like, if it picks up whatever, oh, I've tried everything and it eventually, I even used silicone lube on it 
And uh, it worked for a little bit, and then it was, you know, like, no, nah, never mind, I'm done. <laughs> Just never mind, I'm done. Yeah, Garrison finally ran into Piss Cat, which is very exciting. Piss Cat's a, a beautiful person. Oh, the Chikage run? Oh, I remember that. Yeah, God. That was a, that was a fun one. That was a fun one. <sighs> Limbo the Lost. That was a good one, too. Yeah, somebody, like I said, somebody was inquiring the other day about the older VODs and if they'll make their way to YouTube, and they will. It's just, I have to figure out how I'm going to do it, because that's going to be, that's going to be an, an, an endeavor. I just wish, like, Spectrum would give me, like, a 100 megabit upload, because that would make life a lot easier. It just takes so long to upload these big-ass VODs on, like, a 23 megabit upload. <laughs> yeah, things like Vietnamese Crystal, because I would start, if we were doing that, I would start at, like, late 2016, early 2017. That way, we can go ahead and get those done, so... Yep, Garrison, that's the whole intent. That's the whole intent. Speaking of lube, mayo is just food lube. Why does it have to be like this? Why does it have to be? Oh, dude, I got I got pretty good down. I'm, I'm at like 560 megabits down or something like that. So it's fine. The down is fine, but the upload is absolutely poop. And I would agree, yes, many sauces are indeed food lube. Which, by the way, this is the third Whacked Out Wednesday in a row, in a row that we're doing. Which, uh, apparently, Sake was letting me know that they were able to get Ninja Blast working. Uh, oh, you have, you have one up and down. Damn, that's simultaneous dual band, which is, uh, which is apparently illegal. Shit's illegal, dude. Shit's illegal, dude. But yeah, this is the third Whacked Out Wednesday in a row. I'm pretty excited to, uh, pretty excited to, to do that, which is, I mean, like, we just, we just haven't done very many Whacked Out Wednesdays, but I've been in the mood to do them lately, and there's also been some games. Now, this game was actually sent to me by Deranged Optician. It is called the Diddy of Carmiana, and it is—it just came out a few days ago. And part of me feels like it's got some Candace DeBeebe going on, like they are absolutely aware that they're making like some dog shit. But it also kind of seems like good. Like I, I know that's probably hard to describe, but that—that's kind of how Candace DeBeebe ended up, where it was like, God, this is so stupid. And then I'm like, Why am I invested in this? <laughs> I'm just like, Why? Why am I invested in this? What is happening? Oh, it's actually just Greether too. Oh man, that's a good one. That's a good one. I do love Greether. What what would hap whatever happened to the dude that made Greether? You think he's like dead or something? I hope not. I uh, ordered some tacos because whatever, because there was apparently a special going on. So I was like, oh shit, they were doing like five dollars off. If you ordered like fifteen dollars, so I was like, damn, damn, that's a deal. That's a deal. What do you mean, if Candace wasn't? Candace is one of my favorite games ever. Thank you very much, Candace Dabibi. Uh, Candace Dabibi too is not one of my favorites. That one's pretty shit. Uh, gameplay wise, but Candice to 3B will probably will probably be pretty good. I don't even know what the working title is. It might be Candice to BBB. I have no idea. My name is Greether. I got too drunk last night. I'm running through the town. I'm gonna save you with my knife. <laughs> I forgot about that. Candice dick in your mouth. We got him. Ho! I'm, I'm just shocked nobody's made the joke because like I, I expected it last the last uh, Wednesday like oh do you act out Wednesdays in a row need money <laughs> you fucking Nick need money John with the 420 says bitter blaze it oh that's right it is 420 wow I totally forgot Taco Bell's probably slammed no wonder Taco Bell's running a special holy shit I didn't even think about that I didn't even think about that yet. If you guys want to hear the old alert, it's the 420 notification. So if you want to fucking live in nostalgia land, there you go. That's the one. That's the one. Don't forget to leave out milk, milk, milk and cookies for Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg would probably just mime eating the milk and cookies on like, like he did that Twitch stream that one time where he just didn't play the game. He just pretended. None of my high school students made 420 jokes in my hearing. I am shocked, I tell you. I'm actually pretty shocked too, to be honest with you. Pretty shocked. What if I just turned off alerts for anything under 420 and just... What if I turned off everything but 420 and people just forced into that shit? Just forced into it. Why are we even pretending anything will quite live up to long drive? Because we have to continue moving forward. I can't live in long drive forever. That doesn't... I don't even think that... Uh, I don't even think that I'm, I'm done with long drive, but you know... We must, we must continue pressing forward. <laughs> we must not tarry. We're not doing beans tonight. That that fucking taste sat in my mouth all night, and it was horrible. I had fucking salsa bean in my throat for years. Just absolutely years. 
Oh, damn. King Boo's leading in bits. Holy shit. Holy shit! He's unstoppable. He's got Dogma Beat and Exertion Beat. He's got a beat. He's number one. Forever. Forever. And this is Jinka Kuro's link, link, by the way. I, I never noticed the man's hoodie. The stringies look like chicken feet. <laughs> look, they look like little chicken feet. <laughs> Which makes his head look like maybe the chicken head itse itself or something. I don't know, dude. Hey, Fate. Oh, who else is here? Sassbrilla? Rock and Roller? Every Whoever anybody is joining us. You fucking face looks like chicken feet. This is the proper working title for that game. What is it? Honestly, with the advent of Can Three Dries, you know what? It's no, there's no point in ever reading any of Candice's stuff. Honestly, with the advent of Candice, the merchandising opportunities will be endless. A Marlin toothbrush, an Extobel yogurt, yogurt, all of these will be possible and more. I just the 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 Twitter account for Candice is again the longest longest con I have ever seen in my life. I mean, like, they have just been doing this for years, and, like, doesn't matter. Yeah, can D 3 c It's, I mean, it's great. It's a good name. It's a good name. What you cooking, Solus? Doomer Femboy Wojak. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Is that the name of, is that the name of that dank meme? I don't know the, I don't know the names of these memes. Oh, no, I mean, I, I cannot believe how long they have pushed it. I mean, like, it's it's unbelievable. Like, it is so, so, so powerful, and they just continue. And, like, half the time, they're doing it to, like, nobody. Like, nobody's paying attention. And yet, there they are. There they are. Thank you, King Boo, with the $11. Thank you, Jigakuro, with the $2. Thank you, Shaw, with the $4.20. Thank you, King... Oh, not for those. And then Zaris with the six months. The Soviet. Thank you guys for the gifted subs and for the dollars. And then for this, what is this? A PSA of a pizza. Why does that link load? Like, what is that shit? Why does that work? If you come to, if you come to the ER with titanium cock ring that you cannot get off, our ring cutters are not sharp or strong enough to cut it, which will result in us having to call the fire department to get their diamond saw. And this is a very undesired experience for everyone involved. Well, at least, you know, I mean, at least, at least, at least we got that PSA out. That's good. Thanks for the PSA, Alana Kinrich, whatever your name is. I'm, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. What? I, I am being reminded that we have PO box tonight, which I was trying to get to that, but Eric is screaming from the other room to do the PO box. Um, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to get there. Sounds like the voice of experience. She probably is like an ER nurse or something like that. Probably, probably, probably. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Making chicken casadas. Oh, damn, dude. That sounds, that sounds pretty good. That sounds fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, we do have a PO box. I forgot to put it in the tweeter, but I put it in the title. Uh, now this one is in a box box. It's a P.O. box box. Now last night we had uh, a wonderful package from Needles, who I don't know if Needles is here yet, but it was wonderful. It had a frog hat and a shirt and a hoodie and all kinds of cool stuff in there. And then Annie of Fairy sent us a literal death in the form of taco flavored jelly beans, which is, I again, I'm going to find who made those at Brax and I'm gonna have, I just wanna talk. I just wanna talk. I just wanna talk to him. I just wanna talk to him. I just wanna talk to him with my mouth words. And uh, I just wanna talk. That's all I want to do. I just want to find who made them, and I just want to have a conversation about it. I just, just want to have a conversation. I just, just want to, just want to talk. What is that from? That's from something. Like, I know the joke, I just want to talk, but like, it's like threatening is the thing. I feel like that was from, was it from Family Guy? God damn, dude. <laughs> I just want to talk. I just want to talk. On that topic, weirdly enough, one of my friends is an ER doctor and absolutely warns everyone against titanium wedding bands because if you get extreme swelling in that hand, they cannot get it off. Uh, it may result in self-amputation. Yes, she has seen it personally. Oh, I'd believe it, man. I'd believe it. Mine is a uh, tungsten, which is a stone. So oh, it's like a stone-based thing. I'm pretty sure they could cut this off if they needed to. Mine just, mine comes off pretty easy, though. I don't, mine like actually fits. So, I mean, if I was swelling up, I suppose it would be a problem, but I'm pretty sure they could, I'm pretty sure they could get Oh yeah, tungsten is like a metal, I guess. I'm thinking of something different. 
What's that other like? What's that other thing that's like similar to tungsten, but it's like a it's like a stone base kind of, but it doesn't matter anyway. It doesn't matter. Whatever. There's something that's like really similar to to tungsten. I can't remember what the hell it is. These nuts. Whoa! Got him. Well, obsidian's like glass, isn't it? Yeah, it, uh, tungsten is really heavy. It, it's a pretty it's a pretty heavy wedding ring. But yes, no, I'm so excited about my new mic stand because like this poor thing, this poor thing's been. This thing has seen it, and honestly, I'm very proud of it, but it is it is crumbling. <laughs> this, this poor thing is just crumbling. I just want to kill him. <laughs> I just want to kill him, yeah. Also, thank you again, Jiggy Kuro, for the $2. Uh, I was checking something really quick here. I want to turn on the AC a little bit, and then uh, we are going to... Uh, we're going to get going. Is that the heat? No, oh, thankfully, that's not on right now, but... Yeah, no, we're going to... We're gonna do that. I'm also keeping an eye out for Taco Land because I got some. I, I just really wanted some fucking nacho fries, to be honest with you. I love those things. Now I gotta model a new one. No, you don't. It actually looks really similar. It actually looks similar. I think you're joking, anyway. Uh, the Jigga Curl with another two dollars. Mm. Mm mm mm. There were so many good links yesterday. I have a backlog. Trust no one. <laughs> This actually works because I had to scroll down. It's like, trust no one. It's like, especially snake hands, Jimmy. His hands are snakes. You found the clip? Oh, is this the, I just want to talk? Dad, please don't do this. You can't make him marry me. <laughs> I just want to talk to him. Why do you have a shotgun? I just want to talk to him. Dad, this is ridiculous. I just, I just want to talk to him. Gunway. I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. I just want to shoot him. I just want to talk to him. You can't shoot him. Wait, what? I just want to talk to him. I'll load this stupid ass gun. You want some tacos? I'm pretty sure you can find a jelly bean alternative. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we could too. On the kitchen table right now, as a matter of fact. Yeah, it ends with I just want to shoot him, which is great. I, I have to be, I have to be leery of any clip that's from like anything of any renown because that means I'm probably we're probably getting. Is this Annie's PO box? No, we did that last night. No, I've ta I did the the suffering with that last night. Apparently the the tacos are almost here. Oh, never mind the tacos. The tacos are officially here. I'm gonna go grab that really quick and then we're gonna PO box. Don't leave. Don't do anything weird while I'm gone.
yeah, yeah. Trust no one, especially Snake Hands Jimmy. Got Snake Hands. All right, who did it? Who done did it? Is that the Stephen King? Oh my God. Okay, I saw this the other night too. I want to read. This is actually in my brain. I thought about this earlier. So Stephen King said, dinner, get a nice salmon filet at the supermarket, not too big, put some olive oil and lemon juice on it, wrap it in a damp paper towel and nuke it in the, nuke it in the microwave for three minutes or so. Eat it, maybe add a salad. And somebody Small just said, I don't know where the reply is, but it's way better than, what are these top replies? These suck. Where's the good one? Where the fuck is the, there was like a good ass reply to this. It's not even at the top anymore. No, there it is. It was this is this is the shortest horror story you've ever written. That's the one. God damn, what's with these doo-doo replies? Cause like this asshole over here like would rather do this. Like stop adding to the joke, man. <laughs> stop, stop adding to the joke. Just fuck. may not be a joke though. Stephen King might actually be out there rapping that bitch and like rapping that bitch in the wet and just being like, this is it. I posted flower balls. That is my weird. Do we know for sure that Stephen King was dead serious? Do we know? Maybe that's like, maybe that's like the sequel to like Misery. Unless that's already got a sequel, which that I would believe too. That I would believe too. Considering the date, would you recommend nacho fries on your life? Uh, okay, so nacho fries are tricky because sometimes they're extremely good. Sometimes they suck. It depends on how much dust they put on them. If they are thoroughly dusted, they're incredible. And if they're nice and crisp, also cr also incredible. Most of the time, they are. However, I've gotten nacho fries a few times where they were not dusted to the full extent. I just get the nacho cheese and don't use it because the dust is so damn good. So if the dust is good and they're crispy, fantastic because then they're basically just crispy fries with like some nacho seasoning on them now if they don't have if they're not properly dusted or anything like that they're a little sog they're not nearly as good my supplier in college was cheated on by his longtime girlfriend and he decided to get revenge by fucking her dad he was gonna fuck her mom but like her dad was straight up dilf material so he changed his target this isn't even real the story would like end there but like haha he fucked her dad that's wild but like the dad was married so he cheated on his wife with his daughter's ex his petty homewrecking, homewrecking caused his ex's parents divorce, but they ended up having a really strong connection. And as of three years ago, I noticed on Facebook that the dude and the ex dad got married. So he became her stepdad. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> yeah, the dust has to be good. If the dust is not good, don't even bother. I would say, I would say nacho fries are worth trying twice because if you get a bad dusting the first time, you might get a better dusting the second time. Ooh, zombie, you ain't dying. Woo! That is, I mean, that's good though if it's not like a, some horrendous condition. If, well, heart murmurs are they're addressable, right? I'm gonna choose to trust you this time. Yeah, you but. Yeah, that happened. Yeah, which like, God, somebody, somebody was just made up some story on Reddit about. They were like. I saw a guy talking to the teller at a bank and he was spitting mad game and all this other shit. And then he was like, yo, I'm going to take you out. And she was like, what, with that $11.86 in your account? Somebody was like, I know this story is fake because your ass would be fired if you ever said out loud what a person's balance was. Which is true. You can't do that. Like, you cannot publicly be like, and then everybody clap. Yeah, it's like, you, you can't publicly just be like, oh, sir, you have $11.86. You can't, no, you can, you're not doing that. Like that is, that is like, that is like get canned material. All right, before I continue eating the crisp of fries, and before we get into the duty of Carmine or whatever the hell this is, um, we are going to, uh, we're gonna open up this PO box, which is exciting. I always love PO boxes. Like I said last night, we had an amazing one from Needles and Annie of Fairy. Annie of Fairies was amazing for different reasons. Um, I mean, it's still amazing all the same, but it, I mean, terrifying, you know, and, and obviously uh, long-standing psychological damage from the salsa, the salsa bean, uh, which was terrible. Now this is from, I don't, I don't know who this is from, but it is a box. So if anybody sent something that would have come in a box, then by all means, ah, what's that? Why are there some like cubazoids? What are these? Plastic demons. Oh, you, this is for Erica? Okay. 
This is always interesting when stuff for Erica comes. It's always strange. Ah! It is, as a matter of fact. Hey, Erica. I might say something to the P.O. Box. Come here. Ugh. I don't know, but I've got it for you. I, I did already by accident. Because it was addressed to moi. It was addressed to moi. Welcome to Bitter Bits. Who's gifting out stuff? What is this? Six months to Azuri. Thank you, Kombucha. I appreciate it. Esgarilla with a dollar. Well, you got to put that in chat. Thank you, Esgarilla, for the dollar. Thank you, Jigakura, for the 420. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Yeah, see, it's a little emergency button. Do you want me to show it to people? Okay, she wants me to show it because she doesn't want to get on camera. But it's little, it's little, little emergency buttons from Among Us, which is really cute. I think it's actually got some stuff inside of it, too. It is from Needles, yeah. Would you like to scissor this part open here and cut this thing open? So you can leave? I don't know. Well, that's you open it. That's what it is. That is really cute. Use the scissors. Do you need help? <laughs> do you need help? I don't know, Haritsu. That would be uh, that would be that would be convenient because then I could just warp people places. It'd be fantastic. We'd never have to we'd never have to travel ever again. We'll just set your emergency location and just slam the button. Okay, so the box is super tiny, but Kale somehow weaseled his way in and he is now just squashed in it. Like I opened the door for like a half second, his ass is in here. He's like, aha! Aha! It's like I made it! I made it. What are you doing? I got it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Cats are liquid. Yeah, no, he's he's squeezed in there. I like how the frames just started killing themselves too. That's always that's always good. That's a really like I like the emergency button thing. That's really good quality. I like it. That's nice. Very nice. Well, he's fitting and sitting. Erica's opening it right now, by the way. That's awesome. I like that. That's really cool. The button should work. Oh lord. <laughs> oh lord. Did you try whacking it? What did it do? It does it does work. It does click. Oh, it needs batteries. Oh, okay, we gotta put batteries in it. But apparently, once we slap some batteries in it, it makes the sound and everything, I would imagine. So that's uh that's really cute. Thank you, Needles, for sending that. That was very good. I'll let Erica yell thank you, because she doesn't want to get on camera. Thank you! <laughs> she doesn't want to get on camera. If I sent you Mexican candy from Texas, would you eat it? Yes, I would, as long as it's not fucking taco flavored jelly bean again. That was that was just a nightmare. Just a nightmare. Why you put you putting it in here? Okay, you can put it in here. That works. <laughs> that works. But thank you, thank you, thank needles. Thank you. That was Appreciate it. that was very sweet. Would you mind taking? And then also these, and also that tiny cat. Yeah, they're just like things to prevent it from doing. Oh, I Guess who slept like two hours last night? Who slept like two hours last night? Was it you? Was it you? Also, thank you, Deranged, for sending me a copy of this game, which we're about to play with our face. I've actually had... Well, no, I don't think I've had both of those. I've had one of those, I think, zombie. I had a friend who was really into that shit when I was growing up. I broke it. I doubt you broke it. Mexican sits sixlets. Oh my god, that sounds like a disaster. I hate that. Anyway, now that we've done some, uh, now that we've done some chatting, I suppose, uh, let's do. You guys ready for the ditty of Carmiana? Yeah, I think I think I've had Tajin before. I'm not sure. Okay. No link check. Did you post it? You wiener! You didn't post it! You have to post it. I can't click them. You know this. Jesus Christ, the very last enemy on my last loop. The guy drops a clean rod spear I wanted. Nice. You got it. Look at this cat. <laughs> look, look, look at this cat. Why are we dropping? Why are we dropping frames? Why are we dropping frames so bad? That's amazing. Thank you, Esgarilla, for the dollar, and thank you for sharing that. All right, let's do uh, let's do the Diddy of Carmiana. I'm I'm very excited about this. Erica's sitting on the floor. I don't know what she's doing. Um, she broke it. Apparently, she says she broke it, which is not true. She did not. 
She did not do that. Thank you again, Needles, for sending that. That was very cute and very thoughtful of you. You are, you are the bomb. A game so cheap, it only has one developer, is what this tagline is saying here, which is pretty good. Pretty excited about that. Pretty excited about the whole situation, to be honest. This is, uh, oh. I probably do kombucha, but my pop-out chat doesn't do better Twitch TV emotes because I try to keep it clean. My regular chat does. It's giving me like some, uh, I'm getting a little virtual highlight from this. Like, it, I'm getting like a little, I'm getting like a little Zeruldo. Get a little virtual highlight, get a little bit of like candies. Would you guys be upset if uh, if Steak and I sat down one day and made a hide-like, you know, game and we just called it a hide-like? Would you guys be upset? No? Yes? No? Maybe? No idea. Anyway, oh! Oh, man. I. Wow, I wasn't prepared for, like, whatever's happening. There's a functioning, is it? Wow. Okay, functioning, uh, functioning calculator, okay. Main menu, start a new game, restore game, exit to desktop. We've got an inventory here, we've got the fist and the foot. They have item descriptions, I hope you guys are excited. Uh, this item has many uses, especially in its open state, but in this game you'll primarily be hurling it at enemies. Weapon select, nine. You got, this item is in your inventory, this item in your inventory enables various special abilities known as walking, running, jumping. This item also enables an attack called kicking. Got our money bag, which is a bag where our money is kept. And we have a bunch of apps, which is, uh, again... Oh, God almighty, this is intense. Oh my God, you can set the background image? Giving them rolling hills, dude, I like that. That's nice. Ringtone? Choose your Pelinko Fairies ringtone. I like that. That's, that's a wide elephant. That's not even a thin one. Okay, the control displays, we've got a, we've got controller. Now there is a controller support, allegedly. We're probably gonna pass on that because, you know what? So many whacked out Wednesday games don't have controller support correctly, and I'm, I'm going in because it is, it is so rare. Okay, well, <laughs> okay. Probably have to restart the game, so I guess we'll just pass on that. We've got, uh, we got all of our video frames per second, which I guess let's increase this to 60, unless like we wanted to keep that authentic experience. Show the calorie counter, and location, Brazil and not Brazil. <laughs> oh my god. What is my thief? Princess Carmiana cancels more appearances. Uh, oh, oh god. Ty is a young man from lifeless agricultural town of Borington who threshes for a living. Okay. <laughs> okay. I like how it keeps track of your enemies. I'm not do I'm not doing Brazil. I'm not doing it. Not doing it. Not doing it. Okay, we're gonna read all this here in a minute. I wanna see uh I, I wanna get into this, because this is this this seems please enter the name of your hero. Uh, I guess like uh I guess like Pelicus. Pelicuson? I like Pelicus, that's a good name. I'm excited. Oh my god. Some good walk Faith, cycles up in here. The sacred temple, home of the great holy relic of Rikanism, the Rikahedra. It is still quite a distance away, your highness. I know. We best move on if we want This is more coherent than Elden Ring so far. Come. We'll start walking. There you go. Like I already have a I already have a more firm grasp on the plot with this than I did with Edon, Edon Ring. I'm feeling pretty Come good about this. Con, Princess of Baltajo, welcome to the sacred temple. Sorry, Baltajo. So forward to your visit. <laughs> oh God, that dude looking Iris, milky. There's three milky boys. And oh, Tour. beautiful. Your travel was pleasant. The Neptalisans were very rude to me, no doubt thanks to my country's support of Solera and their long-standing feud. Look at that fucker in the back. Passage and protection. Woo! All things considered, I can't complain. Jeez. I'm sorry to hear that, Your Highness. We're all tired of this feud. But you'll be happy to know God, I was not ready. I was not ready for these soggy boys. Relic, 
and also that man who looks like he's touching. I'm real. I'm just not feeling it. Kept sacred and inviolate. Well, it's not. Just I mean, this is a lot of words come. to be honest, but yet I'm still because somehow following it better than a FromSoft game, which I don't know how the hell that's oh possible. God. But it's beautiful. Would you like to touch it, Your <clears throat> Highness? Is it permitted? Normally, no. <laughs> Would you like to touch it, Your Highness? Oh shit! That's the fucking. That's the diamond of destiny. Take your time, take your time. Wouldn't want to approach that too quickly. Take your time. Okay. Extend the hand. Well, 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 oh no, it's Byrina Hirde. Hirde. You may address me as King Hirde, your highness. You are oh, not yeah. King Thane Hirde. And when my father... You just wait and see. <laughs> I love how flaccid all the voice acting is. <laughs> You're not a king, man. You know, my you know, I've kidnapped you. <laughs> you're mad if you think you're going. Let's go. We've been attacked. What? Run, your highness. Damn, yeah. look at those goblins. I fight. She fight. Oh, damn, girl, get him. You fools. Get him. Did you see? She just torpedoed that man. Do everything myself. Oh, no. I think you incapacitated. I bet it can oh, look at so just waggling her stick. Yes. Your Highness, no! <laughs> you can still fight! I can't, Sir Tarbatu. There's nothing more I can do. Uh Oh shit, there's the goblinoid! He's coming! Hey, she's gone. Hey, <laughs> she she's gone. Now let's just grab that Ricohedron and we'll be off to my lair. We had a deal here, Day. What? Ah, your grace. <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. What do you think star PC means? Duchess of Kenora. I should have known you'd be involved in this. Oh, indeed. I should have known myself. You needn't have bothered coming here, you know. I, I, I have everything under control. I can see that here, Day. But I wanted to help you keep your end of the bargain. I will take the Don't reveal the big myself. bad yet. Oh, well, yes. Yeah, you star PC or whatever's I on his jacket. No There's also a backward C at one point. Or that could just be a moon. Uh, sure you don't want but I appreciate the inconsistency between no, both sides. It, it, it would create a much more powerful seal. From my point of view here, Day, this business with the princess is just a distraction. I care not for your little penchant for pestering. <laughs> oh, of course not. Silly me. I like his hat. It makes me yours. makes me feel very connected to the character. Have fun starting a little war. What? A war? Nothing for you to worry about, my pretty. You'll be coming back to my lair. <laughs> this intro With is you agony. In my custody in the Ricohedron missing. <laughs> the kingdom of Baltadrul is in for a big surprise. <laughs> <laughs> They've got like Majora's Mask face going on too, which is pretty interesting. All right, okay, you guys excited? I'm, I'm. Pa oh, hey, Tabitha. Yes, Lance. Let's say I find an adventure to go on. How will you be able to help? Well, I am a Pelinco sidekick fairy. We Pelincos are all in telepathic contact with each other. I hate that I named the character Pelicus, and apparently Pelinco's sidekick fairy is an actual name of a creature in this. Various services we provide for heroes in the field. Wow, I, that's really I wasn't, cool. I wasn't Just prepared for my name to actually fit screen. in the universe, and now if I'm a little upset. To me, press T. Also, I'll be popping up with some totally not annoying advice from time to time, so pay attention. This is uh -huh. going to be so fun. Yeah. I bet we find an adventure in no time. Well, first you need to shape up. People want their heroes to be in good physical condition. And if you don't work out a bit, you'll lose whatever tiny chance you have to find an adventure. There's a gymnasium <laughs> she, up ahead. She sounds like, like she's like from out. fucking like Boston or some shit. <laughs> okay. All right, dude. I'm, I'm so Okay. So punch is. Oh, hell yeah. Calories you could have burned today if you had been exercising instead of playing this game. Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I like my uh I like my kidney beans or that's just an actual Zelda pod. Like that's that's all that is. Oh I can pick it up. Yeah! <laughs> Pelicus, the pots in this game appear to only contain artifacts. Artifacts? Yes, artifacts are items that have no use in the game, except maybe to sell or for alchemy. If this game even has it. 
There was an Illudium Q36 explosive space modulator in the pot. <gasps> Ooh. Control cheat sheet. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my. Look at that. <laughs> I have that man's over there looking. He's looking good. What's up, buddy? How you doing? What are you doing here, you ponytailed whippersnapper? I want to shop. Hey, Mr. Plamo Grundy. I'm just here to... I don't like how all of these names just sound like some shit I could have... Ah, oh, you youngins are spreading too much excitement around this town with your long hair, misspelled names, and not sitting around all day. Yeah, I'll try to be more plant-like. What's in stock today? Uh, we got money bag upgrade. We got a horn hat. We got a JJ's Fruit Aid. Uh, for some reason, our... Our currency is a plane. Quit wasting your time, my time, you little brat. What are these? Are these? Oh, girl, I found this. What's in this? The chest contained 10 fortune cookies. What do those do? Can I check these? Hell no, I can't. Oh, they're food. They say the arch, the arch of Kenora is hiding out somewhere in this kingdom. Oh, that was what the, that was what the, the thing said. Okay, got it. I'm on it. Borington Agricultural Supply, my favorite place. Press T to talk to Tabitha. No, you. <laughs> Press T to talk to Tabitha. What do you want to talk to Tabitha about? Why don't you fly around and check this place out? Do you have any advice on the current situation? Help, I can't figure out how to use my items. What well, is a joke? Okay, Pelicus, knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupt, moo. Ha, good one. Look at these guys. It's the people from the painting. Hey, Dad, say hello to Tabitha. She's a Pelinko fairy. Hello, Pelicus. You better behave around her. Great. <laughs> Great. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Parents has added you as a friend on the My Thief app. <laughs> okay. What is this? You just found an app. An app. Yes, an app. They're little programs that can run using the touch screen in my belly. Just press escape to access my touch screen. This is interesting. It's an app that identifies the current background music. That means we'll no longer see any posts from idiots on YouTube who ask if anyone knows what the music is, even though all the songs are listed in the game's credits. I don't know about that. Maybe it'll cut down on a few, though. Anyway, just press escape to access the touch screen. Great. <laughs> Great. Great. Who the fuck was going on YouTube and being like, I need the music from this video game, video game show, please. Chest contains five frequent flyer miles. Oh, I see. Okay. Now it all makes sense. Here's a real question. Can we take... Can we do anything with this? No. What is this? The Formicarium? Remodeling the Formicarium. Borington's most exciting attraction is closed and getting a makeover. You thought the Formicarium Carrium was intense before? Well, now it's too much to handle. Don't miss the super frantic extravaganza. Fantastic extravaganza. I can't even read. Wow, Pelicus, you were really right about this town being boring. See, I told you. Yeah, it is really boring here. We've also got the Great Mead Hall over here. That doesn't sound boring. That sounds all... Oh, wow. Never mind. Oh! Get out of here, Uncle Stoop Nixie! Pelicus, nice to see you. Wait a minute. Is that a fairy? Yes, Uncle Stoop. This is Tabitha, my new fairy. This is Uncle Stoop Nixie. Nice to meet you, drunk sir. That's amazing. How'd you guys get together? I saved her from a terrible fate one day. Okay. Oh. I had just completed my early morning threshing and was walking back to town when I noticed something unusual. Uh-huh. Take your time. Oh, God. What was that? Cool, fairies. Mister, okay. please, you gotta help me. He's gonna get me. Ah! Come on. You know you want to buy an Enron 401k plan? You know you want to buy an Enron 401k plan? K plan. Cool. I have to do something. What? What? <laughs> no, <laughs> Come on now. You know you want to buy an Enron 401k plan. Wow, I... 
He's dead. Wow, thanks a lot, mister. I like how I, I don't believe in fairies honor. was enough to I just kill him. That was it. What's your name? Okay, name by a show Lex. of hands in chat, who doesn't even know what Enron is? Yikes. It's Here's okay if you don't. It was like 90,000 years ago. That was longer than uh, 20 hey, years wait, ago, Ultima. Enron was know, what, like 94? 95? It's spelled Lance, but it's Maybe like 96. Lance. Okay, well, glad to meet you, Lance. It's an American thing, and also it's nice you, very, Tyler. very, so very dated. Like, like late 90s. Here. Oh, I was passing through on my way to look for a free... Yeah, I, don't, I think it was done in the mid-90s. It was like late you know 90s. Something's going Might have on. actually been like early 2000s. Destined to be a great hero. Like and super hero. early. Destiny? Come on. No, really. I really think I could be a hero if I had the chance. Lance, no offense, but no. Most young heroes have been training to be a hero since they could walk. A small town country boy like you is no chance. Do you have any 2001. at all going hmm. on adventure? Even that schnoz is one? so long See, and strong. I love I it. Had the opportunity. This place is so dull. The grass thinks it's boring. Also, thank you guys for all the support in that. I really but do appreciate it. I hope you guys are having fun while we do hello. <laughs> hello? Find a quest while we do this. I, can be I appreciate hero. you guys showing up for Wednesdays oh, and doing stupid bullshit with me. I don't think you have the me. slightest chance to find a quest to go on, but I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tag along for a little while. After all, you saved my future from financial ruin. <laughs> It kind of sounds like the voice Pops was doing in the D&D campaign, and that's really funny. Well, Tab, here we are. My hometown, Borington. I love Borington so much. Why am I, like, low-key excited for the adventure that awaits us? <laughs> like, why am I excited about this? I think this cutscene's about to end. Good. Oh, jeez. That's how we met. I can't believe that happened only a few minutes ago. <laughs> I like how we just came in from outside. <laughs> and they make it seem like we've known Tabitha for fucking years. To be on an adventure in no time, so I bet you need a lot of information. Uh, that's what your old uncle Stoop is for. Yeah, I'll be sure to call you as much as possible, Stoop. All right. Oh, look at these. Uh, look at these. Whatever this is. Monetary assistance. Monetary assistance. Monetary assistance. Monetary assistance. Why is that song so familiar? It's like some royalty free shit. I feel like it's been like, oh, it's probably been used in like uh, YouTube videos and shit. House of Rage with the $10.10 .10 says what? I agree. What indeed. Thank you house for the $10.10. Hi, Mrs. Perry. What are you working on today? Good morning, Pelicans. Take a look at my new invention. I call it a refrigerator. It's a box that keeps everything inside it cold. It keeps everything cold. That's pretty neat. You always have the craziest inventions, Mrs. Perry. It may be crazy, but a refrigerator could be a useful item to have on an adventure. You're right. I think I should take it with me. Miss Perry, do you mind if I take the refrigerator? <laughs> I'm going on an adventure. Oh my god, it's a game where you take a refrigerator with you! Holy shit, is this a sequel to Long Drive? Oh my god! <laughs> How in the world are we playing another game that somehow involves taking a refrigerator? What is he doing? Oh no, Pelicus. Miss Perry's not gonna appreciate that very much. Let's just go ahead and let's just let's just move on with this. What if right after we got the refrigerator, it just started blasting the fucking like uh, party anthem? <laughs> Tab, what was that? Pelicus over here. It's Jake working on the street. Is that you're out looking for an adventure? What street? <laughs> Word on the street! Which one? Which which street in particular are you referring to? Yeah, I don't like I didn't like the uh I didn't like the, the padding of the, the ween for the refrigerator or whatever. It is very competent, disturbingly competent as a matter of fact. Hey Jacob, what is it? That's some juicy information. <laughs> Yeah, we'd appreciate any advice you can give us. Most video games have a power-up of some sort, an item that will you find that gives you additional power and stamina. You know, Super Mario Brothers has magic mushrooms, Zelda has magic hearts, and so on. Well, the power-up in this game is magic spleens. Spleens? That's right, but I warn you, magic spleens are very rare. That's right. 
If you find yourself, if you find one, you should consider yourself lucky. That is Farmer Jacob. Okay, so what do I do if I find one? What do you mean? Like, how do I absorb its magic power? What do you think? You eat it. What? I can't even cook it? Nope. Cooking a magic spleen causes it to lose its magic power. Oh. <laughs> didn't know about eating raw or didn't know eating raw organs was part of the job, did you, Pelicus? Sure you still want to be a hero? I can handle it. Well, I'm off. Good luck. And don't tell anyone I told you this. If word got on that I was helping someone on an adventure, I would lose my position on the town council. Wh Why? Why would you lose your position? Oh, dude, eat that shit. Ignore the squirrels? Lance, look, you like oh, me to win up. It was three spleens, but now it's four. Well, I'll be. And you know, it wasn't as bad as I thought. It seems really gross, but I could learn to really enjoy eating spleens. Great. Great. That's... How long does that last? Okay, it says ignore the squirrels. And I'm gonna be honest, that, that seems like the most... That might be the most threatening message I think I've ever seen. I, I would never want to see that because I just feel like... Was this supposed to be water? Is that what this is supposed to be? Let me get this straight. This gray patch right here is this water. Okay, that's good. That's good stuff. All right, what else do we need to do? There's the gym, which we do need to get jacked. I think she said that that was like part of the thing. My wife asked me what I was laughing at and I mentioned that you put a refrigerator in your pocket and she went, what is it with Nick in refrigerator? I'm telling you, look what's going on. The world, no oh my God. And he dummy thick. Also, thank you, Ford, for the tier three for 63 months. Our alerts down? Uh, they shouldn't be. It's Tito Roll. So, Pelicus, you finally come to my gymnasium. About, <laughs> about time you started to shape up. Work out your body will make you more a more successful farmer. Well, you have my new fairy here to thank. This is Tabitha. Tab, this is Tito Raul. Raul. Fucking Tito over here. Pelicus thinks he's going to find an adventure to go on. I told him he better shape up or no one's going to want to send it, send him on one. So we want, we want the best workout you have. An adventure? Well, I don't think you'll find any adventure in this town, but I promise if you do my workout, you'll be a better farmer. Okay, whatever. There are two challenging exercises at this gym. Just walk up to one of the floor mats. I'll give you instructions on how to do the exercise. All right, we got a uh, ladder climb. All you have to do is climb the ladder. To climb the ladder, approach it, press E to mount, and then climb using WASD. Uh, yeah, I got it, dude. No, ladder climbing must be explained to me more than once. <laughs> Wow. Ow. Helicus, are you okay? What happened? Hubris is what happened. Yeah, I'm fine. I freaked out when I noticed my feet weren't touching the rungs. Yeah, this game's too cheap to sy synchronize feet to rungs. Try again and be careful. Oh my god. <laughs> Tito has added you a friend on my thief. Alright, time to climb that rope. Yeah, get that skunt. <laughs> yeah, get that skunt. Strong bodies thresh more corn. Thank God. Woo! I'm, I'm honestly surprised that didn't kill me. What is this? This is the Borington Library. This is the entirety of it. One of the most commonly believed facts about Boring, Boringshire is that it's a traditional, it's traditional to dub knights who came from Boringshire with a scythe instead of a sword as an homage to this region's strength in agriculture. Whereas, where this is an urban legend, if you could even use urban and Boringshire in the same sentence, and completely untrue, there can't be a tradition on knights from Boringshire because there has to never been a knight from Boringshire. Oh. My. God. They wrote real ass lore. Like, I mean... Is that just the entirety of... What, oh. My. God. They got like a map? What? What the fuck? This is un- like- what? <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, apparently the Roman Emperor Constantine dies, the Roman Empire splits into the three parts, the Eastern Roman Empire based in Eastern Europe, the Middle East, and the- wait a minute. Botudgel, of course, remains part of the really, 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 really Western Empire today, and so the rest of this timeline concerns itself only with this. 500 AD, the barbarians uh, invaded. The invaders threaten the empire. Uh, Emperor issues the Edict of Bonifé that basically creates the feudal system out of thin air. Powerful native persons from the provinces on the frontier of the empire are given permanent autonomy in return for protection against the barbarians. Oh my god. Then we got some Beowulf shit over here. Let's thank god for that, right? Uh, we've got the frequent flyer miles explanation here, I guess. I, I can't. I can't. 
<laughs> Look, man, I don't know if I go that deep into the lore of Boringtonshire. I did it. You know, can you remind me what I have to do? Oh, do wait, I thought. Oh, okay. Come down exactly the same way. Stand near the ladder and press E again. Good work on the ladder climb, Pelicus. Yeah, I can't wait to farm better than I ever could. Oh, I have to jump to all the other ropes. I see. Stop it. Cease. I must. <laughs> I thought it was telling me to mount. What's his name? Oh, yeah, girl. Oh, yeah. Fuck you. Wait. Wait, do I strictly like. Oh, I strictly like have to get to all of them, I think. What do I do once I've scundled onto every rope? What, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I've touched all of them with my fingies. What, I, did I not do it? You completed every exercise that you started and didn't fail to finish. I got that rope over there too. Like what happened? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try to we're gonna try to scundle onto all of them without dismounting. Let's give let's give that a shot. Alright. Maybe there's like another one. <laughs> I don't think so though. Man, I'm so invested. So, man, are you backseating the game that is like... What are you doing? What do you mean? I, did that, does that not count? Are we done? Maybe, maybe we don't, maybe you don't scootle, like, all the way up or something? Tito, you suck. <laughs> Tito, you suck. Was that it? I did it. No? Okay, great. That's perfect. Thank God. <laughs> well, I, I, I guess we're done. I don't know what to do with this. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I like the shit text on the back too. That's really nice. Okay, I I did it. Yes, yeah, strong bodies thresh more corn. Who out here knows what a thresher is? Yeah, maybe you have to like come back or something. Okay, I, I have no idea. Uh, uh, why don't you fly around and take this place? Do you have any advice? The thing you have to understand about these games is that they're programmed not to let you advance until you do a bunch of random things that have nothing to do with the overall plot. So talk to as many people as you can. Oh, thank you so much. I, what are you supposed to do here? So you scundle up the rope, right? Classic. Also, if you guys tell me the stream elements is broken again, I'm gonna go nuts. Like, did the alert actually not work for Ford? Because this is like several nights in a row that this is this has happened. Take the ladder down. I don't think the ladder is gonna have anything to do with this uh, this challenge. Maybe you go down and then up for all. I like how we've already gotten brick walled in this damn game, and it has been like five seconds. Oh, maybe you can't jump on it. Maybe you have to just mount it. <laughs> yeah, maybe you have to, like, get to all of them. Uh, maybe you have to, like, get to all of them or something. Oh, no, Amber, we're in the games and demos category because most of these games that we do for Whacked Out Wednesday don't have actual categories. And if they do, it's not normally worth streaming in it unless there's, like, actually something happening. So games and demos is normally the, uh, the way to go. All right, well, I'm, uh, I'm leaving. 
because because there is obviously no way to do this so i'm leaving all right let's uh let's see what's going on over here what's this asshole doing hey phil who the hell made you gatekeeper miller did just this morning how nice well i'd like to go outside if you don't mind no can do pelicus for your information this is level one the game isn't programmed for you to be outside on level one so leave me alone and do your tutorial like a good little boy Damn, I'll be your best friend. Read my lips. I'm not going to open the gate for you. So scram. What a dick. <laughs> nice pose, Phil. You're looking good. Okay, so the gymnasium. Oh, fuck you, Phil. You're not my friend. Asshole. Fucking Phil. There was a vial of locaine powder in the pop pot. There was a partridge in a pear tree in the pot. And we're, this is all on PC. Uh, yeah, they're just all the 64 pots, like, straight up. Can you mount the tree? You could not. We could go to the Borington Agricultural Supply and see if there's anything up there. I'm good friends with those folks. Or I am the agriculture man. <gasps> is that a scythe? How you doing, Pelicus? Need any agricultural supplies today? Sure thing. If you need some ag supplies, you know where to come. I wanted some ag supplies. Okay, I, I, I guess it has to be... It has to be the gymnasium. Right? What? Wait. Okay, maybe, maybe he'll let us do. So far, you completed every exercise that you started and didn't fail to finish. Dude, I don't know what to do. What do we do? How do I thresh? How do I live? How do I become the great sage that I was meant to be? Go book now? I don't think I don't think we go book now. What if the carpets are start and finish lines? I don't think they are, but I'm okay with trying it. I will try the whole like I asked the fairy what to do. They they said do it all. <laughs> they said do it all. Uh you have no idea how hard that is. That's so difficult. Maybe I have to like kick like a demon. Hey mud! Biggity booty, I'm coming for that booty. I've tried the other buildings. I don't know I don't know what to do now. I'm terrified. Maybe you have to take the ladder down after this? Did I do it? Well? <laughs> there was nothing in the pot. They say a good time to die is when you're borrowing something. <laughs> what the fuck? A good time to die is when you're borrowing. <laughs> I wonder, uh, maybe, maybe we broke it somehow by like climbing to, to die. what? I'm sorry. Can I beat someone with a refrigerator? That sounds amazing. Um, Hey pickles. How's it going? Pickles. Would you believe that we were able to get a refrigerator as an item in this? He did not tell us good work. He said we completed every exercise that we could have started so far or something. But that was it. Maybe maybe you have to do the ladder climb and then climb all the ropes or something. I seriously doubt it, but like, because that would be like really, that's really cryptic. Like I've, I've scunched. I've done it. <laughs> do Zelda game looking good? It is. Maybe maybe they want me to exercise the mind. Y'all, I think we uh I think I think we broke it. I don't know how the hell we did, but I I think I think we fuck it. I think we broke it. Well, <laughs> it's, 
It wouldn't quite be uh, a stream here if we uh, if we didn't completely and utterly ruin it, I guess. Look at all those calories, dude. I'm burning so many. Maybe I just like dismount over here? No. I wonder how I might have broken this feat of programming genius. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I, I think, I think, I think we, I think we broke it. Oh man, it's Kevin McLeod. I, nobody's ever used any of Kevin McLeod's music before. Uh, all right. Well, I guess, uh, I, I guess we screwed it up. So. <sighs> all right. New game. Helicus 2. Oh no, can you not skip cutscenes? Oh no! No! Great. Who broke the cup, dude? There it is. The no. secret <laughs> what a wise Carmina and gang again. Relic of oh! Oh, and if I tab out to do anything, it's like, no. You, you, you gonna wait. You gonna wait, bitch. You gotta watch the whole thing. This is hell. I can't believe what they've done to me. Why do I not have chat on the screen? This would be a good game to have chat on the screen. Um, yeah, they've, uh, they did me. They did me, they did me wrong, you know, but it's okay. It's okay. They just, uh, just did me, just did me a little, a little totally wrong, and that's fine. And that is just, just, just fine. Hang on a second. I gotta, I gotta fix the cup because apparently it's broken. I almost made a joke about how we needed a 420 notification there. I remember I said our old thing is 420. You well, here you go, gang. For anybody who hasn't seen eyes. it, this is the uh, you know, this is the incredible, the amazing intro cutscene. Come. Cup's not broken like 90% of the time. I like how agonizingly slow they move here too. Camriana Vinacon, Princess of Bautajo. But yeah, Amber, we're we're just uh, we're just in the games and demos category, cause whatever. I'm munching on some Taco Bell nacho fries because I really wanted Taco Bell tonight, so I fucking ordered it. It was a special too on DoorDash because it was like you order fifteen dollars, you get five dollars off. No doubt, thanks to my country's support of Solera and their long-standing feud, but they did grant me passage. No, those dudes are definitely look like shriveled scrotums for sure. Things considered, I can't complain. I'm sorry to hear that, Your Highness. We're all tired of this feud. But Those dudes could be oblivion know, NPCs, but their faces are a little too detailed. Holy relic, the Ricohedron. It is the one thing that I think they're really good. Kept sacred and inviolate. Well, Stake, Stake said he was going to find come. me and shoot me in the throat if they weren't good because he was ordering them tonight. So. Oh my God. So it's I might beautiful. die tonight. Would you like to touch it, Your Highness? Is it permitted? He said those words specifically. For you. If 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 these are not good, I will find you and shoot you in the throat. <laughs> that, was, that was how it went down. Remember when a taco was 89 cents? I don't know if I do. Nacho fries here are dried up yuck. Yeah, these are these are really good here. Like they, they make them pretty well at well, mine. Well, They're nice and crispy and they've got like some nacho dust on them. Your day. You may address me as King Eardale. Maybe you could like skip this part? The hell no, you can't. All you can do is pause it. And when my father you just wait and see, princess. Your father is going to have Damn, you eat those class and weak ass dust fries. Why is everybody else's nacho fries like terrible? Mine are great here. I'm starting to think the West Coast can't do it. What? Run your highness. No. I fight. I mean, we do get to see this cutscene again, which I'm gonna be honest, it's worth it. It's worth it to see her do like some fucking Everything some like dolphin math moves and like stabbing people and shit. KC with the 51 months. Welcome back aboard the bus. I hope you enjoy the ride, cause the ride never ends. Your Highness, no, you can still fight. I can't, Sir Tarbuck. What the fuck is this? Nothing more. Good. We apparently already broke this game, and unfortunately, it looks like. uh Looks like if you fail somehow and break the game early on, you have to watch the entire intro cutscene again. Now let's just grab that Ricohedron and we'll be off to my lair. We had a deal here, Day. Yeah, see, mine are so thoroughly dusted that I don't even need the nacho stuff, man. I got, I got the dust. That dust is hot. Pleasant surprise.
the Archduchess of Kenora. And for frame of reference, I'm not a big nacho person. Like, I, so these are these are pretty good. How much was this game? I have no idea. Uh, this was sent to me by Deranged. I would imagine probably no more than ten dollars. I'd say probably like eight, maybe nine. I can see that. It strikes me as a seven ninety nine kind of game. To help you keep your end of the bargain. Seven ninety nine. myself. Oh, well, yes, you may take it. I have no special Is this man wearing pee carpet? No. But no, no, no. Sure you don't <laughs> However, he probably does have pee in that hat. I believe that. It, it would create a much more powerful seal. From my point of view here, Day, this business with the princess is just a distraction. I care not. What is that voice filter on that one right there? That is so weird. <laughs> so strange. <laughs> But then again, all of this is very strange, so I don't really know why I'm making that sound like that's something that's a unique and interesting opinion. A war? Nothing for you to worry about, my pretty. You'll be coming back to my lair. Oh, it's P Carpet With brand. Oh, because it's PC? I like that. In the Ricohedron missing? It's 849 at 15% off. Nice. Found a YouTube playthrough and it should have triggered the end of the task. Shit. <laughs> Oh, oh man, I, I, interact, interact. All right, I, I'm in. I'm in. Hey, Tabitha. Yes, Lance? Let's say I find an adventure to go on. How will you be able to I like how it's just well, Pelicans, too. I can't even I skip fairy. this. We oh, my God. All in telepathic contact with each other. Uh. We've been able to exploit this to create a successful telecommunications enterprise. I have a touchscreen in my belly that you can use to access various services we provide for heroes. Oh, we'll make a field. save. Wow, that's But really will it cool. save me? Just press escape to use my touchscreen. If you want to talk to me, press T. Also, you want to talk I'll be to popping me, press up with T. some totally not annoying advice from time to time. So pay attention. This is yeah, that knows so that knows is lethal, fun. dude. Nothing's dangerous. In no time. Well, first you need to shape up. People want their heroes to be in good physical condition. And if you don't work out a bit, you'll lose whatever tiny chance you have to find an adventure. There's a gymnasium up ahead that seems like a good place to work oh! out. Maybe we were supposed to go to the gym, like, immediately. Oh, wait, our pro- Well, it auto-saves. I, I don't know, like... How do I- I don't even know how to- How do you even save? <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Oh, we probably auto-saved then. Shit. Thank God, thank God, thank God, we can skip this part. All right, check it out, check it out, check it out. Yes. Yes, I've got it. For some reason, E doesn't... Look at, look at what you've done. Look at what you've done. Now we're, now we're speedrunning it. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, thank God. Okay, let's try doing this correctly on the first go around and we'll see if we'll see if maybe maybe that solves our Tito, I feel kinda of funny. Don't worry, that's perfectly natural. Tito, I feel fat. I don't like roping. What the fuck? What is that shit? Like it now it works? Great. I feel, I feel kind of fun. You work on the rope climb, Pelicus. Once you complete all the challenging exercises, you'll be able to farm better than you ever could. I did, I did it. Wait. Is reading one of the exercises? What? Okay, I'm, well, I'm, I'm jacked now, I guess. So there's that. Hello there, Pelicans. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God, it just crashed. What the fuck? <sighs> you know? Candace DeBeebe never crashed on me. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much right now. Okay, let's restore. Oh, hey, look, that's, uh... Pelicans, hello! What?!
Where's the Candace sequel? We've already done it. We've already, we've already done it. It's already happened. Hello there, Pelicans. Okay, let's try not, let's try not scooting too fast. Okay, there we go. There we go. You go too fast. I had just completed my early morning. Oh man, we gotta watch this again. Town, Great. Well, at least we get to see the dude pitching the fucking Enron 401k. He's so sad walking all alone, coming back from. There he goes. What was that? Cool fairies. There's people at the back of the bar just be I like how I like how we got like the full walkthrough going on now. Like we've only been in this like five seconds. Maybe this says something about skipping cutscenes. Uh release mouse pointer, equip weapons, toggle not so speedy boots if you have them. Spoilers. You wanna buy some Dutch tulips? Dutch tulips? That's just cruel. I have to do something. Whoa, there's different dialogue? Gotcha. No, my portfolio is fine. I Dutch tulips. Last time it was an Enron 401k. Dude, dynamic dialogue, unbelievable. Wow, thanks a lot, Mister. I thought my credit rating was a goner. I'm Tabitha, Tab for short. I'm Tab. My name's Lance. Yikes! Here's my card. Uh, hey, wait. This doesn't say Lance. I know, I know. It's spelled Lance, but it's pronounced. Lance. <laughs> okay, well, glad to meet you. Lance. It's spelled Pelicans too, but it's pronounced Lance. You, so, what brings you to a place like Boring? Oh Church? God. Oh, I was passing through on my way to look for a freelance work as a fairy sidekick. You know what, Tab? Something's going on here. I've always felt like I was destined to be a great hero, and here you are. Destiny? Come on. No, really. I really think I could be a hero if I had the chance. Lance, no offense, but no. Most young heroes have been training to be a hero since they could walk. A small town country boy like you has no chance. Do you have any experience at all going on adventure? Even like a small one? See, that's the problem. I haven't had the opportunity. This place is so dull, the grass thinks it's boring to watch us grow. But if you give me a chance, these fries are good. I was already hard, but these will definitely keep it up. Oh, hero. good. You're not going to shoot oh, me in the throat. I don't think you have the slightest chance to find a quest to go on. But I suppose it wouldn't hurt to I'm, I'm, Why am I invested while? in this game? After like, all, I, I, gotta, I gotta see what happens next. I'm so upset ruin. that we softlocked because I was, I was just smooth so. progressing. I won't disappoint you. It definitely, it definitely broke my immersive flow. Well, Tab, here we are. My hometown, Borington. <laughs> my hometown of Borington, the, the, the happiest place on earth. I think this cutscene's about to end. Okay, thank God. You're invested just like half the town is invested in Enron's 401k. That's true. All right, thank God. Yeah, the only, the only problem I have with it so far is the, uh, this. Is the, the breaking, the breaking of the video game. Whoa, my calories. Your uncle is already drunk and it's not even seven o'clock. Nice to hear he's doing much better. I know. So what will it be? Okay, we don't have any frequent flyer miles right now. So we need to go get those. We also need to get our fridge and stuff in our pocket. We got to do the spleen. We got several things we got to do here. You stuff that fridge in your pocket. Sure, take it, Lance. <laughs> it's right here in my pocket. <laughs> Okay, let's uh let's go out. We're gonna go we're gonna go spleen up now. Come here, Pelicus. You want some fucking spleen? Alright, 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 alright. Still less dialogue than Trails of Cold Steel. Can you guys believe it was almost a year ago that we did Trails of Cold Steel? Lance, look, your life meter went up. It was three spleens. Is that not like the most like just scary well, thought in the world? And you know, it wasn't as bad as I thought. It seems really gross, but I could learn to really enjoy eating spleens. Yeah.
Yeah, dude, I can't wait. Uh, can't wait for whacked out fridge day. I got one of DX's rakes in the pot. Thank God. Oh, those are the fortune cookies. I talked to Plum Grundy or... Wait, what does that say? Why isn't there anything on the shelves? Mr. Plamo Grundy, why isn't there any merchandise on the shelves? It's just for display, you little hoodlum. I took all the merchandise in the back room because of pesky thieves like you. Damn. Damn, gonna put us out like that. You're gonna call me the thief, man. Okay, there's nothing in the agricultural supply. I know that. Canoodle up here. All right, here we go. What is this? You found an app. Yes, okay, this is the game's credit. Okay, we got it. Okay, so we should be we should be thoroughly juiced now. I think. All right, we'll open up this chest of cleaves over here. We'll save, and then we're gonna go try to leave. Cause it's bound to be time to leave. All right, let's do that. Let's uh, let's save up. Bit 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 quad is just a fridge. Don't give me any ideas. I will become the fridge. Well, let's go outside. No can do pelicus. Well, who the fuck else do I have to talk to? Oh, mom and dad. And there's also the, uh... Who else? Who else have we not talked to? There's that slimy bitch over there. Let's talk, let's talk to mom and dad real quick. All right, there we go. Ooh, a little cash. I have to clear the road of all these rocks. I'll teleport one frequent flyer mile into your pouch for every rock you throw in that chute. Oh, hell yeah. I'm about to get so many, so many dollar money. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, damn, he, dri <laughs> he fucking dribbles it. I'm sorry, did I just get rejected? Oh, okay. This is Calvin, he just loves blocking any rocks he's throwing the chute. Why am I gonna get rocks in the basket with this guy blocking all my shots? I don't know, maybe move around a little, be a moving target. I was, uh... I was, I was not prepared. I was not prepared for fucking that. Wow. Calvin, I don't want you to be my fucking friend! God, go, go away, Calvin. Jesus Christ. Calvin, go fuck yourself, dude. Like, I'm over here just trying to play dribble ball. Knock it in the hoop. Ooh, girl. You've heard a frequent flyer, Mile. This is awesome. <laughs> Not my house. <laughs> I appreciate Calvin very much. Wait, wait a minute. Am I, am I, am I capped on frequent flyer miles? Can I only have 10? Oh my God. That's so little. Well, I guess I gotta go to the store and now I need to go buy more, uh, the expanded slot. Yeah, he's just ca casually. Rocks are pretty bouncy as long as you, uh, have the right hand shape. Well, I, I don't know if it's an agricultural supply or if it's at the other store. I think it's at this store over here. So I, and I'm pretty sure it only costs 10 frequent flyer miles to get the the fat dog, uh, fat dog version. I wish, I wish to shop Mr. Plam Grundy. Uh, money bag upgrade cost 11. Oh. Well. <laughs> I was not prepared for a dude to just reject my rock, I'm gonna be honest. That was, uh... Woo! You know, the royal the royal army is a great career with great benefits. You'll get great health care. You'll travel the world. You'll learn valuable leadership skills that'll prepare you for a civilian career after your time in the army is complete. You'll make hundreds. Wait a minute. 
Is that a fairy? Yes, sir. This is Tabitha the Pelinko fairy. So you're a fairy boy. Oh. Oh, we got a tail coming. These might be long, but they fly by for me. There's nothing like running a kingdom. Why the hell is this like? Oh, this is, this is some. Are. This is about to be some real lore right here. I hope you guys are excited. Matter of grave importance, Your Majesty. Your daughter, Her Royal Highness, Princess Kamiana, has been kidnapped. Why is that a matter of grave importance? Your Majesty, come on. The Foreign Office received a credible ransom demand from our old nemesis to the north, the Thane of Egrog, Ferena Herde. Ah, oh, him again. Well, what does he want? Your whole kingdom, basically. He wants lordship over the entire northern half of the kingdom. But don't worry, he's willing to let you keep the southern half if you swear fealty to him. <sighs> Ferena Herde. What a character. How did he manage to capture Carmiana anyway? Apparently she went off her itinerary in Mela Jerusa. Just Sir Tarbertu and her. He must have nabbed her then. Why would he do that? I... I think I might know. Really? You see, something else happened at the same time that might even be more serious. The Ricohedron disappeared. Several sages are gone too. Lady Morrow, why exactly what the fuck is, is that shirt? Serious, that some mythological trinket disappeared. Because is that like a ferret on a baseball bat? Are, are blaming each other, and they are both now preparing for war. Oh my god! And if there's a war, it'll choke off commerce through the strait. I see. But what does this have to do with Carmiana? We think she might have left her itinerary to visit the sacred temple, and that Thane Hirde took both her and the Rikahedron at the same time. Ah. It's just. Hirde hasn't made any ransom demands for the Rikahedron. And he would not hesitate to let us know if he had it. We know Hirde. Do we have any idea who does have it? No. How does this have a real story? Well, <laughs> like, how how in the world does this somehow have, have a real story? Mediating through diplomatic channels. I'm right As here. I just have to turn the fan up. I guess we'll have to do a rescue operation. Lord Stackenfee, summon the Minister of War. Yes, Your Majesty. Damn, she gone! The hell was that all about? What do you require, Your Majesty? Lord Tapton, my friend. It appears that my daughter is being held ransom by the Thane of Egrog. I want you to assess the current situation and give me a report as soon as possible. I'm way ahead of you, sir. I have a detailed report and recommendation already prepared. A full report? Already? Well, we had plenty of time. She was kidnapped almost 13 hours ago. 13 hours ago? <laughs> Why didn't anyone tell me until now? Now, Your Majesty, we were just following orders. Don't you remember when you told us? And these are your exact words. I don't want anyone to interrupt my meetings to report insignificant news, such as if my daughter is kidnapped. Oh, yeah. Well, what did you find out? <laughs> Farina here <Hirde> is holding <laughs> oh, the yes, such as if my daughter is kidnapped. North of the kingdom, which is protected by level 42 ceiling. Thane Hirde created the seal by enchanting two plot Oh, the level 42 keys. ceiling? Before we can infiltrate the lair. We have to obtain both plot keys. So, what we plan to do... You obtain ah, both plot I think keys. I know what you're planning. You want us to send a hero... Oh, God. Oh, shit. A hero who will go on a glorious quest to rescue the princess. It will be a long and perilous quest. Oh, my God, he the trademark to down there. lands, face many hardships, and encounter many dangers. <sighs> but if he surmounts these many obstacles, he will find great glory. Cool. Right? Well, actually, we were planning to deploy the army. I mean, come on. What's one hero going to do against thousands of enemy troops? You want me to deploy the army just to rescue one hostage? Do you have any idea how much it'll cost? Sir, she's your daughter. Well, what makes my daughter so special, huh? You don't think I'd deploy the army to rescue anyone else's daughter, do you? Why should I for mine? Sir, it's a delicate situation, given the princesses. Nah, forget it. <laughs> up with something cheaper. I've had quite enough of this for the day. I'm going to go nail the queen now, if you don't mind. Uh, your majesty, if you don't do anything to save her, you could take a major hit oh, to the poles. What? All right. Let me think. I got it. As far as the poles are concerned, all that matters is that I look like I'm trying to get my daughter back. So, instead of deploying the army, we will send out a hero to rescue the princess. And here's the good part. 
When he fails, I get sympathy points. Eh? But will the people go for it? Sure they will. We'll just feed them some bullshit story about a prophecy. <laughs> people love that kind of shit. Just <laughs> feed them a story about a prophecy. One more question. What if the hero succeeds? Oh, God. If he succeeds, then he would seem to be a perfect match for her, solving that problem. Because, after all, no man is more deserving of my daughter's hand in marriage than the one who brings her back to me. Lord Tapton, I want you to send out a small, inexpensive squadron of men to scour the kingdom and bring me back a fairy boy. A fairy boy? Yes, a fairy boy. The one chosen by destiny to <laughs> rescue the princess. <laughs> God. Oh, shit. I wasn't ready for like, oh. Hello, sir? Let me ask you something, lad. Have you had, have you heard any recent rumors about Princess Carmiana? The princess? Yeah, they say she's not feeling well, and that's why she had to cancel some appearances. Son, prepare yourself for a shock. The princess has been kidnapped. Kidnap! For some reason, the king is looking for a fairy boy to go on a quest to save his daughter. You gotta be kidding me. I'm under orders to recruit a fairy boy for this quest, so if you join the army now, you have a fantastic opportunity to rescue her royal highness princess. Carmiana, and if you succeed, you'll have the esteemed honor of marrying her. So what do you say, laddie? Join the army? No. What are you thinking against all odds of common sense? You actually managed to find a quest to go on and you don't want to go? Come on, don't be, you want to be glorious hero or not? Sign me up. See, Tab, I told you. <clears throat> I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Not only am I going on an, uh, an adventure, Tab, I'm going on the greatest adventure ever. A quest to rescue the princess, trademark. It's my fa fate to be glorious hero, trademark. I am the chosen one, trademark. Oh, please, Pelicus 2. You could never possibly get a quest like this based on your own merit. You got it because the, the circumstance of me tagging along at the exact sliver of time the king was looking for a fairy boy. Exactly. Fortune brought me to you. Brought you to me, Tab. It's like destiny and my, it's my patroness and I am her ward. I am destiny's ward. Oh, shut up with the destiny talk. You say luck, I say destiny. Who cares? Point is, we're going on a quest to rescue the princess together. I told you I wouldn't let her down. As soon as you, as I, as I take you to the capital and get your commission from the king, just get a sword and we'll be off. Well, I, I don't exactly own a sword. Don't have a sword? I can't take you to meet the king if you don't have a weapon for the king to commission you with. Sorry, you'll have to acquire a weapon before I can sign you up. Looks like your patroness is quite the practical joker, plucking you of all people at random of the whole kingdom to go on the most glorious of all quests. I want to have you fail because you don't own a weapon. This is terrible. Where the hell am I going to find a weapon in Borrington? Come on, Pelicus 2, I can't believe it happened, but we were going we were just given an extraordinary opportunity, and we can't give up on give up on it on technicality. Isn't there anyone in this town who has something that might be used as a weapon? Uh knowledge is a weapon. Also, thank you, Zarnus, for gifting out six months of sub to shut up and pick. Stream elements appears to be broken again, and on that note, I'm taking my food in the kitchen. I'll be right back. Welcome to Bitter Bits. Let me, uh, it is, dude, it is, it has been stream smellaments. Also, shut up and pick. Where the hell have you, I haven't seen you in like 90 years. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, that's right. We can go get the scythe. I totally forgot about it. Good to see you again. Um, yeah, no, stream elements has been breaking like left and right, dude. That shit's been crazy. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what it do. What it do? Why is how did chat get like wrong? What? It's like I had this up here. It was totally fine. Decade was that from? Was that like from earlier? When the hell did that happen? What is that? You been playing Elden Ring? Oh, cool. 
Cool deal. I don't remember it quite being like this from high... What? I don't remember it quite like this from high school. Okay. This is, uh, this is all truth. Let's go ahead and just load this up. Okay, the water cycle. We got... The boys are back in town, naturally. Evaporating of the atmosphere, which then becomes boys to men. Then it rains men. Then it hits old man river, and the boys are back in town. Which is absolutely right. For sure. Everything's everything's right in that. There's there's nothing that could be misconstrued in there at all. At all. No way. None. Zero. Zero. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this whacked out Wednesday. Thank you guys for all the support. Thank you, Zars, for gifting out subs. Thank you, Jukakura, for the two dollars. And happy 420, everybody. I hope you're all high as shit. Forever. Simon, I need a weapon pronto. You have anything here I could use as one? I don't know. Let's see. Maybe this gigantic... What if he doesn't get the scythe? He's going to get us like a stick. Don't bring me that. Do you look like I... <sighs> I don't know. Let's see. Well, all I have is a scythe. That could be a weapon. What do I look like? The Grim Reaper? Come to think of it. Never mind. All right, I'll take it. I can sell it to you for 10 frequent flyer miles. Here you go. There's your scythe. Thanks for the, thanks for the business. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Now we're on a real Arpig. Because now I have the ability to... Wait. There we go. Oh, shit. Look at the strength in that. I'm excited. I'm excited. Very, very, very excited. I hope you guys are excited too, because I'm juiced. Juiced and ready to go. A scythe, you call that a weapon? I most certainly do. The scythe is an honorable weapon from our kingdom's agricultural regions. It's tradition for knights from Boringshire to be commissioned with the scythe. Is it really? Yes, sirree. It's definitely not an urban legend. Seems legit to me. I can take you to the palace whenever you're ready. Hey, Yakasaurus, when did you get here? Appointment went well. That's really good to hear, Hunter. No, I need to do a few. No, I'm ready to go, dude. We've we've scoured this place. I'm ready. To, I'm ready to hit it. The Pelicans two and Tabitha set off uh, set off for Botudgel City with Corporal Hauser to meet the King Telkar Vinecon of Vinicon and receive a commission to rescue the princess. Our story continues just before the knighting ceremony in a small room in Vinicon Palace as King Telkar speaks to his advisors about the new glorious hero. And so the media has just been informed the media. about the princess's kidnapping and about our plans I could have refilled on Miles, but we'll be okay. They'll be present to cover the knighting ceremony. Good. And what about the story? Do we have a story for them? We have something better than a story, Your Majesty. We found an actual prophecy <gasps> we have words. from the Melodrusen scriptures that kind of fits this situation. That's right. I remember a prophecy like that from the second book of Rico. Yes, it <laughs> predicted that the Ricohedron would disappear during a tumultuous period, that a hero would appear and go on several quests, one of them being to rescue a princess. Also, the hero is supposed to come from the class of people who work the land. Is that why we're going with a kid with a scythe? Indeed it is, Your Majesty. <laughs> Indeed this it is. This is great work, Your Excellencies. Press is One side with 56 <laughs> months. How'd anyway, that happen? Let's get this oh, I know. With. I like Wait the buzz. I'll put on Thank you, Blindside. Headdress. You the man. Y'all give Blindside some love in chat. And thank you again, Jiggy Crow, for your hot thing. link. Tradition. Oh, I can't wait to see the headdress. I'm ready for it. Let's go. Are you serious? It's just a fucking Katamari. He's just the prince of... Citizens of Baltudgel, <laughs> as you all know by now, the holy relic known as the Ricohedron was stolen from a sacred temple in Melarjusa, <sighs> and Solera and Neptalisa are now on the. I can't. I can't be calendar. upset. What you do not. So let me get this straight. Is that Carmiana, we put a fridge in our pocket, so now we have a pocket Carmiana, fridge, and also he's Katamari man, which means this is basically just the. As well. This is just the RPG retelling of our Long Drive Chronicles. The evil warlock Firna Hirde, our nemesis to the north, has taken credit for the kidnapping, and has sealed her up in his lair in Egrog. He has demanded ransom for nothing less than the entire kingdom. But even though I love my daughter dearly and would sacrifice everything for her safe return, for your sake and the sake of the kingdom, I cannot. But there is hope. There is a Raconian prophecy that predicts God will send us a glorious hero if ever the Ricohedron disappears. <laughs> for out of the world's turmoil, it is said, I will send thee a young man. He will come from the fields of wheat and prove his valor. We believe that this prophecy is... I'm sorry, wait a minute. Did the ferret shirt get reversed? I feel like it did. No, it didn't. It's the same as it was earlier. Destiny's ward. The Look at all these assholes. The Look at the wizard man. The kingdom of the evil that has befallen. 
<laughs> yeah, blast it. Hand me your scythe, Lance. For those who don't know, the scythe is an honor roll weapon from our kingdom's agricultural regions. It is tradition for knights from Boringshire to be commissioned with a scythe. Lance, with this scythe, I commission you and your sidekick Tabitha as independent special agents in the Royal Army. Yep. You will report directly to Lord Tapton, the Minister of War. Please speak to him after the ceremony ends to get your order. Y'all, this is Thank a real goddamn majesty. game. Thank like you, your majesty. Citizens, <sighs> I present to you the chosen one, the glorious hero, Destiny's Ward, Lance. Destiny's Ward, you're king, you're honorable. Oh, cool. So anyway, Pelicus 2, I realize the scythe is an honorable weapon for our kingdom's agricultural region, but it's going to be slightly embarrassing to have the glorious hero running around the kingdom using a scythe as a weapon. I'm very sorry, Your Majesty. It's just that I come from a humble farming town. I can't afford a sword, but even if I could, there was no sword to be bought in my town. The scythe was the closest thing to a weapon I could find. It's all right, Pelicus 2. There's no shame in using scythes as a weapon. My ancestors, before they were kings and queens or even thanes, repelled barbarian invaders using only scythes and foils. Still these days, it doesn't look good. Here's a 50 gift mile gift certificate from the Regal Armory and Outfitters. There should be enough to buy a short sword, maybe an Outfitter gloves or something. Wow, 50 miles? Right across the river as you exit the palace. <laughs> Why is this music so goddamn loud? Hang on, I gotta pick up all these pots. Shrubbery. I don't know if I believe that. Partridge in a pear tree. Magic flute. Vial, vial of proto blood. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> a plastic thingamajig. <laughs> a brand new toaster. Scroll of identity. And poor Yorick. Wow. 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 Okay, fine. Alas. <laughs> Alas. <laughs> oh, man. The door is locked. Yes, I'm very often unheralded as a person working behind the scenes in international affairs. No one notices this unless we send suspicious emails. I doubt you'll need any assistance from my office. Is this matter we don't expect a diplomatic resolution to? Indeed, uh, Irina Heard has never been amenable uh, to diplomacy. However, should any international intrigue pop up, you'll want to seek assistance from me, and there's a chance it might, thanks to the business uh, with the Rika Hedron. So we suspect it might be related to princess kidnapping. Oh my god. I'm Lord Tapton, Minister of War. Nice to meet you. I have a very good feeling about you. You have a deep-rooted uh, farmer's work ethic, and I think you'll pay off your new quest. I know what life is like, sweltering, uh, sweltering trough of agriculture. It's the kind of life that builds real men. Pelicans too. I see a real man in you, and I'm happy to be working with you. My only concern is your tendency to... How'd you know about that? What? I mean, nothing. Yeah, I was studying your dossier, and I noticed you have a tendency to jump into situations without a plan. So before you set off, you'll need to come to the War Ministry office. You'll be briefed on the first mission, and we'll set up a plan. The first door to your right is the exit of the throne room. Well, I was going to try to juicel goosel out of here, but I guess not. <laughs> Out of order, foreign office, the war <laughs> The war room. See, we got real water over here. What the hell is that? God, what is going on? Oh, dude, kick and scythe? I mean, we're in it, dude. This is it. This is the build. Kick scythe. We got a Maltese Falcon. Oh my god. There was one of the rugs. <laughs> Just one of the rugs? There was a unit of Solarana Solaranite. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> what is happening? There's some Illudium Q36. There's a flux capacitor in there. That's great. There's a Holy Grail in the pot. All right. We should probably save. Wait, what ringtone do we have? Elephant. Good. Good, good, good. Holy shit. This is, this is intense. Please take a seat. Yeah, I'll sit down. I like the, uh, I like the fact that it looks... Oh, he's got his own fairy. Here I am. Welcome to the Strategic Command Center. 
This is the room we need to use to plan to be used to plan major wars. We don't use it anymore now uh, since Votuzel hasn't been in a major war for a century. We'll be using it as a command center of this operation. It's very impressive. Thanks, we're very proud of it. Anyway, to business. Helicus and Tabitha, the Pelinco ferry to my left is Colonel Selena. She will be your commanding officer. Greetings, Pelicus 2. It's very nice to meet you, Tabitha. Good to see you again. <laughs> Wait, you two fairies know each other? See, Tab, I told you this was destiny. Shut up, Pelicus. It's not destiny. All Pelinco fairies know each other. We're all telepathically connected. However, by co coincidence, we have actually met fairy to fairy. We were in the same class in sidekick school. Let's just get into briefing. All right. <laughs> Background three days ago, Princess Carmiana was kidnapped while visiting the sacred temple in Melargusa. The assailant was uh, Firina Hurd, an evil warlock who rules the small thaindom of Eggrog to our north. Thane Hurd took her, took her to his lair and cast level 42 ceiling to protect it. Level 42 ceiling is a power, very powerful spell. The only practical way to break the seal is to obtain access to his lair and obtain the two, select, two objects Hurd enchanted with the power to open the seal called Plot Keys. Hurd has entrusted one of the Plot Keys to Baron Rand, a nobleman with our kingdom sympathetic to Hurd. The other one oh, he buried in southern catacombs in Naroka. Do you understand the mission so far, and would you like to hear it all again? No, I'm good. Yeah, I didn't realize there was important details I needed to pay attention to. <laughs> Look at the big board. Well, here we, we're here. Okay. The capital, the first plot key is being held in Baron Ran and Chingham. Uh, the Baron's Chateau sits atop a hill overlooking the town of Brovency. <laughs> Brovency, if my geography serves me correct, that's where the esteemed University of Chingham lies. That's correct. The Baron is very well-known alumnus and built his chateau near the university for that reason. Helicus, your mission is to infiltrate the Baron's chateau and retrieve the plot key. Yeah, you just I just blew through the whole explanation, but I really ought to have listened. <laughs> now let's talk about enemies. Baron Rand's a necromancer. He can channel dead spirits and control hideous beasts. We have good intelligence that he has created an army of supermodel zombies that roam the halls of his chateau. Infiltrating the chateau will be a very difficult task. I don't think zombies are going to be much... Wait, hold on. Because the living dead are best attacked from a distance, we, <laughs> we recommend to buy a ranged weapon. Yeah, but you should probably bring ammunition just in case. Obviously, there'll be sufficient ammunition in the chateau, but being extra prepared doesn't hurt. Okay, that all makes sense, but did you say supermodel zombies? Of course you said supermodel zombies. This is a video game. What did you think? There wouldn't be, there wouldn't be gratuitously hot enemies? Well, yeah, I mean, this isn't, this isn't the sort of game that appeals to violent dude bros. I figured we'd be above that kind of thing. Nah. <laughs> nah. Anyway, this game's a parody. I mean, it's going to hit all the ridiculous things regular games do even harder. Fine, anything else? In addition to supermodel zombies, we know there are other monsters in Chateau as well. You should pair with a variety of weapons. Do you understand the information about the enemy you'll face, or would you like to repeat this? No, I don't want to ever have this conversation ever again. Good luck, Pelicus. The princess and the whole kingdom are counting on you. You get some nahs in chat. Do we still have bitter nah, or do we get rid of that one? We have so many emotes now, I just, I can't even remember them all. I didn't make this. There was a monolith in the pot. Wow. Well, you're good now, dude. You're good. You're good to go. That's okay. A lot of people forget that Gnaw exists. What the fuck? Pardon our mess? Jesus. A bunch of corpses lying around. Pardon our mess? Oh, this is nice. What a good place this is. This looks fantastic. You must be Master Pelicus. Welcome to Botaja Labs. I'm Sir Winston Manseva, the, the wizard laureate, head of the magical research of this kingdom. It's more interesting. It's more than interesting. It's transcendent. We project our essence into the astral realm to uncover the metaphysical mysteries of the universe. Then we use this knowledge to create elixirs and talismans for ordinary folks because not everyone has access to time travel. I mean, not everyone can project themselves astrally. I've been appra I have been appraised of your missions. Uh, and we're working on something just for you. Can't tell you, but I'll give you a hint. It'll help you somewhere you can't go right now. <sighs> Come back after you've been briefed on part two of your adventure. Ah, oh, you must be Destiny's Ward. I'm Kelly. I'm a research assistant here at Botage Labs. The cranky old man to my right, Sir Man Seba. That's some magic you'll need for your missions, and that's why you've been sent here. I can bring you some alchemy recipes, too. What are you trying to do to peddle alchemy to our customers for? The glorious hero doesn't need inferior magics. We work in mana here. Oh, be quiet. You know, we know our mission. Uh, you know, our mission statement covers the full range of magics. You only get a third of my time anyway. I can dabble on my own time if I want. Go meditate or something. <laughs> I like how different she looks compared to everybody else. 
<laughs> yes, mana based magic. Anyway, I can make you an alchemy recipe for five miles plus the cost of ingredients. Uh, well, I guess nothing for now. It's cheaper just to buy them in a shop, but the only time it'd be useful is really need darts and there's no shops nearby, but there's no... Okay, well. Well, I guess we'll have to come back to this because we don't have any frequent flyer miles right now. Yeah, I do feel like most of the budget probably went into Kelly. It looks like that. It certainly looks like that. It was the foreign office and then it was out of order. <laughs> Which they, they were not wrong. It is out of order. See, I thought the, uh... I thought we got like a... Did we get like a weapon voucher or something like that? If you can't love me at my bless this mess, you don't deserve me at my live, laugh, love. The Red Rider? The BB gun? There was some letters of transit. There was one of no teas in the pot. There was a lump of Valyrian steel in the pot. Thank God. We got it now. We're good to go. So you must be the glorious hero. My name is Brent Nuttaloose. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Brent Nuttaloose is the man's name. God almighty. And I have orders to drive you to Brabensi once you've been briefed on your mission. Since you've been briefed, we can set off to Brabensi whenever you're ready. Uh, Can you open the gate real quick? Do you think you can raise the portcullis real quick? I'd like to pick some supplies up in town before I start on my mission. No, I have orders not to let you out of the palace. Don't, don't, don't care. Have fun. Hope you can find your way. I like how... All right, cool, that's cool. Like that. That's death. What? What? Where am I? You're dead, Lance. You're dead. I need to get up. <laughs> yeah, just what pivot the... on up. Just pivot up. Who are you? I am death. Wow. I'm Death Lancey, and this is Linda. <laughs> I'm glad. The first circle of You're in hell, Lance. Isn't that <laughs> oh, wonderful? Oh, God. What? Wonderful? Jesus Christ. Oh, don't be so sour, Lancey. This isn't the mean old imperial capitalist hell that really, really bad people go to. This is the hell where everybody lives in a utopian world of peace and harmony as we frolic in laughter and gaiety among the flowers. Yeah. In limbo, everyone's <laughs> yeah. dead. Every <laughs> it's like gross. Joy and we smoke. Look, Death, I was in the middle of making a video game and I guess I must have gotten killed somehow. I'd kind of like to continue. I'm trying to rescue the princess. So soon, so soon. Very well, you're the glorious hero after all. I have a magical chariot that can carry your soul back to Earth if you follow me. I just gotta follow him, man. Of course, it's a goddamn VW. Chariot that will take you back to Earth. Interesting. The VW bus. Ride. And Lance, remember, anytime you die, you're welcome to stay here with us in limbo, singing and dancing and frolicking in the flowers. Bye bye, Lancey. Sure thing. I like how it just takes whatever name you have. Goodbye, and Death. I'm sure I'll be back soon. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be back soon. <laughs> okay. You're back already? Yeah, I guess so. That's amazing. Most people take years, if not decades, to continue, but you were gone for no time at all. Yeah, death wasn't anything like I expected, though. Don't sweat it, Pelicans 2. Let's keep going. We did it, everybody. This has got to be a reference to Conquer's Bad for a day. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just appreciate the way we died there. That was pretty great. I know it's such a vibrant city with so many side quests, but remember, we're not here to sightsee. We have a princess to rescue. Well, first thing we need to do is figure out how to get to Brabensi. So if it isn't the fairy boy, 
I just want to know. I just want to, I want you to know, fairy boy. You can forget about your little quest because I'm gonna be the one to rescue the princess. I'm sorry. Is Gary gonna be our rival, like in Pokemon's? I don't have to fight any monsters. My dad's the Duke of Lishker. He's gonna buy the plot keys for me. So you should just give up and go back to your meaningless farm life, fairy boy. Thank you, Jigakuro, for another two dollars. Well, uh, I'm not going to. So there. We're gonna have to work on your one-liners, Pelicus. Too. You don't sound like a hero at all. I believe that was the Duke of Lishker's son, Gary, a notorious rich brat. Can his dad really buy the plot keys? This is terrible. Don't panic. Heroes face adversity all the time. And a true hero comes back from adversity. Oh, oh big yaw. Uh, we have to keep going, but one thing's for sure. We can't waste any more time. I mean, except for all the time uh, we need for as many side quests as we want to go on. Oh. A visitor center across the bridge should have some more information on how to get into Brabancy. Is that a highway sign? Is that two highway signs? Death has been added as a friend on my thief. Okay, great. Is this area, like, shockingly large? Botudgel City Mall. An empty area where we didn't have to put any buildings. Wow. Very good. That door's locked. This door's locked. Every door's locked forever. All we need now is a reference to get ye flask. Are these apartments? Nice apartments. I have not checked my thief yet. I have not. We probably should. Oh my god, this is so cool. I was being chased by some dumb guy who was trying to sell me a bad investment and a human named Pelicus 2 rescued me and I tagged along. We ran around his boring hometown and then we got trapped to rescue the crown princess because of me. We're on a real quest. Wow, wow, wow. This will be my last post for a while. LOL. Great. What's old Uncle Stoop Nixie he doing? He's a bar rat? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, what's old Death got going on? Death is inescapable. Death is completely unmoved by pity. Death sees everything and knows nothing. He's the uh, Reaper of Souls. I need to get the I need to get the boots of turbo running or whatever they're called. Wanted to finish this game in my lifetime, Square. <laughs> Wanted to finish this game in my lifetime, Square. Oh my god. I'm sorry, did you say Reefer of Souls? Good. Thank you again to Range for sending me a copy of this. This has been uh, fantastic so far. Chinese food! Doors locked! What the fuck is that? How could they do me like this? What wanted to finish this game in my lifetime square? <laughs> like there was like I got quit. Sorry, I got a slight case of the sniffs. Oh, there's the uh there's the armory and outfitter. Boy, look at Jeeves and Jeeves too over here. Hello, sir. Welcome to the real armory and outfitter. I'll give you the Jennifer. I have this gift certificate from the king. Oh, a gift certificate from the king. You must be very important. My guy keeps sizing me up. I'll give the king the benefit of the doubt. Very nice. This gift certificate also gives you unlimited access to the weapons, samplery, and armor changing rooms. Whenever you'd like to sample a weapon, just walk back to the samplery. <laughs> the samplery. <laughs> oh, God. And for uh, purchases, you'll talk to me and my colleague. Was it a chicken sandwich as a weapon? All right, the time has come, and so have I. The game engine considers the attack dummy to be an enemy, so you can target it. <laughs> the game engine considers it. Uh, let's try. Let's try sword. Nice. Wow, that is that is certainly that is certainly an attack sound. That's, that's some accuracy right there. They're just stacking up on top. 
<laughs> no, let me leave. Okay, well, I guess it depends on if the does the crossbow require ammo is the that's the question. Well, we have we have fifty dollars in store credit, which is uh yes, it does. What the shit is this? Wait. D he gave me $50? That's like not even enough. That's not enough to do anything. All we can buy is a Santa hat and maybe a chicken Cosmo. I can also get aviator goggles, but uh, the spiffy hat makes you look like you have horns. Ho, ho, ho. You've been a naughty boy this year, which means you have to wear this hat. Okay, so I, I can't afford anything, so I'm just going to buy the Santa hat. I feel like at this point, that's probably the way, just the way to go. We just have to live with it. Looks like uh, looks like I can't afford to buy a crossbow from the King's gift certificate. The gift certificate is for 50 miles, but the crossbow costs 61. I can't even cover the difference with cash. I need 11 miles to do that. And I'm not physically capable of carrying 11 miles. That's true. Do you have any idea where I can buy the upgrade around here? The item shops carry a money bag upgrade. I suggest we look for a shop. I noticed that right across the street from here, there's a market. Oh, shit. Okay, I may have, I may have, I may have spent my money on a Santa hat. Was that it? Was it, was that a mistake? <laughs> was that was that a mistake? I don't know. Uh, I don't know what time this was. Was this when we first walked in here? I think so. Uh, yes. Okay, so this is when I was first. I first walked in here. Thank God. Okay, so I need I need the money bag upgrade. Happy fun ball. All right, and we get a gram of ice nine in the pot. I don't even know what's happening anymore. Uh, there's city information, Botuggel City River Market. Dude, what we got going on over here? This is nice. It's a good place. Oh God damn it! My name is Yubby Tish. I'm a pawnbroker. I buy almost everything. I even buy artifacts. And if you accidentally sell any items important for your quest, you better buy them back later. I'd like to pawn off some items. Oh, wait, 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 we should wait. Wait a minute. Oh, I guess we gotta just find a vendor that has the thing. It's exciting. The chest contained the famous dating app, Skol Sco Scoviller. Just try it out. Oh, like, oh my God. I didn't know it was like Scovial, like the... Welcome to Scoviler, uh, the hottest new online dating app. If you want to see someone who's hot, 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 like a spicy jalapeno, click the chili pepper icon. Oh, dude, fucking eggplant, that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the same person. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Oh, man, no, eggplant, that shit, dude, whatever. <laughs> I've just got a whole list of names to the same person. I also appreciate that this doesn't like this doesn't seem to do anything like how long how long do you have to do this to get like some kind of I get is this is this what real dating apps are like for people is this it God that's really funny <laughs> it's just the same person <laughs> okie doke uh there's like an art thing there's meet the straw man oh my god hi I'm straw man I know lots of things and if you <laughs> If you want some information about anything in particular, just come to me. For instance, did you know this? If you let the market decide prices, producers will appreciate the freedom and not raise prices for consumers very much out of generosity. Hey. Thank you. We're going to buy some items? Because I got items. This is the item shop. Uh, I'm here to shop. What do you got? There's the money bag upgrade. Okay, so the money bag upgrade costs 11, but I can only carry like 10. I feel your pain, but if you need money, if you want to buy something, you has got to earn a living. That's guild rules. Uh, can you give me a one mile discount on the money bag? Sorry, man. It's called supply and demand. Dude's got to earn a living. How can I buy a larger money bag when it costs more than I can carry? Sorry, man. Can't do anything about the price. Hey, you know what you should do? You should get a savings account. Savings account? Yeah, just go to the bank and get a savings account. That way you don't have to carry all your money around in your purse, and I'll give you a debit card that you can use to pay for stuff.
I mean, he do take debit, though. <laughs> Yee, he take debit. I didn't make this game. Stop implying that I made this game. I did. Even though he ye take debit, whatever. Okie doke, well, I guess let's go, let's go get a savings account so ye I can take debit, I guess. Is that, is that the burrito yurt? Oh my god, that's like the squirt yurt. I was not involved, I don't know what this game is. Stop it. All signs point to maybe. Just keep on scandaling, just keep on scandaling, yeah. Is this not the bank? Oh, I thought that beige, beige trash looking building would be the bank. What is this thing? Uh. Oh, this is, this is Scoville headquarters. Oh, you, you jerks. I have a new message from what's her face on Scoville. Oh hell yeah. Help, I'm being held hostage in the factory that makes the Scoville app. They're forcing me to create fake profiles to get more people to sign up. If you get this message, please send help. I'm in the Scoville factory in Botajal City. <laughs> Leave that shit on red, dude. <laughs> Leave that shit on red. I I ain't deal with this. Oh shit. This is scary. I don't want to go in here and get murdered. I mean, I'm doing it. Is this our, is this our first Dungong? Was this bait? The chest contained one pair of speed boots. Well, those, those sound useful. Uh, future home of the Scoville Factory Mini Quest. DLC. Well, they are, I don't think they're the ones that let me move fast. Well, that was, uh, that was great. I'm glad, I'm glad we did that. <laughs> this, game, this game's got on disc DLC. Oh shit, is that an Italian eatery? Botudgel International Airport. I don't think we're supposed to go here yet, though. We're just there's eat up, f uh, Fucci's, Fucky's Italian Italian Ristorante. All right, Fucky. Hey, 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 Mambo Italiano. Oh, here's the bank of Botuggle. Very lavish. I should have expected this. Damn. Excuse me, ma'am. I'd like to open an account with this bank. Please have a seat over there and I'll be with you in a moment. Okay. Oh, gosh, you look in drip. So, Mr. Pelicus, what you're telling me is that you're 20 years old, have never earned more than 20 miles a week, and have no experience handling money or managing accounts, and have almost no assets, and you want to open a savings account with the Bank of Botajal. Yep. I'm sorry, Mr. Pelicus, uh, but you are not financially sound enough to open a savings account this this team bank. I am sure you are well aware the Bank of Botajal is the most... <sighs> Most prestigious bank in the world. We're very selective concerning our clientele. We don't give saving accounts to every riffraff who walks in, the, in off the street. You're out of, your, out of your place to even request such a thing. However, as consolation, we can offer you something else. An unsecured credit card with a credit limit of 1,000 miles. Wait, what? You won't give me a savings account, but you'll give me an unsecured credit card with a 1,000 mile limit? I apologize for regrettably low credit limit. That's actually not what surprised me. Unfor Yesterday, I could have offered you a 2,000 mile limit, but something happened with one of our major underwriters early this morning. He disappeared somewhere in the town of Borington. Huh. Credit card comes with a 15.99% FMPY. What is FMPY? Five minute percentage yield. It means that every five minutes, you'll be charged an interest of 15.99%. That's five minutes of real time, not counting pauses, conversations, and menus. However, you have a grace period of three and a half minutes after a purchase before interest begins to accrue. <laughs> Finally, your card comes with a free bank of Botudgel app. Oh my god! Someone programmed this. Look at our damn credit rating in the top left corner. Oh my god. 
Don't buy anything you don't think you'll be able to pay back within a few minutes. Otherwise, you'll default on your payment. Your credit rating will tank. I advise you use the free banking app they gave you and set it up to auto pay or alert you when payments are due. Oh my god. Send notification when new bill arrives. Send notification 30 seconds before payment is due. Show credit card balance on main display. Show credit rating. Enable auto pay. Pay to deduct me. Deduct the outstanding balance with auto pay. If disabled, only the minimum payment will be deducted. Send notifications with auto pay. Deduct the payment. Oh my god. <laughs> this might be the most the most real ass banking system I have ever seen in a video game. I've gotta say, like, directly, that is uh not any way what I expected, because that is just I'm proud of him. I'm really proud of it. Did it, did, did that like, did the explanation of that just give anybody a little bit of anxiety? Just like a little bit? Not a lot, like, not like world ending, like, oh. Like just a little bit of sweat. I see Frost is sweating over there. Yeah, let me just go, let me just go make money. I'll just go grab the money off the money trees because money grows in money land. Money, money, money. Developer laziness park. Thank God. It's another one. Spinner mode. Oh, it's a car. <laughs> the windows just go out to a real ass city. Oh my god. That is like very cleverly built too. Like it actually works. That's um... I... I mean, what is this taken from like Google Street View? Like <laughs> what is this? Hi, welcome to Spinner Boat Coffee. Can I have your name? It's Pelicas. What will you be having today, Mr. Lars? Uh, I guess, I guess nothing, because I, I can't. Look, my credit score is going to tank, and uh, our corporate office requires me to tell you that you are welcome to remain in this establishment, even if you do not order anything. Have cute, that is all. Thank you, Kombucha, for the, the MP4. It will it will just download, unfortunately, so you have to send that to me like in a... If you, uh, if it's a GIF, if you change the .mp4 to .gifv, it won't, like, auto-download. Hang on a second, it may not actually, anyway. No, we're good. Oh god, that didn't even look real. That didn't even look real! Oh, I have to check this anyway. Hang on a second, we had, we had Jigakuro who had a link a minute ago. Uh, I didn't buy anything, did I? I don't want my credit score getting insane. Uh, East Origin features a large cast of characters who fail to realize that the one person single-handedly cleaving through legions of demons without using magic is maybe not someone they should be trash-talking. Well, well, the little farm girl made it this far up the tower. Before I end your pathetic life, I have to know how did a bumpkin unable to use magic like you get past Velagunder? The gangly beast thing? I just jumped on it and hit its head. Or jumped on its head and hit it. You jumped on the building-sized venomous laser demon crab and hit it. Repeatedly until it exploded. There was demon goo everywhere. Why is there an East comic? I'm so confused. It's kind of hot in here. You mind if I take my shirt off? Okay, I'm ready now. I hope you don't explode. It's really gross. <laughs> Look at Jack this shit. Jacked up. Oh, never mind. This dude, this dude made this? Wow. That's incredible. Good for them. And this is the thing, Kombucha Link. How is that cat real? <laughs> like, how is that little creature real? It doesn't even look real. What's that? The writer's thinly disguised fetish. Watch out, everybody. Well, there's the old burrito yurt over there, which I'm not going to the burrito yurt. I know I need to, but I'm not going to do it. That's a very cute cat. Oh, excuse me. What was that, Twitter again? I'll have Jacob Curl link it. Also, thank you guys for all the support tonight. I really do appreciate it on this here. Whacked Out Wednesday. Uh, you guys are great. Wanda Polymorph. What if we could just turn him into like a... something. I feel your pain, man, but you need money if you want to buy something. Dude's got to earn a living. That's guild rules. Uh... 
But what about my what about my credit card? Cr uh, credit balance, credit rating. Do I have to like? What do I have to do? Oh, was there was there a change payment method? Did that was that a thing? There's there was no change payment method. But over the five dollars says I'm here to talk about Uncle Cracker and eat pasta. Okay, so there was some story last night, and I only caught like a little bit of it. But it basically, I'm gonna give you guys the short version. Apparently, Throw wanted like fettuccine alfredo because he saw somebody else got fettuccine alfredo and wasn't paying attention when he bought fettuccine alfredo so he bought like the fuck you i'm throwing a party size of fettuccine alfredo and spent like a hundred dollars on it and now has like 18 pans of fettuccine alfredo in his house or something i frankly i don't know how one makes a mistake and orders like a million dollars of fettuccine alfredo. but i think low-key what throw was trying to do was open up his own italian restaurant with of cheese of cheese pan Oh, gee. Fuck, can I get into that? What, what did you... What was your reaction when the man showed up and dropped the pans on the floor in front of your door and was just like, hang on, there's more in the car. <laughs> hang on, there's more in the car. <laughs> Thank you, Throw, for the $5. Thank you, Jukin Kuro, for the $2 as well. You guys are all wonderful. And, uh, God, no, AP was telling that story last night, and I was fucking dying. I was very confused when I saw the 90 pans... How many pans was it? Or was it just one gigantic, like, unholy, massive, whatever? Uh, I'm upset that I can't get my money back upgrade. Do you think that, like... Oh, you can click method here. Yeah, credit card. Thanks so much. Here's your stuff. Okay, I'm a little scared because this means that, uh, it means the, pe the minimum payment's gonna be due soon. Uh, hey, Pecker Nose, why don't you buy an app? Pecker knows, but I should have called you the fog because you're wandering around clueless. Like you're in it and your brain is made of it. How's that supposed to mean? It means you're a helpless little snowflake. There was once a time where people knew how to find out what to do on their own, but now even the glorious heroes of the realm can't be trusted to get by without help. And it's not like that fairy who's moseying along with you is going to be any help. Hey, do you need to buy an app so you can stop looking like a goddamn idiot? I don't, I don't know if you're not buying anything because you're too cheap, too poor, or can't make a goddamn decision to save your life. What? Wow. God, fuck you, Jocelyn. Jesus Christ. I. Jocelyn, you're like, you're really mean. <laughs> you're, you're, you're really mean, Jocelyn. I don't like you very much at all, Jocelyn. You're real mean. Wearing these boots uh, makes you go very, very fast. For some reason, they seem to be made of cast iron. Uh, he also has a gift certificate, which we could we could just sell that, I guess. Uh, I don't know if that'll actually give me... Wait, you only give me one for that? You're stupid. That's ridiculous. Uh, fuck the background music identifier. I'm done with that. Uh, I'm not getting rid of Scoviller, because that was some good shit. Uh, plastic thingamajig, brand new toaster. Can get rid of that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't want to, like... I don't want to sell, like, all my artifacts. Oh my god, is that from Plan... That is from Plan 9 from Outer Space. Not Plans 1 through 8. Plan 9. <gasps> Dude, the letters of transit, they're worth so much money! You can apply it to my credit balance. Wait, I think... I take possession of your crap. Okay, we should be capped out. Uh, what? I didn't mean to sell the, the, the identifier. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Did you make it? We're still going tweet and tag the dev. I probably should. You can sell $11 worth and pay off. Well, we're good. Everything's good. As long as, long as I actually have... Okay, I do, I do have 100 frequent flyers. It should auto pay. Okay, so this game actually has a credit system. By the way, I don't, I'm not getting the, the... The thing only says the music's made by Kevin McLeod. I don't give a shit. Um, the game actually... Instead of giving you a wallet upgrade initially, you have to go to the bank and get a credit card, which has a credit balance, credit limit, available credit, 
Uh, it's got your credit rating. It's got, you know, your bills. It'll, like, make a notification. What do you mean I didn't set up full auto pay? I sure did. Deduct the outstanding balance with auto pay. If disabled, only the minimum payment will be... Okay, well, there we go. We can do the full thing. Thought we had done the entirety of it. Please pay your damn credit card. No, I'm gonna I'm let it... I'm gonna let it take over. You guys cool with that? You cool? Just make the payment. You're right there. Fine, I'll make the damn payment. Jeez. All right, is everybody happy? Here we go. We made the payment. Now, what's cool is we can go back and we can go buy all of the armor and crossbows and shit because then we can just put it on our credit card and we'll build good credit rating. Hey, Jeeves. <laughs> what's, what's up, gamer? Yeah, here, put all this on my uh, put all this on my credit card, Jeeves. Y'all ready? Y'all ready to go into debt? You ready to go into debt? You ready to go into debt? Who's ready? Who's ready? Who's ready? Who's ready? <laughs> Very good, sir. I like your credit card, sir. <laughs> also, give me the aviator goggles. I'm ready. And also the Santa hat. Put myself into debt. Put myself into debt. Who wants to get, get, get stressed out? There was a gold watch in the pot. You guys don't worry about it. This game is life. This game is amazing. And anybody who's just now joining us, it's, it's fantastic. There's a titanium arrowhead in the pot. Here's the question. Can I continuously farm the pots? Oh. Oh, look, guys. We figured out how to do it. So all you do in life, a randomizer, all you do in life if you have bad credit is you go inside, destroy things in a shop, and then sell them to someone else. Piss arrowhead. I want a piss fridge. There's a vial of mystery goo in the pot. How much money do you think I have to pay this dev to get like my own reference in this? Because I want like, wow, an entire Higgs boson. One entire Higgs boson. It's improbable. <laughs> there was a scroll of identity and identify. There was nothing in the pot. You guys getting stressed out that our uh, credit our, our credit card payments coming up? You enjoying it? I can't deal, dude. You're gonna rack up interest. We're set up on auto pay. We're good. We're gonna be fine. We can definitely afford the main balance with our eighty nine dollars in miles. You killing us right now? <laughs> I'd like to pawn off some items if you don't mind. Uh, let's see what we got. Scoviller, of course, is not worth getting rid of. However, this key card, flat rectangular piece of synthetic, whatever. Tiny letters of words, uh, Beacon Hinder Security System, Space Quest 1, The Sarian Encounter, Sierra Online. Um, I think we can actually get rid of most of these, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. It does appear that some of these things are really not worth that much in the first place, which is a bit scary. <laughs> the monolith is worth, worth a decent amount. It's for 2001 space, a space Odyssey. Uh, there's like the Happy Fun Ball, there's Oakham's Razor, there's Ice Nine. Uh, this is ridiculous. I like how they wrote out descriptions for all of this. Dune, Psychonauts, uh, Magic Flute. Oh, I have two flutes, dude. Oh, yeah, some of them could be used in alchemy, I guess. Fuck that, though. I'm not crafting. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna sell old Yorick. <laughs> I'm just, from Toe Jam and Earl. Oh, my God. Wait, can I, uh, I take possession of your crap. Here's your payment. See, my credit balance is only 27. I told you guys everything was going to be fine. I told you it was fine. <laughs> or it's just $1 trash. I have no idea. It could be either one. All right, so we have, we have a real weapon now, I guess. Uh, yeah, we've got sword. I will equip that. Give to Tabitha. Uh, items. We got freaking flyer miles, credit card, a refrigerator. We got some ammo. Oh, the speed boots are uh, they are a thing. Look at that. Uh, how does this work? Maybe maybe it's in like the armor section. I, I hate that this game is like competent. I, I like. <laughs> I can't, I can't stand the fact that this is just <laughs> that this is at no. Damn, look at the speed boots! I... I... Oh, 
Oh, Dad, you have an office. That's so nice. That's my office, uh, Pelicussy. You can't go in there. You have a lot of records. I have a lot of records. You oh, okay. Lower hell. You don't want to go in there. There are capitalists down there. Okay. Well, that was, um... That was certainly a, a thing that happened right there. Now, do you think since I died, I don't have to pay my credit card? All right, let's try this again. Why does it continue doing this? I didn't even jump. <laughs> I didn't even jump. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Well, I guess... Um, I guess speed boots are, you know, probably not worth doing. Now, what uh, what were we supposed to do? We're supposed to... What, what is our quest now? Why don't you fly around? Do you have any advice? Uh, we need to head to Brobensi to infiltrate our first dungeon. And as per advice from HQ, we better have a ranged weapon. So first thing, let's first, let's buy a ranged weapon. And then go to Brobensi. Da 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 I like how the fortune cookie said you're about to go on an adventure. I just want to know why the speed boots are killed. What is that? Bucks Bucks to Huda? What the fuck does that mean? What is Bucks to Huda? We can go to Banscara and Eggrog that way. I like I love the highway signs. I'm very happy about that. Uh, let's try to... Sp okay, see, they're working now. Scenic Overlook, look, Brobensi University of Chingham. Ah! Well, this is it, Tab. We're about to leave Civil... I don't think that was supposed to happen. Um... Well... Well, it's all gone now. Well, this is it, Tab. We're about to leave civilization behind and enter the great unknown wilderness. This is the real deal, Pelicus. Our quest begins now. <laughs> yeah, we lived! And so, having their work set out for them, Pelicus 2 and Tabitha uh, leave the cozy confines of the King's Palace and head off into the wilderness. Hooray! We did it. And I still got my boots with the fur. Well, Tabitha, here we are, outside the safety of the city walls, and about to embark on our glorious quest to rescue the princess. Out there lies the vast, uncharted wilderness where needs are scarce and enemies lurk hidden in the ignorant crevices of the landscape. It is a journey so bleak and perilous that only the greatest of men can Still is crash less than Elden Ring. And yet, destiny chose me, a poor farm boy, to undertake this glorious quest, because the true power to conquer evil comes not from money or prestige, but from the heart. And so, my good fairy, it is time to set forth into the bleak unknown. First stop, Brobenzi. Damn it. Lance, are you okay? Ugh. Hey, buddy, this is just a scenic overlook. The road to Brobenzi is back that way. Yeah, I know, but there weren't any good vantage points on the road. We're trying to make a cutscene for a game here. Huh? A game? Oh. I see. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to ask you to do that somewhere else. You're creeping out the tourists. <laughs> sorry about that. Well, Tab, it looks like our adventure is You're creeping to out start. the tourists. I hope this isn't a sign of things to come. <laughs> They're just like, wow, what the fuck was that shit? Oh my god, the game loaded me in and I was flying through the air, so I instantly just fucking died. Great. Great. Perfect. Thank god. <laughs> it was like, oh hell no, dude. You died before you got here, I promise. Oh yeah, because this is just the scenic overlook, so we have to go... What? <laughs> what is... What's going on? Uh, oh, oh, more lore.
Let's not do any more necessary, unnecessary cutscenes. I'm with you, Tabitha. We should really go to Brevency at some point. We're back on the main road, so we can get back by taking a left of the road until we get there. Damn, overmap theme slapping. Overworld map. I can't even talk. What? Hey there, lad. Oh, wow, you look a lot like him. Like who? Wait. Uh, what? Oh, nothing, nothing. You just look like someone I know. My name is Achilles. Achilles? You the same Achilles you fought in the Trojan War? That's me. Wow, it's such an honor to meet a Trojan War vet. My name is Pelicus too. This is my fairy Tabitha. What brings you all the way to Botudgel? I'm here on business, in fact. I'm headed to Botudgel City to meet with King Telkar Vinecon right now. A Vinicon, I can't remember what it is. However, as you can see, I'm in a bit of a predicament, so I'm worried I'll be late. Oh, no, you won't be late. Botudgel City's just down the road. Follow me, I'll take you there. No, no, not that kind of predicament. You see, I can't travel down the road at all. Why not? Because you see... There's a tortoise on the road ahead of me. And I can't pass the tortoise. My brother. Is that just a construction... <laughs> Is that a piece of construction equipment in the back? <laughs> but Achilles, you're the greatest of all Greek warriors. Surely you'd be able to pass this very slow tortoise. <laughs> Let me explain. Now hear me out. Let's suppose that I can run 10 times as fast as the tortoise can walk. Now stay with me. Let's also say the tortoise is 10 meters ahead of me on the road. Stay with me. Okay. Now, in the time it takes to get to the point where the tortoise started, the tortoise would have traveled one meter. Got that? Because I'm running ten times as fast. Follow? Well, I guess, but... Good. Now, hear me out. Now, I'm still one meter behind the tortoise, tortoise so I have to run another meter. Now, stay with me. In the time it takes to run, <laughs> run a meter, the tortoise will walk a tenth of a meter or ten centimeters. Now, hear me out. Stay with me. Okay, this is... I'm still ten centimeters behind the tortoise, so now I have to run another ten centimeters. You follow me? Now, hear me out. Stay with me. Hear me out. In time it takes to run it 10 centimeters. <laughs> the tortoise will walk one centimeter, so I'm still one centimeter behind the tortoise. Stay with me here, hear me out. Then I run one centimeter, but in time it takes me to run one centimeter, the tortoise runs one millimeter. Stay with me. Then I run one millimeter, but the tortoise is already one, one tenth of a millimeter, and so on forever. You see, I can never catch up the tortoise because there's an infinite number of lengths I have to run. This guy's a nutcase, let's get out of here. Okay, let me fill you in, Throw, because obviously you don't know the lore of this game. So we have a credit card, right? Because we can only hold 10 frequent flyer miles, like Zelda's wallets. However, the wallet to buy a bigger, or the, the bigger wallet was 11, but we can only hold 10. So we asked the guy for a discount, and he said no. He said you can go to the bank, though, and they can give you a savings account. We got to the bank, they said you can't have a savings account because you don't have enough fucking whatever. However, we're willing to give you a thousand mile credit limit credit card with an interest rate of 15.99 that applies every five in-game minutes. And uh, they gave us that credit card instead of the savings account. So we have our credit rating and our credit balance, but thankfully we're set up on auto pay right now. So we're good. Oh God, Pelicus 2, come on. Why wouldn't he be able to pass the tortoise? Because he had to run an infinite number of links to catch the tortoise. Don't you think, you know what, forget it. I'm not worth, it's not worth arguing. T talk to the nut if you want. Achilles, I can't help you with your predicament, but maybe there's someone else who can. We'll keep an eye out for anyone who can help you. It's very kind, my young... You'll know where to find me. Yeah, God knows. I. Jesus, that's... Whoa, watch the heel, buddy! Don't, don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. Don't do that. Don't do that. If we could just, like, kick the tortoise. Achilles, he's accepted your friend request on the My Thief. My feet. Wow, why'd you jump in the water then? I mean, he just straight up died. Looks like you just drowned. How'd you guess? You know, Pelicussi, it's actually really hard to drown in this game. The game prevents you from accidentally running into the water, but somehow you did. All right, well, Pelicussi's just gonna get the fuck out of here, I guess, because somebody's gonna be all fucking sarcastic about this shit. Maybe death could kill the tortoise. <laughs> I love that the music just stopped. Speed boots! Ah! <laughs> now, hear me out. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. 
Yeah, Dan is just like, you gotta stop, dude. Speed boots rock, though, man. These things are great. Oh! Hey! Wait, was that supposed to be over here? So I don't think I was supposed to come back here, but I'm here now. <laughs> Eastern Swamp. <gasps> Whoop! You have a new bill from Bank of Botudgel. Minimum due, two, two frequent flyer miles. See app for more details. <laughs> well, that worked out. Hey, OCD, how you doing? They're not death machines. You just don't understand them. You just don't, you just don't understand why they're so good. Like, do you see the distance I can cover? Oh! Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Clean. 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 We're good. Why do I continue gliding up? No! No, please. Cease. Hell, oh, shit. I finally impressive. You flew right off the edge of the scene for that one. Yeah, I can get around. Let's just say I'm glad there's no pain here in limbo, at least not the physical kind. Oh, there's plenty of that a few floors down. You better stay away from the venture capitalists. This is the news of Roldo, yes. What what the fuck? Why's my why did my credit rating go down? What was that shit? I'm sorry, did it not make the correct payment? Did, okay, enable auto pay. Bank will deduct payments from your purse automatically. Deduct the outstanding balance with auto pay. If disabled, only the minimum payment will be deducted. What? There's no, there's no way that the bank, like, you think they were mad at me because I died? Oh, come on, damn it. No. Got it. Got it. Did you see the finesse on that? Oh, you guys wishing. All right, check this out. So normally, can't make it over the water, right? Here we go. 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 Big money. Big money. Big money. Big money. Big money. Got it. Okay, <laughs> got it, gamers. Breath of the Wild too hopes that it has this much charm. Yeah, the fucking bank app. I gotta open up customer service with that and be like, why did my credit score just go down? All right, what all we got? I like real ass house over here. That's nice. There's also a spinner mode. Now the question is, can, oh, I, I could probably go in there. Yeah. Is this a? Is that like a for? It's like a for a frat house? Muskrat Alchemy. This is Muskrat Alchemy, the official alchemy service. I'd like to try a recipe. Ooh, I don't know about all this. This is, this is expensive. Very well. With the ingredients you picked, you have brewed nothing. I don't know where we're going. Where are we going? Viva Don Knotts. Viva Don Knotts. <laughs> okay, we have uh, Hagathy Hall. We got the Student Union. We got the Laboratories. We got the town over here. The town's looking a little small. Is this not where we were supposed to go? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Dude, I can play as a fairy? How awesome is that? Dude, I didn't even know. Why does this game have, like, actual QOL? Like, what the fuck is this? Because, like, I guess you play as the fairy to, like, look around quickly. Do you die if you, like, go too far down as fairy? I 
can't I can't get out of this hill. Kingdom of Loathing. Yeah, I, I could I could understand that. <sighs> okay, well, uh, we have all this. The town is oh, I see. There's like more shit up here. Cause there's some there's some like Frenchoids up there. Ooh, okay. Stop. For what purpose do you come to the gates of the Baron's Chateau? I'd like to have an audience with Baron Ran, please. Well, you can't. Not unless you're a graduate of the Bro, University Bro, what if I told you they game? gave us a pocket uh, graduate fridge? Graduate of Chin Game? Like, this Why? game gave me a fridge to put in my because pocket. Because the Baron of Chin Game will not condescend to speak to anyone who isn't a graduate of the University of Chin Game. So, if you don't have a degree, you better scram. Well, as a matter of fact, I am a graduate of Chin Game, so let me in. Sure, we'll let you in. Just as soon as you come back with proof that you're a University of Chin Game graduate. Yeah, because we don't remember you. We know almost everyone who went to the University of Chin Game over the last few years, but we don't remember you. If, if you did go to the University of Chin Game, you were probably one of those dorks who had a lot of fun and never went to any cocktail parties to discuss academics. So if you want to have an audience <laughs> with the Baron, you better come back with a transcript showing that you graduated. Oh man, that means I gotta, that means I gotta go to school and shit. Oh, man. Uh! Uh! <laughs> All right. Oh, you did. You were a dork. It was too cool. What a bunch of dorks. I'm just upset that my damn credit score went down. What the hell is that? I did all my stuff on time. Okay, well, I guess I need to go to... Wait, the University of Chingham's not here, though, right? Because this is, this is like Barbarossa or some shit. Oh, my God. Feel my education was wasted. If this game puts fucking student loan debt on me, I'm gonna lose it. Let it do the thing and rack up some interest? Oh, maybe, but like. What the hell is this? What kind of room is this? Dude, we talk about Virtual Highlight, which is the greatest game ever made. I really want, yeah, like, I want to make a Highlight game, and I want, I want it to be a hide like Yeah, this is Brobensi. I want to, I want to dethrone Souls likes. I just want Virtual Hide likes. You'll cheat your eye out. <laughs> <sighs> Calculus lecture, 7 to 8 a.m. Okay. I think so, Ford. I think it's got more passion in it. it. Took like a million people to make Elden Ring. This is made by one dude. So do I have to leave and go to Chingham or like... I guess I do. These guys won't let you in unless you graduate from the University of Chingham, so I guess you're going to have to go earn a bachelor's degree. But it takes four years to earn a bachelor's degree. I mean, it's a bit longer than most main quests. That's no reason I think to think we'd run out of time, so get studying. You need to go to the register's office in Eurospinder Hall. Sign up for classes. This is a stupid tab. I'm going to try to get the register to give me a uh, placement degree instead. <laughs> Replace. <laughs> what if we actually have to go to school for four years? Like, okay, cool. Good deal. Thank you, Jigakura, for the $2. All right, we got stationery and we got snack bar. Oh, the, reg the registrar is, up is upstairs. And the bursar. 
the hell is this? There's glass? Unbelievable. Why would you make a calculus lecture happen at 7 a.m.? What the fuck can you learn through one bloodshot eye? Just one? I'll give Jigakuro some love in chat. I'm gonna check these links here in a minute. All right, y'all got enough people? Y'all got enough people working? What do you want, young man? Uh, I'm a graduate of the University of Chingham, and I would like to get a copy of my final transcript that shows I graduated. Very well. What is your name? Pelicus 2. And? What? Your name begins with Pelicus 2. What's the rest of it? What do you mean? It's... Oh, you mean my pretentious University of Chingham name. Well, that was embarrassing. Haha, <laughs> brain fart. My name is J. Pelicus 2. Uh, Ivan uh, Hugh uh, Johnson the Ninth. Pelicus is pronounced like Lance, but it's spelled Pelicus 2. Thank you for respecting my preferred spelling. I will retrieve your transcript. That is the bank lady. Wait, Pelicus, you, 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 you new, you new nickname has been entered into your MyFee profile. Now all my kin's fairies are snickering at you. Why? It's just a name. Oh my god. Actually, Mr. Hugh Johnson, <laughs> the ninth, they're not snickering so much as bellowing. I didn't do that on purpose. All right, that's enough. That's about enough of that, fairy. If you don't shut up, I'm gonna, Mr. Hugh Johnson. I just, I can't. Hugh John, Hugh Johnson. I cannot locate your transcript. Excuse me? I said I cannot locate your transcript. There must be some kind of mistake. I assure you I'm a graduation of this fine institution. How about this? Instead of a transcript, how about you just give me a replacement degree? After all, it's the least you can do since you lost my records. Young man, this is an institution of the highest caliber. We cannot just hand a degree to any young hoodlum that walks in and asks for one. However, we have been known to lose track record, uh, track of records from time to time. Very well, I'll issue a replacement, but only if you can pass the final exam for your major. If you are, as you claim, a graduate of the University of Chingham, you should have no problem. Good, now what was your major? Accounting, aerospace engineering, Botuggle history. Uh, <laughs> you only have three majors. Accounting, very good. Now as you know, the University of Chingham is extraordinarily difficult school. We accept only the finest students in the kingdom and all the finest students in the kingdom come here without exception. The exam is so difficult that no one who isn't a graduate of the University of Chingham could possibly hope to pass it. <laughs> it's a 10 question multiple choice. You need eight correct answers to pass. What does the Roman numeral 8 represent? I mean, it's fucking 8. A fucking Apple? This is like the damn GED, which, by the way, I am familiar with that. That's not a joke. I'm serious. This is like what the GED is like. Oh, it's the ACK counting final exam. You get it? <laughs> a Brazilian? If I have one ball and I buy another ball, how many balls? I'm not even kidding. There is actually a fucking question like that on the GED. Uh, there's one that's like, if Farmer Ted has three cows and he buys five cows, how many cows does Farmer Ted have? I'm not fucking joking. I took the GED when I was 17, 16, actually. They weren't going to let me take it, but I was turning 17 or something. So they were like, yeah, whatever, just let him take it. Uh, because I dropped out of high school and, uh, yeah, they let me take it. I scored 100% on it because it is ridiculously, ridiculously simple. Like, insane that, like, that is the equivalency. Anyway, how many sides does a square have? Four. Even a nerd has a complex personality. If I, if I have one mile and I use it to buy a lollipop, how many miles do I have left? I still have as much money as I want because my dad gives me whatever I ask. <laughs> oh, if I have one mile and I use it to buy a lollipop, how many miles do I have left? <laughs> I love it still. I'm, I'm picking. I still have as much money as I want because dad gives me whatever I ask for. What time is it when the big hand points to 12 and the hand points to 1? Time to lose to the university of it. Oh my god. I have one mile because I have a credit card. Uh, what number is greater, 3 or 8? Shakespeare? What number comes after seven? I don't know, but he's obviously good and bad. <laughs> oh my god, please double check your answers when you're done. You say? <laughs> good work, Mr. Huge Johnson. You've passed the test, which means he must be a University of Chingham graduate. Take this bill across the hall to the bursa's office and pay it, then, then return to me with the receipt and I'll give you this degree. Hell yeah, I want to see the correct details. <laughs> I'm so pissed. I still I get daddy. Daddy, give me all the money. 
Nothing comes after seven. None. Why are you so small? Uh, here, I'd like to buy my bachelor's degree with credit. <laughs> that is the cheapest bachelor's degree on the planet. Like, that is, that is insane. What if I had walked up and been like, I'd like a degree, please. I'd be like, oh, you're gonna need some proof. Give me the fucking degree. <laughs> give me the degree. Give me the degree and nobody gets hurt. All right. What do you want, young man? Add the receipt. Yeah, all right. We got our fucking degree. Give me the money. Give me the money. They discount it when it's a replacement. Oh, do they? No, uh, no crippling debt for this one. You have a new bill from the Bank of Botudgel. Minimum due. See app for details. <gasps> Our credit went up! <laughs> How do you think 624 as a credit rating weighs up against most of Chad? <laughs> it wasn't for a degree. It was for a replacement copy because they lost the original records. Uh, Sounds like you got your degree from Joe. Joe Mama. <laughs> All right, time to go back up here and go turn in the degree. I credit shot, but I'm working on it. Mine was shot for a while too because of a. I told I told everybody that story though. I had an insanely good credit score when I was in like my uh, late teens, early twenties, and uh, then my dumb dumb girlfriend at the time who lost her job, and then I lost mine shortly after. Didn't do anything to contribute helping our rent payments or anything like that, so I floated on a fucking credit card, and would you believe? Would you believe that it impacted my credit credit rating in a very negative way? But ever since then, it has turned around, so. Because whenever I met Erica, she was like, well, here, I'll just slap you on, like, one of my cards, and then that way we'll just pay that down, and ta-da, and that, that actually worked out pretty well, so. Over time, once the other debts were gone, and then, like, there was a positive debt that was actually being paid on consistently, because that damage from, like, years and years ago was, like, just recurring. And, like, one of them just would not fall off the fucking credit report and all this other shit, so. It was, it was crazy. It's, it's way better nowadays, though. <laughs> I haven't been paying attention to it since we bought our house, because why I need it now? What? <laughs> why I need it now? Six, six to seven hundred is not bad. Not not nowadays. Like a lot of people have six to seven hundred. Right, guys, as you can see, I am a graduate of the University of Chin Games. So that is like way more common than you think. In to see the Baron. So you are a University of Chin Game graduate after all. You may go in to have an audience with the Baron, but <laughs> you better be careful. Why? I'm ready to go. Because the Baron of Chin Game is a very powerful sorcerer who commands the dead and the damned. Yeah, the Baron has been very distrustful of people ever since he fell out with the king. So, he summoned all kinds of weird spirits to haunt his mansion. So if you go in, you better be prepared to deal with all kinds of creepy stuff. There are goblins and undead creatures, but the scariest of all is the Exorena. The Exorena? Yes. The How is this a real game? Ghastly zombie supermodels that roam the halls of the Baron's mansion. You haven't experienced oh, that shit's sweaty, mate. until you've seen Very the Exorena bearing down on you. Zombie supermodels. Is that supposed to scare me? Just don't say we didn't warn you. If I were you, I'd make sure I'd have some kind of projectile weapon before entering. <laughs> I like how they continue to warn me. I, I feel like the projectile weapon is going to come in handy. It's okay, we have credit scores now. Eventually we'll have social credit scores. Are you excited? I do feel like this is a <laughs> bit... What was... what was that? So the king thought he could I do feel like this is a little virtual highlight because like, this is just like the fucking vampire up. mansion from Better virtual highlight. However, virtual highlight didn't have a sequence where you got a degree, yeah, well, I'm not even though it probably would have been Ran. fine for wait, wait, wait. it. Hey, Reverend. I'm not Baron Rad. Why would you think I'm the Baron? The Baron is a necromancer. I'm a phantom. Try to learn the difference. Why can't you be both a necromancer and a phantom? Well, <coughs> and actually, but never mind that. All I'm saying... So why'd you even bring it up? What? <laughs> you're saying I should have known you weren't Baron Rand because you're a phantom. But that doesn't make any sense. I don't think you're being fair here. Look, all I'm trying to say is I'm not Baron Ran. I am <laughs> this a game is so good. Person. Not Baron Ran at all. All right, I heard you. Are you done? No. <laughs> I still have no. To do my ominous warning for you to stay away. Well, get on with it. I will. 
will if you just stop interrupting. Fine. Ahem. <clears throat> so, you who think you will infiltrate this chateau, beware. The baron of this chateau is a very powerful necromancer who has filled this mansion with the Exorena. Ghastly, creepy, undead zombies, but even if... You know, I've been wondering, why resurrect zombies? You said you wouldn't interrupt. The Baron is a necromancer. Why not resurrect fully intelligent and capable warriors? I think maybe he isn't powerful enough to resurrect anything more than mindless zombies. Well, that's not true! <laughs> that's not true! He's the most powerful necromancer in the whole kingdom! He could easily raise a whole army of ninjas if he wished. The mansion is patrolled by zombies, because zombies are scary. Whatever. Look, we're wasting time. Why don't you just finish <laughs> Whatever, up your ominous warning so I can get on with the level? Oh, right. Yes, credit score is absolutely rigged. It's been rigged for a long time. There is another peril that awaits you. So fierce, so awesome, and so devastating that you will have no chance to survive. You will have to face me, the Great Cabal. So turn back now. If you value your life, for ye have never seen the likes of the Great Cabal. <laughs> Are you done? I think he's done, Tab. Finally. Let's go. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think he's done. Yeah, I, I might. I might tag him here in a minute. Did I make my uh, Did I make my payment yet on my credit card? Because, you know, that's what we're doing in this game. Time to pay it on time. Yeah, okay. Got it. The door's locked. There's an image of a flower on it. Oh, shit. You got five freaking flyer miles. I got ten crossbow darts. Hint. <laughs> Hint. Hey, Pelicans, it's a piano. Did you know whenever a piano appears in a video game, you have to play a song on it in order to advance? Why won't you play something? I don't know how to I only know how to play one song. When I was little, I took one piano lesson on the town's only piano before the town of Borington decided the piano was too exciting and burned it as firewood. <laughs> they decided it was too exciting. Let me find middle C. Here goes. Step. Ping up. Step. Ping down. Oh, damn it. Wrong note. Well, it's not easy without sheet music. Oh, well, apparently I got to get the sheet music. Ah, the poor, poor, poor IRS. So underfunded. The poor IRS. Going after the fucking, going after the, the, the lower middle class to fuck them up. They'll probably, be, they'll probably come for my ass someday. There's an image of a tailpipe on it. Double like that guy over there? Fuck him. There's an image of a USB port. <laughs> Suck it on it. Perfect. Well, shit, where the hell am I supposed to go? Music is very threatening, I agree. Cause I can't, I can't go in flower door. Well, typically the IRS actually won't come for you if it, most of the time people who get slammed with like audits and all kinds of other crazy shit are people who have like misreported their income for several years. Like if you're filing your taxes and you're doing your shit or whatever, like most of the time you're not going to get slammed. It's people that are like, oh, I have two dependents that aren't real. <laughs> Most of the time, those are the people that are coming for black. Oh, yeah, I'm claiming five children. It's like, this person doesn't even have kids. It's like, oh, shit. Oh, you done fucked up. What am I supposed to do? Maybe I could use, maybe I could use my immense power to just bust through them. I, I tried to play Moonlight Sonata. We're too stupid to do it. It did, they did say hint when I grabbed crossbow bolts, but I figured, I figured the crossbow bolts were, uh, they were saying like, you're going to need these or something. 
I didn't think it was in reference to like shooting anything. They could buy dependence. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. For you, practice makes barely passable. I'm gonna try to get the song right someday. The song is literally nine notes. Hey, give me a break. The black keys are really confusing. Cats count as dependents? They do not. <laughs> they do not. Careful, you hurt your head. Oh, you're no help. <laughs> I did it! Well, that didn't work. Must be the wrong song. We need to find sheet music or something so we know what song to play. Ah, oh, shit. And it's true. Cats, cats certainly do act like it. I mean, knowing cats, though, in their brain, they're probably thinking that we're the dependents. Maybe you have to shoot these. Maybe you have to shoot the door. Maybe the bookcase had something. No. I'm way too invested in this. <sighs> what? <laughs> what the hell was that? Was it the music? Hey, Tabitha, look, I found some music under the piano stool. I like how it took us like nine years. Do you have to keep trying this like over and over? And they'll let you continue trying the X. <laughs> Let's give Sonata number 14 a try. Killing it, killing it, killing it, killing it. Oh yeah, no, just, just slay, dude. Knock it out. Too excited. I love it was like the piano was too exciting, so they lit it on fire. <laughs> oh god. I like I like how we're I mean we're going all the way on this. Vod mute, vod mute. Woo! Wow. What wow. That's a very inside the hearth you found a finger key. I think this is this is just uh this this is just Elden Ring. But better. You know, in my opinion. Okay, do you do you think you have to finger the tailpipe or do you think you have to finger the ringer? <gasps> Tab, did you hear that? Is this a Resident Evil reference? Yeah, it must be the X Arena. It's not a natural sound. It chills me to the bone. I laughed at them when they said this place was haunted with supermodel zombies. Now I just want to get out of here. Now, Pelicus 2, part of being a hero is standing your ground and fear is greatest. You've got to rescue the princess, TM. you got to face the x <gasps> Fucking Destiny's Ward. Oh, sure. Now you're all about Destiny when I'm about to bail. Get a hold of yourself. Think of the princess. She's in trouble. Unless you want Gary to rescue her. <laughs> Be ready. I hear the zombie coming around the corner. Here they come! Yeah, Supermodel zombie! Resurrecting supermodels as mindless zombies, undead abominations. Why? If I had to guess the in-game reason, the Baron chose to resurrect supermodels because they're small and lightweight and presumably require less power to raise. Makes sense. Oh my god. This is amazing. Well, it's gone. There's an image of a tunnel on it. I 
now we got more tw 20 more crossbow darts a chicken cosmo sandwich and one b key okay i don't think b goes in tunnel i also don't think b oh wait is b go in honey that's hot dog bun okay b doesn't go in hot dog bun b goes b goes to flower i would assume that is how chest open. Yeah, that's it. You guys don't know how chest open? Oh my god. Uncultured. Can't believe it. You guys don't understand how the sideways flat works. Uh, that's a USB port. That's a sidewalk. I very much appreciate the uh, the convention for the doors. How'd I get in here? That's a USB one. What room is this, Tabitha? It's so strange. Got a safe. And a woman. Oh, it's a safe All room. Odd things. Wait. A gong? What the hell is happening? I don't know. This kind of room is not something I learned about in sidekick school. You have awakened in a dark room. All about you are traps and puzzles, and your only chance for survival is to use your wits to escape. Welcome to the Chateau's famous escape room. An escape room? Isn't that just a regular room in a video game where you have to solve a puzzle? And now for some useful information <laughs> to keep in mind for your escape room experience. <clears throat> Number one, everything you need to solve the puzzle can be found in this room. You do not need to move any furniture or disassemble anything. Number two, to win the escape room, you need to exit through this door right now. This door is locked. Oh. Number three. If you need a hint, we would like to exit the room without winning. You can ring that gong over there. No. So be wary, for only those who are sharp of wits and keen of senses will survive to tell the tale. Hey, Cabal, are you serious? This is what you came up with to stop me from obtaining the plot key and rescuing the princess? An escape room? Well, actually, no. The escape room was already here, so why not use it, you know? Already here? You just happen to have an escape room in your house. Yeah, that's right. This is a real escape room. It's something fun I set up for visitors to the chateau. It's one of the top rated escape rooms in Northwest Batagel, in fact. Problem? Oh my god. This is so stupid. I, I guess we gotta escape, Tab. <laughs> Alright, there's the safe, which we're gonna need the key for, naturally. Thrice the bride and cat hath mewed. Thrice the once hedge pig whined. Hoppy cries, tis time. Tis time. Tis time for what? By making concoctions in my magic cauldron. Concoctions are going to help you escape this room. If you have the wherewithal, ha 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 ha. Ghastly concoction shall be brew. Because you're playing escape room, the ingredients are free. Oh. Shit, I don't know, dude. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Oh my, these ingredients don't seem to make anything. Better luck next time. Here's truth serum. Ethel's good old-fashioned truth serum. Guaranteed to give you enlightenment. Trusted by fortune tellers, seers, mystics, psychics, oracles, stockbrokers, swamp, swamis, soothsayers, prophets, astrologers, medicants, bookies. Uh, the Ellis Bros is not liable for incidental health issues you experience when consuming this product. Ellis Brothers Alchemical Co. Uh, Ica Porba Tosslery. All right. With the ingredients you picked, you brewed nothing. Yes, I know. Thank you. Okay, that's the gong to leave. Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a little girl. Oh, my God. Uh, let's see what might be pertinent here. What <laughs> big teeth you have. All right. Hemlock. No maw of shark, zero shark maw, no maw of shark. No scales, zero dragon scales, no scales. <laughs> oh my god! What a piece of art! 
Jesus, that's beautiful. Wow. I mean, that's, go that's gorgeous. Now the gall. Okay, so it's eye, gall, teeth. Uh, and oh, how I wonder if it was three teeth. Ooh, I don't know. No, my mind is making a thing. Okay, how many tummy teeth are we talking? We got all right, so th uh, four teeth, three hemlock. All right, no scales. One gall, one eye. What was it? Three teeth and, uh, or was it four teeth? One hem, the three hemlock. A bad concoction. The ingredients you picked, you brewed a bad concoction. Are you sure? Are you sure you drink this two serum? Seems suspicious to me. Uh, plus it leads to an important clue. I'm drinking it anyway. Here we go. Well, wait, Tab. The combination is coming in my head. I can open the safe. That's really great, Pelicus. There's just one problem. Your life meter is depleting. It was poison. All right, cool. Oh, I can fix this. I can fix this. I can fix it. Hang on. Tab, I think I'm going to hurl. Maybe that'll stop me from dying. God damn, that's a lot of puke. Jesus, that is so unnecessarily long. That was what you were supposed to do. Yeah, I got the poison out of our system. The life meter stopped depleting. Wow. Well, now we know the safe combo. Oh, ho, ho. the safe contained the thumb drive key. Eat shit, gamers. You saw the escape room. Your prize for winning is a fr cup of frozen yogurt. You should be happy you get anything at all with how we're trying to inf <laughs> they are trying to infiltrate the chateau. <laughs> what is the it door? Oh, great. The fucking it door. Oh. <gasps>You might be the only person to have ever had their brain eaten and gotten smarter. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Now that I'm just teasing. Although I have to say, it's rather rude of you to imply that it's something so insane that it only makes sense here. <laughs> like, uh, what I don't understand is why did we immediately die in there? Like, it didn't even give me a chance to fire the DOS crossbow. Oh, my shit's all fucked up because I have my crossbow equipped. What the fuck? Oh, you can struggle. Ah, oh. oh, this game slaps. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Just like the supermodel zombie. I, I hate killing them because then we're not bumping anymore. Herbo meat. Oh, dude, is herbo meat? Is that food for me? I gotta read. The, I gotta read the tooltip on herbo meat. Not a good idea to eat an item. You need to progress. I wanted to read the thing for herbo meat. Uh, let's see. The inventory should have it. Here we go. Herbo meat. It's delicious. Vegan meat substitute made with no animal parts. Herbo meat is synthetic meaty food product made from extract of various plants, including eggplant, okra, rutabaga, kale, and lima beans. Perfect. And that yogurt got some protein in it, though. There's the it door. There's the uh, stack of lumber door. Classic. Classic. I thought you blasted an ad. You can 
you can almost guarantee that like if you see an ad your sub probably ran out because i can't imagine ever running ads on this show we would have to be in like financial ruin like i would have to be at like the the, the like, last leg of my journey and i'll be honest if i'm that down low i don't think a i'm sorry if i'm that down bad as the children would say uh we're in bigger trouble than what a fucking running an ad is gonna solve <gasps> Aren't you close to financial ruin before every stream? No. Oh! No! no! Good. Do you know how bad you have to be to be killed in melee combat in this game? Seriously, the enemies here are super slow and predictable. They caught me by surprise or something. Sure. I mean, they actually will freeze you in place, which might be a reference to the Redead. I'm not sure. I don't know. No, I'm not in financial ruin. I mean, like, if I'm playing stupid shit like this, most people will come in and say Nick need money, but like, that's about it. No, if I, if I was in financial ruin, I think uh, you guys would know. I am alive and I am paying bills currently, so we're okay for the moment. Oh my god. I had to slice his throat. One nail key? You think that's for the lumber? I missed the music already. I'm sorry, did you say Kilk? Nick needs needs much dollar. Alright. <laughs> Fine. I figured it'd be like a coffin door. Oh, that's the escape room. It is, it is indeed not my birthday at all. You have taken more crossbows on. You know. Skadapa da ba da. Ba ba da ba 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 ba. Ba ba da ba 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 ba. Where's the wood door? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jig Crow, do you have the link from earlier? Slap, slap that bad boy on me. Big birthday today, it's a party. It's not my birthday. That is, in fact, incorrect. Incorrect, incorrect. Hey, you. Who was that? Oh, shit. No, it is I, Lion. Well, I thought I, I might be the Great Cabal. He's always talking about us. Or talking to us. Well, in this case, the animals mounted the walls and the ones talking to you. I like Rubber Ducky up there. There's Lion, also Duck, Doe, Bear, and last but not least, Ass. Surprise? You shouldn't be. The Baron's a great necromancer. He resurrected my friends uh, and me here. I'm not your friend, Lion. Yeah, Lion, you narcissistic turd. No one likes you. Never mind them. They're just teasing. No, we're not. We really hate you. As good friends are, <laughs> what to do? But as I was saying, the Baron resurrected us and mounted us here. In his game room, but he made a mistake. Oh my god, if we have to hear about how you're in the wrong spot one more time. Well, you have to admit, Bear, it's a little strange that I, King of the Jungle and Apex Predator during my life, I've been given a less prominent position in this room than my herbivore servant friend. Wouldn't you agree, young man? I, I don't know. That's a 26-point buck over there. Oh, God, why? See, he doesn't think you should be here, Lion. No one thinks you should be here. You're already insufferable enough. Well, it actually doesn't matter, my innocent friend. I fully expect the glorious hero to keep... <laughs> to help me regardless. You see, I have a room key that he might be interested in. Oh. That's right, young sir. I have a key that can open up one of the doors in this chateau, and it's yours if you can help me. Oh, no problem. I'll just go ahead and move you to the center if, you're, uh, if your friend the deer doesn't mind. Fine with me, but it's not that easy. Our mounts are very strong, and we suspect magically reinforced. 
Indeed, you're not the first visitor we've tried to get us to switch, switch us around, but I'm confident you'll be resourceful where others have failed. After all, you're the chosen one. That's true, I am the chosen one. I'll see if I can find a solution. By the way, I'm also very hungry. I'm like, oh. right, if you can bring me back some food, I have some crossbow darts for you. Just keep in mind, I'm an obligate carnivore. I do not eat plants. No offense, doe. None taken. Uh, we could try to give him like a, uh, we could give him some frequent fly, the chicken Cosmo. I'm afraid I cannot eat this as it is partially derived from plant matter. What a bitch. <laughs> like, how dare you? Does the doe have headphones on? You're an impressive specimen. I've never seen antlers that large. Why do I have these enorm enormous antlers? I'm sorry. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a doe, a deer, a female deer. Oh, I'm sorry. I saw your antlers and presumed you were a heart. It's understandable. I can't really fault you for that, but girl, does it sting to hear myself referred to as male? I am, of course, biologically male. That's why I grow these huge antlers, but for as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to be present. Uh, present to the world as a doe. Are you gay? No, I'm not gay. I just prefer to present as a doe. That's it. Because it's not a problem if you're gay. My aunt... Look, I appreciate your willingness to try to be open-minded, but can we please just keep this as... What the fuck is happening? Can we please just keep this to one gender uncertainty issue at a time? Right now, my goal is to present as a doe. Okay. Okay. As you can imagine, these massive antlers are... <laughs> As you can imagine, these massive antlers are a nightmare for somebody like me. You know how it felt whenever I'd socialize with other does, just trying to have a little girl talk, and their eyes would stare stray up and gaze at my ample antlers? And I'm like, my eyes are down here. It felt awful. It sounds like you had a sad life. I did, but I have to say, I'm having an even worse sun death. At least when I was alive, I would shed my antlers every spring, and I'd have a good antler for free month before they start growing again. But now that I'm dead, I don't even shed the antlers anymore. Well, I have to say, I feel for you. I'll keep an eye out for something. I'll help you get rid of the antlers. That's very kind of you. <laughs> I like how Lion, <laughs> Lion accepted my friend request. <laughs> God almighty. All right, what's Bear got? So you're a bear. Yeah, I'm a bear and I'm going insane. What's the problem? I'm stuck here with these obnoxious animals and all they do is chatter and complain all the time. And it's driving me batty. I need some peace and quiet. So let me guess. You want me to bring back an item that'll block sound like earmuffs or something? And if I do this, you have to reward me. You bet your bear claws that's what I want, and, if I, and I have a room key if you can help me. I'll do what I can. Maybe Doe can give me their headphones. I don't suppose you'd be willing to part with those earmuffs. Oh, heavens no. These earmuffs are cute and dainty. They're the only thing I have that makes me feel feminine, but if you help me get rid of these antlers, I'd be happy. I like how it's an actual chain of quests that is just up on the damn wall. What about ass? Hello, you must be an ass. No, I'm an abomination. That's what I am. What's the problem? I'm undead. I was resurrected against my will, forced to live. If you can even call this living, if my head with no body fixed to a wall. Whatever happened to letting the dead rest in peace? You know, this is just a suggestion, but maybe it's not that you're undead. Maybe you're just suffering from severe depression. Of course I have severe depression. You'd be depressed if you were an undead monstrosity, too. I'm an undead monstrosity, and I'm not depressed. Nobody asked you, lion. All I'm saying, my asinine friend, is that that's a little presumptuous. Nope. Don't want to hear it, lion. Undeadness is bad without you self-aggrandizing. <laughs> Go back to bothering Bear and Duck. Fine. Anyway, Pelicans 2, it turns out that I also have a key for you, and it's the key you need. This key leads to the cellar, whence you'll be able to enter the hiding place of the Baron. I will give you this key if you grant me a boon. What do you want? I want you to return to my rightful state of death before the Baron's perversions made me into an abomination. Let me rest in peace. Put me out of my misery. Give me the key, and downstairs is yours. You have all your natural intelligence. It's a little different after sending a mindless zombie to rest. Are you sure you don't just need to talk to a suicide counselor? That's unfair. The one thing it would be one thing to be alive if I were still alive, but I think I think as an undead abomination, I have a right not to say, be second guessed on my desires to rest in peace. Well, I mean, if that's the only way to get the key, that's the attitude. I should also mention the same magic keeps us tied to the wall, also wards off weapon attacks. You have to find another way to send me to rest. Great. You look a little weird. You think? Listen to me, buddy. Let me tell you a story. When I was alive, I was a fully grown adult mallard. I looked like an adult. I acted like an adult. I had feathers. But now, where should I begin? When the Baron brought me back to life, he brought me back not as an adult, but as a duckling. Wow. Although I'm still the size of an adult mallard, so it's not even like I'm a duckling. It's more that I'm an adult that dresses like a duckling. I don't even have feathers. Can you imagine a duck without feathers? Not even duckling down. Nothing. Just some kind of rubbery skin. God damn it, I'm a duck, not a seal. But the worst part of all of this is that I make a high-pitched squeaky sound. Not at all like a quack, which is exactly what Baron Rand's uh, doing this... <laughs> Is for doing this to me? That sounds terrible. I guess you want me to find a way to change you back into a real mallard, right? No, all I want to do is take a swim. You heard me. I'm a duck. Ducks like to spend time in water. God knows it's the only bit of duckiness I have left in me. Well, that and always being pissed off. 
So do you want me to find you some water to swim in? And unlike the other animals, I'm not mounted very well. I'm just I'm just kind of sitting here, really. So if you find any water I can swim in, come and get me. If you do that, I have a special item for you. <sighs> Take duck with you. You find a place where I can swim? You'll see. <laughs> where is he going to swim? I don't know. Boy, he's floating with us. There he is. Duck has accepted your friend request on my thief. Was there was there some wet in here? I don't remember there being any wet in here though. The escape room didn't have any wet. Uh there's probably like I don't th I don't think he'd want to sleep in the cauldron. What about, like, a bathtub? <laughs> yeah, there's no way to... I swear there was some water at one point, right? Do we have to, like, leave? Because there's, there's probably, like, a river down here. I mean, there is a river. I feel like I should let you know that the necromantic field wanes as you get further away from the chateau and as I lose my intelligence. If you think about putting me in the river, I won't be able to swim there. Ha ha ha. Very funny. That was a nice little trick you played on us. We know you're not a graduate of the University of Chin Game. I don't know how you stumbled across a degree from the university, but it's not going to fool us twice. Yeah, so don't think you're going to pull that trick on us again. Now, wait a second. However, we know that it's pointless to guard the door now. Yeah, we know that now you've made it inside the chateau. You could just warp in inside anytime you want. What? You can't... I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's right. I can warp inside the chateau anytime <laughs> yeah, I want. Yeah, that's right. So definitely. You might as well just step aside and let me walk in. Well, we will. But know this, you fake chin game grad. We're on to you. Yeah, next time we're guarding a location you haven't entered, don't think we're going to be so easily fooled again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. Thanks, guys. Where was there some water that he could swim in? Because apparently it has to be in here. Because we can't leave with him. There's nothing in here. Do we get any new keys? I don't think so. It's gotta be like upstairs or something, right? There's the ringle dingle door. I hope you guys have been enjoying this. If you have, you should let me know because this has been a lot of fun. I've been having a ball with this. We don't have the hot dog yet. We don't have the tunnel key. Lion fake meat. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I, I figured that wouldn't work because he was going on about being an obligate carnivore. So like, maybe. I mean, maybe they'll let me do it. I have no idea. Oh, yeah, I guess it did say it was required and we couldn't eat it. I need to set up my speed boots again. Yeah, it is. It is. Un I, I figured this was just going to be Goofy Town, but I guess uh, Deranged, Deranged made a really good call on this one. Offer an item to Lion. Hey, Lion, uh, here's some meat I found. Splendid, young man. I'm starving for a good carnivorous meal. Thank you, and here's your... Wait a second. This is not meat. This is herbo meat. Ha ha ha! Serves you right, Lion. I have to admit, that's pretty funny. Well, I don't think it's funny. Just what are you pulling at, young man? Well, I just thought... Although, I have to admit, it does smell pretty good, and I'm really quite hungry. What the hell? I'll give it a try. Texture is a lot meatier than I expected. I have to give them that. What? You know, I try not to be a person who's constrained by my own prejudice. Normally, I would be aghast at the idea of a plant-based food, but putting putting aside my prejudice, 
I just just experiencing the food for what it is. I find that this does at least does at at all not merit my such my pre oh my god does at all not merit such my premature judgment. Hmm. My god, this is delicious. This is the best food I've ever had. How they manage to make plant based imitation meat taste so good. So. In fact, having eaten this plant-based food, I've suddenly realized how the agricultural industri industrial complex of this kingdom has cruelly exploited helpless animals. Furthermore, I realize that as a meat eater, have been contributing to this. Well, not really. You were a wild animal. I have something I want to announce, and I would like you, my good sir, and my friends here to witness it. We're not your friends. I am now officially vegan. <laughs> Put on the scarf and glasses. Lion and herbivore? Well, that's something I never thought I'd see. Believe it. I have renounced my meat eating animal exploding ways. Young sir, here's a nice set of crossbow darts for you. And a delicious for that delicious eye opening meal. Lion, you are so full of shit. <laughs> hey, Lion, you know, I've just been thinking ever since I became vegan, I have to say it's not a big deal to me to be in the center of the room. So let's forget about our old agreement. Here's the room key if you want it. Oh, holy shit. He's like, yeah, now that I'm a vegan, I don't need to be in the center of the room. <laughs> oh my god, that shit's really funny. For that whole that whole dialogue chain was fantastic. Uh, let's see. <laughs> the banana key. What's the banana go into? The tunnel? Stick your banana in the tunnel. What's up, Ra? How's it going? I could do banana it. That would work. Well, you've walked into the uh, you've walked into the greatest game ever made, is what you've done. Maybe Banana Road. No. Uh, could stick it. What, what was the other one we had? We had Tailpipe. It might be. It might be Tailpipe. <laughs> oh yeah, you could get a banana bun. Yeah, that's good. Oh, this was the other link. You found it. Oh, you could. Damn, you couldn't find the links. What's wrong, babe? You barely touched your chicken noodle popsicle. Oh, yes, soup sickle, of course. How could I how could I have made how could I have made that error, right? Chicken noodle soup, chicken noodle soup, chicken noodle soup with the soda on the side. Chicken noodle soup. <gasps> Get him! Chess contain one painting of springtime. Perfect. Just one. Wait. That was it? Wait, what? It... Did we get anything and I just wasn't paying attention? Maybe we had, maybe we had most of what we needed. Was there another tailpipe that I'm not remembering? Yes. Yes. Wait, that's a tunnel. That's not a tailpipe. Maybe, maybe banana in the bun. All right. So the credit card. So we're, we're on a quest to save the princess and see, we could only keep 10 frequent fly flyer miles and we had to buy like the upgrade wallet, like via Zelda style. And then the guy was like, he was selling it for 11, which means we couldn't get it. So we asked him to reduce it in price by one. He said, well, that'll, that'd be cool and all, but I can't do it. The price is the price, buddy. What you could do is you could go to the bank and go get you a savings account. So we went to the bank and go get a savings account. And then they were like, oh, we're not giving you a savings account, asshole. But we'll give you a credit card with a thousand, uh, give you a, give you a credit card with a thousand, <laughs> a thousand mile, uh, you know, balance on it. Limit. And, uh, so we're currently set up for, uh, we got our stuff all set up here at the Bank of Botudgel, so we, we're good. It's, this auto pays with our frequent flyer miles, so we're just building up our credit score right now. They do charge interest, so... Yeah. What the banana ram am I supposed to do? 
Maybe we had the next thing we need. Maybe it wasn't about, uh... I was gonna say about getting, uh, getting ducky into some water, but I guess not. Oh yeah, no, this, this is like the greatest game ever so far. Well, shit. What are we supposed to do? I also haven't found any water to stick him in. What did Ass want? What was his, what was his request? Because Duck wants water. Deer wants a way to cut off his antlers. Her antlers. I, I can't even remember. I'm trying to remember what the joke was with that. Ass wants to die, right? But he has like the weapon ward on him. Maybe Ass could eat, like, frozen yogurt and just die or something. Yeah, Bear wants earmuffs, which are going to come from the... Come from the dough. Eeyore did want... De well, the thing that was poison was the, uh... I just, I just love that the lion's a vegan now and he's got his glasses on and everything. Hey, lion. Uh, how did you want me to help again? How do you know that I'm the glorious hero? What's the meaning of life? <laughs> I'm sorry, Pelican. <laughs> you should pretend to be a reindeer. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt that you don't know how insulting it is to ask a deer to pretend to be a different species. Oh, uh, don't worry about it. The truth is, I've been, <laughs> I've been tempted to do exactly that. Female reindeers shed their antlers in the late spring, just like me. Their antlers are not very large, while my antlers are huge. Oh, Cat Catwoman's nails aren't that bad. She could probably still wipe the butt. She doesn't have, like, those ones that are, like, go way out. They are pretty long, though. Uh, let's see... So bear, bear wants the earmuffs. Thank you, Casey, for getting out three months of sub mortal kill. I appreciate it. Uh, offer an item to the ass. I don't think I'll be able to use that item to kill myself. <laughs> okay. You could try using the, uh, painting of springtime to kill yourself. Wait, wait, wait. When did we get a painting of springtime? They said specifically that weapons do not work, so we can't do that. Welcome the tailpipe to door. Bits. Casey, thank you again, man. I appreciate that. We could try the scythe. I just, uh, we'll see. Hey, ass. No, he can't use that to kill himself. I love this game so much so far. It's so good. I, I like the the absolute level of investment is just unreal. Yeah, the bad concoction just made us vomit, but. Now we have to make it through the chateau and find out where the Baron ran and Baron ran is hiding. Take the plot key. Okay, this is just the main thing. Uh a duck just wants a place to swim. There's gotta be something else in here, right? Just feels just feels weird that this area wouldn't have anything. I don't know. Sack basket, the great outdoor. Sack collection. Thank you, Sack. Sack is a uh, sack is somebody who's been hanging out with us for uh, several of the uh, long drive streams. It's really good to see you, buddy. Hopefully, you had fun. I don't know what you were playing. Probably playing. Probably playing some. Uh... Oh, does Sack basket not work yet? Does it not work? Because your name is still. What was it? It's like 
whatever you guys click click sax name when they come in and go follow they just changed the name recently which means it probably hasn't fucking up oh no there it goes it worked the painting of a spring yeah but like i can't do anything with that but thank you sack i appreciate it man i tried out tld with mods game completely only broke on me had to call it early oh it sucks that sucks Uh, I mean, we could try to use the paint. I don't know if it's going to work like that, but we certainly can try. What's up? What is up with the stairs in the headroom? Oh, it's uh, another door that we can't get through. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm into it, Sturg. I don't know when we got it, but uh, yeah, this will this will maybe do something. I like where your head's at. Yeah, it lets me use it. Look at this painting. Why it's very pretty. It reminds me of the springtime back when I was alive. I miss those days. Everything turning green again. Some delicious flat. <laughs> Don't look what happened. What? Your antlers fell off. Your antlers thought it was spring. They fell off. Oh my God. I've shed my antlers. I can now be the doe I always wanted to be. I can't thank you enough, Pelicus. I don't have room. I don't have a room key to give you, but I hope you accept these earmuffs. Yeah. All right. Now I give these to bears. Everybody will just shut the fuck up. It's worth a try. Lion, say something. I can't hear Lion at all. Doe, ass, anyone? I can't hear anything. These earbuds are fantastic. As promised, use the room key. What? Did you say something? I said thanks. I can't hear a word. It gave me the tunnel key. Hot damn. You unlocked it with your train key. Oh, it's a warple borp over here. That's nice. Ah! Zombongies! Or goblanos. Oh shit, dude. All I've got's the all I've got's the painting. That's dangerous. Hopefully they can't attack me while I'm here. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Look at this combat. Look at this combat. Oh my god, I'm feeling so good. Oh shit. I got it. Hey, Ducky, look! I found you a place to bathe. Oh, this is nice. I haven't had a good swim in so long. I already feel much better. Here's a room key. You know, I can see if there's any uh, items underwater, too. Hey, Pelicans, I found something. Crossbow darts. Thanks, man. He also gave me the fork key. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice place. Is this the poop shack? I like how there's an outhouse in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, hey, it's that door. Uh, okay. Yeah, that all makes sense. I was wondering which was it, what was in that tunnel door, but I guess now we know. Damn, what's the scaling on that sword? 10. 10, 5. Oh. Probably because the electrical outlet door. You're right. I wonder if Fork can go to Hot Dog Bun. Let's go Fondingle. This game is basically all of my favorite RPGs in one place. No, but there's another tunnel thing over here. Oh, okay, that comes back to the game room. Oh, I get it. Fork it. <laughs> Supermodel zombies! Gay, 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 fucking goblins. I need to kill the supermodel zombies. There were two tunnels. We've used one. Frankfurter! We actually tried to do the other one, too. It's just a, it's a wraparound point. Do we got a kind of finna? Do I got a kind of finna? Got a kind of finna? Yeah. Oh, that's where you fork it. All right, back to the other area, because now we can go do the uh, hot dog bun, which was upstairs. God, we still don't have the sidewalk one. Jeez Louise. 
God, that dance like emote on the right next to Hunter's like bitter bop, that thing has so much going on. That's a lot. I don't know, man. I would say that this is just as good as Candace to BB. I would actually say it's a little bit better than Candace to BB. Like it's a bit more like put together. Not to say that Candace to BB is not put together. But what I'm saying is, I think I like this a little bit. It, it, I like it for different reasons. I still love Candace to BB. Don't get me wrong. That's like one of my favorite games ever. However, oh, the OST. Oh yeah, no, you can't hang with, you can't hang with the BB's OST. She's a certified slag or whatever she says in that one song. Wow, 50 frequent flyer miles. Ooh, buddy. Look, the Baron has a bottle of Zac Pro. Antidepressant pills shed a bit of light on the shed a bit of light on the Baron's mental state. Makes you wonder if we're not doing uh do, not doing enough to treat mental illness. Not that it excuses for not that this is an excuse for treason, of course. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> I guess. Oh my God! Are we gonna give that? We're gonna give it to Donkey because he's depressed. That's what we're gonna do. No, I don't think he's gonna kill himself. I think we're gonna give it to Donkey to fix his depression. <laughs> hey, Donkey. Hey, ass. Here's your, uh, here's your Zach Pro. So you brought me a lethal dose of pills. Thank you, Pelicans. At last, my soul can rest in peace. Wait a second. This isn't a lethal dose. What is this drug anyway? Zach Pro? I've never heard of it. It's making me feel nothing. Nothing at all, which is a big improvement. Well, I'm not quite depressed anymore. Not exactly happy either, but I don't know. Perhaps living on as an undead abomination won't be so bad. It's worth a try anyway. I'm ha- I mean, it is good to hear that. I thank you for helping me, Pelicus, even if it isn't the way I asked. Here's the key to the cellar. I wish you very best of luck on your quest. The jackhammer key. Ta-da! We have cured the asses. Sadness. More water for fuck. <laughs> what is happening? Yeah, this game's got some dark ass- Oh shit. Damn girl. Stop it. Ah. Uh. Got him. Oh hey, the Chateau cellar bathroom. What if you can I wonder if you can bring Doug? There's an image of an altar boy on it. Oh, that's not good. Oh, Cabal's chamber. All right, well, we'll go in there in a minute. Yeah, I don't like I don't like image of an altar boy. That's a little scary. Let's go see if we can get Duck from upstairs. We've been telling you to bring Duck. Baseball. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I not did I not abide by every rule and demand of chat? Oh, excuse me for playing the video game. Next time I'll be like. Oh, Chatticus Aurelius, ooh woo. May I pleasey wheezy do exactly what you wanty wanty all the time you whimey? Ooh, yum yum cummies. Excuse me. Hey, Duck. Uh, do you want to help? Uh, how do you want me to help you again? Take Duck with you. Come with me, Ducky. <laughs> Duck joins your party. You could not demand if we frog hand this. I said we would frog hand. Do you, you, you want to frog hand this? That's fine, but know that frog hand will not do shit in this. E butt. <laughs> e butt. There's something shiny. I know I got three hours. I could technically say I have none hours, but I decided to allow it since like whatever. I could have said no. Shit. Look what you guys have done. Now I just wasted miles. Unbelievable. I'm blaming kombucha. You owe me a hundred frequent flyer miles. Come with me, duck. <laughs> you, you, you owe me, you owe me money. Oh, it'd be a complete waste of frog hands. If you want to waste frog hand, you go ahead. I'll, I'll start doing it right now. All right, so now we, now we got fuck it. Did you just, did you just imply that one USD is the same as a hundred freaking flyer miles? You are foolish. 
You are foolish. Wow, Chad just turned into a massive bitch. <laughs> like, what happened? We're having a good time. Now everybody's hounding me about everything in video game. Oh, unbelievable. Wait a minute, there's something here. Oh, gross, it's just a magic spleen. Cool, let me eat it. Are you kidding? No, I love spleens. We'll stop this right now, and we'll go play a fucking... We'll go play Dishonored, and then nobody will want to watch. So, how does that sound? Dicks. Alright, Duck has left the party. Alright, well, I guess it's time to go Time to go fight Cabal now. Uh, I can't think of anything else we can do. Da -na -na. <laughs> what does this say? There is no Cabal. I don't know about that. It might not be. What happened? Chat was so kind, and then they just became a bunch of weenies. Oh, good! The priest key goes to the altar boy. This chest contains the gauntlets of power. Cool, what do they do? Well, their armors, they reduce the damage from enemy attacks, but their special power is they let you lift heavy things. Well, that's useless. <laughs> well, that's useless. <laughs> like, well, that's fucking dumb. Alright, cool, well. I guess there's no Cabal, so we'll just leave. Wow, like, for real? Danger. A boat of the Great Cabal. Do not enter. Stay away. Be gone. <laughs> oh, jeez. Nick, you fucking know the spirit summons are cheating. How dare you yell at chat? Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's okay. We can just blame. We can just blame. Who were we blaming for being weenies? Ultima? Kombucha? Who else are we blaming? Ivan's being a weenie? I'm putting everybody on the weenie list. Who else we got on the weenie list? We'll put Plakasaurus on there, even though they were more of an accomplice. Uh, who else we got? <laughs> who else we got on the weenie list? <laughs> put it, you don't get to be on the weenie list. Nah, Frost is always chill. Frost has never done me wrong. Frost has never hit me with steamer do thing. How dare you not do thing? All right, let's see. Uh, what, I mean, what, what the fuck are we going to do now? Did we get a new key? So we got the gauntlets. So we can lift heavy things. What was there that was heavy in here? Oh, yeah, we got to use the priest key because that's going to, like, touch the altar boy. That's right. Forgot we got that. I think that joke was, like, so dark in my head that I just I just kept moving on, which was probably fair. Uh, Frost may be a brat to y'all. Frost ain't a brat to me. <laughs> Frost is always chill with me. All right, you unlocked it with your priest key. Oh, damn. What all we got in here? I have chicken cosmos. I have crossbow darts. I have chicken cosmos. I have a, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of crossbow darts. Dear Lord, it's nothing but chicken sammies and crossbow darts. Oh. We gotta set, I'm gonna set like a dollar amount on being an ass. That's the new thing going forward. Look at this guy. Give up, Baron Ran. Hey, Your man. armies of the undead are no match hey, for me. Hey, man. Okay. I give up. Because when, wait, wait, what? You're not going to battle me to the death? You're not going to transform yourself into some powerful, beastly monster and have an epic showdown? No. I'm just a frail old man. <laughs> no. Necromancy and a closed circuit sound system. And now that you've killed <laughs> off my zombies, I have nothing. <laughs> Oh god. Well, this is an anticlimax. I never learned anything about this situation in sidekick school, Lance. Who ever heard of a boss that just surrendered? We'll have to wing it. I guess we should uh, arrest him or something? I'm not sure that we even need to do that. All we need is the plot key, really. Yes, but it's not a great idea yeah, just to ask him for it. at liberty. That's true. Better arrest him then. <laughs> Baron Ran, we'll accept That's your true. surrender Better on the condition him, that you hand over the plot key. You'll be placed under arrest and have to answer to the king. Oh, all right. You win. Here is the plot key. I like how Baron Rand is just like droopy. He's like, okay, you win. Here's your plot key. <laughs> He's so sad. He's so sad. But seriously, though, back on the frog hands thing, all jokes aside. Yeah, that would be a uh -huh. huge waste on this game. We should probably yes. not do that. Unless you want to. Yes, I will inform him. And since you said it, I mean, I can, I can bring it up right now. We can do it. Well, there are two guards outside the room. Uh, well, I'm sure they can handle the physical aspects of the job. 
All I'm saying is, I think you should send is those he... marshals up here and take the Baron. He's holding tab like a phone. <laughs> the guard should suffice for a little while. I hope. I just... Yes, Lord Tapton has summoned me back to the war room to be briefed on the second part of the mission. Yep. I will do so. I hope so, too. Thank you, Your Majesty. Great. Baron Ran of Chingame, I've been asked to inform you that you are to be confined in this room until the royal marshals arrive to take you to the trial in Bautudgel City. You have been officially charged with high treason, aiding and abetting an enemy to the crown, accessory to kidnapping, failure to render feudal services, and perverting nature without a license. Without a license? You make me so sick, Baron Ran. You don't even have a license to practice your necromancy. I do have a necromancy license. It's just expired, that's all. Well, it's not going to matter with all the charges you're facing. <laughs> I'm not even done. You're also suspected, but not yet charged, of accessory to theft of a mythological artifact. Well, I don't know how the Ricohedron fits into all this, but we'll find out. So you might as well spill the beans, Baron. If you cooperate, you might actually keep your head. The Ricohedron? I have no idea what you're talking about. So it's going to be that way, huh? Oh, well, it's your neck. I have to go now, back to Bao Tudgel City, to be briefed for my next mission so that I can undo the damage you've helped do. Goodbye. Why, why is this game so damn good? I don't think he knows about the Rikahedron. There's something very strange about this Rikahedron business, so I doubt low-level bosses like Baron Rand know what's going on. That's true, but you have to admit it's a very strange coincidence that the second plot key was hidden in the place where the Rikahedron was discovered. We need to keep our eyes open. It turns out there's some con uh, connection between the princess and the Rikahedron. We'll, uh, we'll want to know as much as possible. Baron Ran has surrendered the plot key to you. Thank God. I, dude, I'm, com I'm totally upset at how good this has been because it, it, it makes no sense. So, you two guys have things under control until the marshals get here. Loud and clear, boss. I like how they have camo control, on, because, you know, they're military men. And you're not going to open the door just to anyone, are you? Like, if somebody comes by and shows you a royal marshal badge. No, sir, boss. We've learned our lesson. Yeah, if someone comes in with a fake marshal's badge, we're going to tell him to take a hike. Yeah, or a real marshal's badge. Ah, uh, uh, very good. I thought you might get that one wrong. Like we said, boss, we learned our lesson. Yeah, we might make a few mistakes in the past, but we learned fast. Yeah, we know we're not supposed to let anyone in unless they have sealed orders addressed to us from the king himself. And if the seal's broken, we're not going to let him in. And if it's a sealed order from someone else, we'll tell him to get out of here. That's <laughs> tell right, Tell him to boss. get out of no here. No one gets in without sealed orders from the king, even if they have a marshal's badge. Excellent. Unless they can warp in. Yeah, if they can warp in, there's no point in blocking the door. Yeah, that's true, that's true, that's true. <laughs> oh my god, they put a spinner mode here. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> and they, they had it a coffee shop! <laughs> oh my god! That's so good! I love they're like, oh shit, just put it in a coffee shop. It's Pelicans 2. What will you be having today, Mr. Lars? Uh. A large cup of coffee of highly caffeinated espresso, not for the faint of heart. Literally, this will give you cardiac arrest unless you're in good health. There's that much caffeine in it. Oh my god. Fuck, that's so good. That is so good. What's up, Rabombi? Still waiting for this link, though. You know what? Actually, Jigakuro wasn't sassy earlier. We'll click it. We'll click it. So I notified the Dutch... Oh, yeah, I saw this the other day. This is funny. I notified the uh, Dutch uh, cert that the Dutch ship was using a satellite router uh, that has a default password that was exposed to the internet. They notified me the vulnerability was mitigated and asked for my address to send me a t-shirt. At first, I was worried. Today I received the shirt. Hacked the Dutch government and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. <laughs> cute. I like that. Ooh, baby. I love you. Every day. Alright, well I guess it's time to leave. Yeah, I love that too. I think it's really cute. Very, very, very cute. We need to do something with our miles though because we're a little bit stacked at the moment was there a was there a thing in robens robenzi nah i'm sure achilles hasn't made any progress i think we had to figure out what to do to help him actually <laughs> hmm. 
There's boat lady over there. What is this? Door's locked. <laughs> give, give me the cardiac arresto espresso. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, so there was the... I'm trying to think if there's anything else to do here. I guess we just gotta go back to Brabensk skinning. It's true, maybe we can lift the turtle. God willing, library side quest to be released as downloadable content. <laughs> God willing, library side quest <laughs> to be released as downloadable content. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh! We're okay. Actually, I do need a little bit of that juice. Oh, no, 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 too many juices. Well. How could they give me speed boots that allow me to do such a thing? Oh, maybe gonna make it. Yeah, girl. That's what I'm talking. Okay, all right. I guess let's walk like normal people back to the thing. Maybe I can lift up that giant piece of construction equipment. <laughs> what if I just made pew pew noises but didn't shoot anything? <laughs> Death did have a snide comment about it. Yeah, when you die, you go to hell, but it's not regular hell. It's like the cool hell where everybody's hanging out. They're chill. This game is so damn good, dude. Yeah, you go to limbo. Okay, I might be able to speed boot this. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, okay, I gotta... Uh, 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 okay. Watch the heel, buddy. All right, let's try to lift the turtle. Hello there, lad. Wow, you look a lot like him. Like who? Oh, nothing. Uh, let's see. It's an honor to be a turtle. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God damn it. Let me explain. What? Oh, God. Fuck. I don't know what to do here, then, because I can't, I can't interact with the turtle. And we do have the gauntlets of power on, so... Okay. Ah! Okay, we're good. Oh, no! No! Wow, I did somehow miss the water there. That's pretty good. Uh. Hope you have to wait. Oh, there's a shooting shotting gallery, not a shooting gallery, a shotting gallery. I guess let's check and see if we can get a new upgrade for our uh, frequent flyer miles. Oh, that that one's a. Oh, that was 101. Of course it is. I'll pay for that with credit, please. Thanks so much, my man. Here's your stuff. Oh, he's got a new one, too. That one's 1,100. We could put that on our credit card. No, we couldn't, actually. We don't, we don't have the money. Okay, let's check our credit card thing and make sure everything's still set up over here. Uh, credit balance is 101. Credit limit's 1,000. Uh, let's go ahead and make a... Well, we're not going to make a payment just yet. we got to wait for the payment to cycle through. What's my local credit score? 660. You, you thought this was a joke. My local credit score is actually 660. This game has a credit card and you have to pay it down. Uh, let's see. Welcome, stranger. I'm Cassandra. I sell food, uh, but offer so much more. I'm here to buy comestibles. Buy a fucking euro. 
let's say we're playing a game where I offer you a prize behind one of three doors. Two, two doors contain small prizes like a chicken Cosmo. The last door contains a major prize like a Corvette. You don't know which prize is behind which door, but I do. I offer to give you the prize behind a door of your choice, but before I open the door you've chosen, I decide to make things interesting by showing you what's behind one of the doors you didn't choose. A door that I know there is a chicken Cosmo behind. Then I offer you one last chance to switch doors. You really want that Corvette. What should, what should you do? You should switch doors two times uh, out of three in that situation. The Corvette will be behind the door you didn't choose. What? No, it doesn't matter. Once you've eliminated one of the chicken Cosmos, now there's one Corvette and one Cosmo left. There are two doors, so there's one chance out of two that a Corvette is left behind the other door. I will make one attempt to explain this. When I choose a door, there is one chance in three that a Corvette is behind that door. No matter what happens the other, to the other two doors, nothing changes the fact that there is there is one chance in three that a Corvette is behind one of the doors I chose. After you open a door with a Cosmo behind it, there are now only two prizes remaining, a Cosmo and a Corvette. And since there is one chance in three that the Corvette's behind the first door, there are two chances in three that the Corvette's behind the other door. Therefore, I should switch. Are you kidding me? Jeez, I'm trying to give you an obvious, uh, obvious one so you can be right about something. Whatever. I'd rather have a Porsche anyway. What? Who'd want a Porsche if they could have a Corvette? <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, shit. Fine, I'll have a look at your apps. Yeah, because she has the DNA replicator. Uh, which I'm going to go ahead and grab that. I know that's going to put us into debt, but that's fine. Well, hang on. No, I, I can pay for it in credit. Here's your figurative crutch, pecker nose. <laughs> Here's your figurative crutch. Woo! Okay, let's uh let's take a look at the DNA replicator app that we just sent ourselves to What the hell? But what? what? Oh shit, it didn't give me the option. Well I I well hang on a second. Hang on wait, 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 wait. Oh. Your host has cancer. Hope you're happy. Oh. Hit the appropriate key as the nucleotides pass. Middle row, right hand. Oh. My God. Okay. So it's a rhythm game with no rhythm. Thank God, right? No nothing says, nothing says amazing Welcome like a rhythm game with no rhythm. What if, what if the rhythm was actually, like, secret and it was just fucking, like, never gonna give you up? But Okay. Alright, so we, we... Let's do... Let's do an easy game. Oh! That's not easy! That's so much... That's so much faster than the tutorial! Oh, God! Okay. Oh! Oh, oh God. This is... I don't know why this is so hard to me. Probably because there's no fucking music. Uh, let's. What is what does the fucking insane game look like? What? Oh my god! Like what? Even what do you get for doing this? Oh no! Oh no! Uh oh! Uh, uh, oh god! Oh god! Uh. Uh, uh it's, so, it's so hard. <laughs> it's it's so hard. <sighs> you could do better. Thanks, man. I went into debt for this shit. What about my thief? How are we looking? New gig, much better than the old one. We get to be inside. That's good for you. My my hominid my, <laughs> my hominid friend. Here is the story of the Tazari Morning Post with some paragraphs. Uh, what else we got? We got Alchemy Magazine. This slow ass turtle is pretty annoying. You'd think maybe it would do something like turn off the road and I'd be able to make it to Botuggle City without passing it, but no. <laughs> oh shit, goblin up there. Roman, his occupation is Roman halls and looking ugly. <laughs> Roman halls and looking ugly. Does anything prevent you from just hitting all four keys at the same time? Uh, I don't think there was anything that really did that. Let's see if they have any new armor or anything here to fling myself into more debt. There are the aviator goggles. We could get those. Those would be pretty sweet. Get them. I like going into debt. Let's do it. I'm feeling it. Put me in debt. 499 credit balance and only $100 to my name. 
Can you make sure you have enough money for your debt? I don't right now. I don't. How do you feel about it? How do you feel about it? You feeling, you feeling the big sweat? Feeling sweat? Who's feeling sweat? Bad sweat. Maybe I got enough to pay them off. All right. So I'd like to pawn some items. Thank you. Holy shit, you can sell the plot key? <laughs> oh my god. You can also you can sell your bachelor's degree. Oh my god. Fuck DNA replicator, dude. It sucks. Uh <laughs> that app is so shit. But I spent so much money on it, I can't let it go. Uh, there's also a monolith. We can get some cash for that. And the, of course, infinite improbability drive as well. I guess give me I guess give me cash for it. Uh, I'd like to redeem any important items I sold you. Why are all my items listed? You can also sell the sword, too, because the sword doesn't seem... I mean, it doesn't seem very good. I love how the speed boots are a dollar, but the plot key, of course, is, like, super expensive. I can also sell some chimkins. Uh, what else? Okay, we have almost enough money to pay our debt down. That's pretty good, right? That's that's close enough. That'll make people happy, I think, in chat. I think people will be okay. Besides, we'll probably come across a monolith, right? Right? What is this game? It is a game called, uh... I've already forgotten its name. What is the name of this game? <laughs> I've forgotten the name of it. We've been in it for so long that I've forgotten now. It is, uh, the Ditty of Carmiana. There you go. It is probably the strongest, uh, one of the strongest video games I've ever played in my life. Look at these asshats. I could have burned 1,600 calories. Howdy, young man. Would you like to try out a shooting game? His name is his his name is Bradley Weenick. Who wants to play another boring old shooting game? There's nothing unique about it. Uh, I just assume go fishing. I've been in a game as the object is to not hit the target, but to miss the target. I, I'll I'll try easy. Wow. I want a Ben Scarian cap, yes! <laughs> yeah, all right! I did it again! You're a natural! <laughs> oh, the hard game's coming up, you better watch out! Give me the, give me the insane. Give, yeah, give me insane. I'm ready. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Okay, yeah, hit me with, hit me with the impossible level. <laughs> oh my God, they're just standing still. Oh my God. Okay, well, I got my hat. I'm ready to go. <laughs> you added Weenuck as a friend. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you, Sneak. I appreciate it. That's very kind of you. I'll take a look at that here. But like... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, great. It's impossible should have the target taped to your crossbow. That's actually what I thought it was going to have, but I guess it didn't. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to use the speed boots to attempt to... Elevate my existence. <gasps> oh shit. I might have done it. I might have done it. Oh, come on. Because if I can, if I can like turbo bounce up there, that'll be great. Not that way. I'm trying to get up on the roofs. 
<gasps> here we go, here we go, here we go. Big money, big money, big money. Come on, stick it. Well, I died. Hey, Death, how's it going, man? <laughs> hey, Death, how's it going, dude? How's it going, fam? How's everybody doing tonight, by the way? What are you guys all up to? Since I'm now, since I'm now in in game debt, uh, which means I should probably go smash some pots so I get enough money, just to keep everybody stressed out in case you're getting stressed by the credit card debt. Uh, we're at 499 on our balance, and we only have 404 miles. Uh oh. Uh, what do you mean my credit score went down? What, because of utilization? We're not even over 50% on that. That is absolute bullshit. Fucking 510. Kiss my ass. Shit's not even due yet. Good as a goddamn key card. I guess let's go sell it so I can pay my stupid balance off. I'm packing all day, you sore as shit. Well, you almost done? Hell yeah, it collects interest. Yes, it collects 15.99. And that's every five minutes in game. Yeah, there's actual interest. We big gamers now. We out here credit carding. Okay, there we go. We have five, we have 529 and. Okay, I just need, I just need to go pay my debts. All right, make payment. Do the full balance amount. Look at that. Dude, if my, if my damn credit rating doesn't go back up, this game could just lick it. All right, I gotta get back to the, I gotta get back to the castle though, because we got shit to do. Oh! No! Oh, probably, uh... Alright, we got the war room over here. You ate the Devil's Haribo, and I don't have any snacks, so I ate six B12 gummies? <laughs> oh, shit. You going down. Welcome back. Congratulations on obtaining the first plot key. Have a seat. Time for your next briefing. As I told you before, we have reliable intelligence. The second plot key has been hidden in the southern catacombs. In fact, Tab and I were wondering if this was not a coincidence. It was the same location as the Rika Hedron was discovered. No doubt. Or we doubt it. We likely think it's the more the old catacombs are chosen because they are a very secure hiding place. Indeed, the caves are dark and expansive, not well known. Has a huge lethal dragon and are hard to reach. Would you like to look at the map or do you need to hear that again? No, I'm good. Let's take a look at the big board. For this mission, you need to visit the Emmer of Naroka. You'll need his permission and assistance to be able to enter them. Okay. All right, Amir. <laughs> you plucky. Okay, time to go. <sighs> oh. Crossing the desert. If you try to cross the desert on foot, you'll die of dehydration. Most people cross the desert in caravans, carry ample water. However, the caravans are not currently running due to recent travel restrictions. After this briefing, if you seek the services of Sir Manseva, the kingdom wizard Laurent, uh, he says he has concocted a potion that will allow you to reach Ufia without dehydrating. Sir Manseva works in the Botudgel Laboratories, which is an office in this, in this uh, palace right next to the Ministry of Defense. I, mean, I was just, just going to put on speed shoes. I recommend you have good weapons for reasons. I still love pardon our mess little dead people. I've been appraised for missions. We made something for you. Cool. What is it? It's an elixir that wards off thirst. An elixir. Oh, God. Chat needs that. It is known as level three electrolyte sports drink. That's a particular name or peculiar name. One bottle of level three electrolyte sports drink. You'll be able to cross completely from one side of the desert to the other. But be careful. The effect is temporary. You probably want at least four bottles. You have to make you want to make sure you have a bottle to get back. It costs a hundred? What? 
Oh my god, I guess I'll put it on my card. Jeez. Great. Can get stranded if I don't have enough level 3 electrolyte sports drink. That's true, no elixir is able to fend it off, I'm sure. Alright, I'm about to I'm I'm finna blast. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do this fast and out of control. You guys ready? <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, dude, I can totally get through the Oh wow, even with speed boots you just die. You're never going to reach the hierarchy of needs, self-actualizing goal if you keep neglecting your physiological needs. Like by trying to cross the desert without something to keep you hydrated. I'll make money by smashing pots and selling artifacts. Alright. This bottle of electrolyte sports drink is just delicious. <laughs> Super hydrated. Hell yeah. Yeah, see, since we have the boots, we'll probably be okay. No! What? What? Oh, no. I guess I just better run it then. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, go, 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 go. Please, 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 please get me in there. Oh shit. Oh shit. I got it. Oof. Desert Bazaar. Welcome to Desert Bazaar, the item shop where we don't we don't string you along. You okay? You seem a little off. Music sheet for green sleeves. Added my card. Put that on my card too. Just put me to debt. The boots might have made the potion go faster. That is true. Well met, traveler. I can tell you come from far away. You're weary from your travels. This is the desert inn, and we cater to all all the hurts one may endure in their journeys. There are many hurts and many ways of dealing with those hurts. Now that you mention it, I suppose it might be nice to have a room to regroup in. How much for a room? Standard room is 600 frequent flyer miles. I, you have a good day. Have a good day. Good day to you. Is that Jesus? Oh. I don't think so. That's Ronald Ugengay. Uh, oh, hey, I guess you're here to buy water. My name is Ronald Ugengay. I'm the only licensed water vendor in the city. If you want to buy water, it's 20 miles per glass. 20 miles? Of course you can, but this isn't your home. It's the smack in the middle of the desert. <laughs> yeah, fuck that, dude. I don't take you stupid-ass water. Uh... You, sir, step right up to Zirconian Alchemic... Okay, this is the alchemical stuff. Oh my god, why is it so small? <laughs> There's a spinner mode over there, as, as is tradition. Oh, hell no, this is the damn hotel. So make me pop a cap, dude. I'll do it. You hungry? You need to have some real food. Street food. <laughs> Bro, you just have plain yogurt and shit. That's awful. There's so many pots over there. Smash! Hey, that's Amore. When the moon hits your eye, like a big piece of pie, that's some more. 
That's Armore. That'll keep the Whittle Hero nice and warm and safe from monsters. What can I get for my little hero? <sighs> can I get a steel bikini? The most impervious kind of armor there is as evidenced by how often it appears in video games is the most powerful armor for many characters. If you wear this, you'll be nigh invincible. Sign me up. Here's some nice cozy armor for the Whittle Hero. You bundle up good and tight now. You need to stay warm. I don't want to find out my little hero caught cold because you didn't wear any armor. Unfortunately, this steel bikini is too small for you to fit in. Pity. <laughs> Tabitha, something just shifted in my pants. Well, I'm not an expert or nothing, but I suggest discreetly adjusting things so we can continue on with our quest. No, that's not what I mean. <laughs> it feels like something happened to all the stuff I'm carrying around. It changed. What did you do? I used the wand of polymorph. It must have done something to my inventory. Oh, God. Oh, you randomized your inventory? What? What? What does that mean? Oh, God. Well, thankfully... <laughs> Protection level 100,000. Uh, okay, well, I guess I need to set, I like how we're actually going into debt now, because now I need to set this to, uh, now I need to set this to just the minimum. We, we are actually going into debt. It was all haha -ha games at first, but as our score declines and we go into debt, here you go. What is all that? I want all that shit. There we go. All right, we're looking for key cards and monoliths. Those are the best ones to get us out of a uh, debt jail. If you go a debt into game, you go a debt in real life. There's old poor Yorick. There's Oakham's Razor. The official one, the original. The gold watch is only uh is only worth like one, by the way. Who approaches? Come around the front. No one can have audience of the mirror today unless you have official business. I do, I bear a letter. I'm the chosen one. Thank you for waiting, Lance. Enjoying your orange sherbet? It's pretty tasty, actually. Very good. Now to business. We have quite a complicated situation here. No kidding. It's more complicated than you're even aware of. In the letter you gave me, the king asked me to grant you access to the southern catacombs. I would gladly do so if I could, but I can't. Not right now. Why not? It's a long story, and I will spare you the details. To keep things short, it was my agents who discovered the hiding place of the plot key. Ugh. I gladly shared this information with the king. He is my liege lord, after all. But I thought also to help end this crisis by retrieving the plot key myself. Really? Not myself personally, of course. I hired the famed British archaeologist and explorer, Cora Loft. I've heard of her. Didn't she kill a salamander in Bavaria? Oh That's my god. Correct. And if she had been as successful in retrieving the plot key, I would right now be handing it to you and sending you off to complete your glorious quest. <laughs> but... Alas, she Cora entered Law. the catacombs two days ago and has not emerged. That's not good. So, now the king wants me to send you into the catacombs. Given that you are the chosen one, I hope you will have better luck than Cora. But there still remains a problem. I gave Cora a magical badge that opens the doors to the catacombs. It was the only such badge I have. Oh, I see where this is going. Let me guess. I'm going to have to trek halfway across the kingdom to fetch some kind of magical medallion that'll let you create a new badge, right? No. No, that's not it at all. You're going to have to acquire two magical medallions. <laughs> Great. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel any better, you won't have to conquer any dungeons, per se. These will be more like mini-quests. All right, all right. Where are these medallions? Well, first of all, the magical medallions have a name. They are called subplot keys. 
Oh What's my god. He is in the possession of one Jeremiah Nelson of McGregor's Ranch. No kidding. That's near where I live. Why the hell does old man Nelson have a subplot key? For security purposes, we entrusted the subplot keys to people one wouldn't expect to have one. Security through obscurity, that's what I say. Yeah, you might want to reconsider that approach. <laughs> probably pro probably positive, yeah, I would, I would imagine in the house it's positively possible. Stone, a minor <laughs> nobleman who lives near the border of Chingame and Tausiary in the northwest of this kingdom. I see. Your maps app should show the locations. Once you've acquired the subplot keys, come back to me and we'll use them. Wait, to do we even have the map app? We'll let you access the catacombs. Good luck, Lance. May you live long. May you live long. Great. Well, we're in debt, which is wonderful. Uh, there was something I wanted to. I want to test. I want to sip up on that water. That water feels like it's kind of a scam, but I'm also like. Give me, give me a, give me a, give me a water. Jigakura with another two dollars. Thank you. What is this? Really cool thing about automated captions in the pre in presentation tools is they keep they keep going even when I've muted myself in Zoom. So my trainees got to see captions of me scolding my cats for fighting while I was while I was presenting Mondays. Am I right? That's why I double mute myself ninety nine percent of the time. I just slipped up this time. Luckily for me, my version of scolding had captions that read "Stop crying, peanut. Go go go. You're interrupting." That's pretty great. That's pretty great. Where was the, uh, do I have anybody I could sell shit to? Was there, was there a sell man? Well, I mean, we have to leave anyway. We have to get, wait a minute. God, that means we have to like leave the desert. Oh my God. That sucks. Oh, my, oh, my minimum is 453. Oh, my credit score is about to go down. Well, that's not good. You give me the old boot. Okay, I, I gotta go back and go sell some shit. So that's, uh... I guess we'll pop a... I guess we'll pop a sports drink. Or I need my... I need my nourishment. Here we go. We gotta get through the desert. Dead has evolved into crippling dead. Wait, was there a cell? Was there a cell thing? We got the bikini, but we can't wear it because we're just too big. Now the first building on the left is the, uh, that's the spinner mode. Oh! Yeah, but I don't think she's gonna... I was looking for the place to sell some stuff. This new version of RuneScape looks amazing. Yeah, it's pretty good, man. We're, uh, we're, we're, we're killing it. This game is unreasonably good for what you would think. I agree, they should have let me try on the bikini. It was ridiculous they didn't. <sighs> Absolutely ludicrous. Do you think the reason they recommended for, bleh, for the sports drink was because of the, uh, they figured one to go, one to leave, one to come back, and then one to leave for the last time. I mean, this has been a more interesting RPG fun quest bullshit than, like, some... dumb thing, so... The humor in it's been fantastic. I don't even remember what they said the medallions were. He teased. No one is John Christian, for he is Lord and risen. Amen. <sighs> I might go grab one of my tacos here in a minute because I'm pretty hungry still. I mean, granted, I only ate like a few fries earlier, but that's what happens anytime I like order food. Like, 
it sucks if I'm like hungry right before the stream because if I get food like at the beginning of the stream, I won't eat it because I'm way too focused on starting the stream. And if I order it like too late into the stream, then I'm eating like super late and it's fucking terrible. John Christian, John, John Christian. What's really shocking is that we've been streaming now for five hours and I'm kind of a. Uh... Oh no, cold Taco Bell. Yeah, it's not great. That's a. Uh... Uh, they might want to clean that, Axel. That's pretty gross. <laughs> Let me sell my water back. <laughs> here's, your, here's your crap. I just I just lose just lose money straight up. Hey, we did it. We did get a key card though, so that's good. We also got mystery goo. Some solar gold watch, Maltese. Ben 10 can randomizers. Uh, we got toasters. We got the plastic thingamajigs. Oh shit, we had two monoliths? Oh, oh, oh. we're good, dude. We were ready to roll. You can have it. Uh, let's see. Sorry, Eric comes asking me a question. Damn, I'm, I'm almost out of debt. Oh my god. Unbelievable. What else do we have? We can sell the bikini back, but I feel like the bikini is going to come in handy. Uh, yeah, you you absolutely do. Do you think I can sell... We could probably sell these chicken Cosmos. We really don't need, like, all those. Uh, there's also DNA Replicator, which we could sell. Hey, we're, all, we're almost out of debt. Like, we are... We, we might make it. If I could just sell, if we could sell some crossbow darts, but like not a lot of them, just like 20. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Now we can pay off, we can pay off the debt, pay off the debt. DNA does suck. We should just, we should just do that. Oh yeah, baby. Debt free. All right. I have no idea where we're going. I was kind of so focused on our debt that I wasn't really paying attention to what the guy said. And he said that we needed to go to like something. So we're going to have to ask Tiffany over here what the deal is. The quest to become nested in order to get access to the southern catacombs. We have to go on a fetch quest to get two subplot keys. One subplot key is kept by Lady Sameltish Stone, who lives in the northwest part of the kingdom. It was held by Old Man Nelson, who lives in the southwest part near your hometown of Botudgel. What map? I can't even H from it. Was there even a map app? Where do you get the map app from? What is that shit? How am I supposed to find this? I don't have the map app. What am I supposed to do? I damn sure got DNA replicator. Maybe, maybe I could use, maybe I could just check my feed. Well, where the hell's the map app then? Oh, jeez Louise. I wonder who sells it. There's the there's the app store that's over here. Or there was. Is this it? I'll look at your apps. She didn't even have it. Oh my god. You just call me Packer Nose. I really appreciate that. Uh, meet the straw man. We did, we did fix our debt. Oh, it was okay. You didn't need to do that. Um, well, I guess, I guess we'll just follow the, all the signs, I suppose. That's the Borington. Wait, I thought Borington was our hometown, not Botudgel. I need my speed. See, the speed is good. You just can't hit any ramps. Then you're fucked.
Oh, Borington was tutorial town. That's right. Where the fuck? How the fuck do I get back to Bo Bo Tudgel? Are we in? Ah! Are we in Bo Tudgel? Oh God. Okay, let me see what she says again. Uh. The southwest part of the kingdom near your hometown of Botudgel. Okay, so we just need to go outside. We need to go touch grass is what they're getting at. No. Oh, that's... Is this Almano? Or Almono? Province of Boringshire. credit union do I use? Uh, I forgot the name of it. They, there is a name, though. I promise. Oh, no! Farewell, team. A ricochet! What was that all about? Whatever, I'm not gonna question it. We did it. Maybe this is where old man Schmickigans lives. What was the name of the bank? Shit, now I'm drawing a blank on it. I'm drawing a blank on the... Rip, an idea I had for this cemetery, but never implemented. All right. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, was it Boring Tree Credit & Co. or something like that? It was something along those lines. Oh, shit, look at our credit score. It's 720! <laughs> Oh, this is the McGregor Ranch, but I don't think this is it either, right? Well, let's see. Let's see what this guy's got to say. Hey there, old man Nelson. Oh, there's nice old man Nelson. Look, okay, we got it. So you like the music of old man Nelson, do you, son? Maybe you'd like to buy a vinyl album then. Real cheap, just 500 miles. Maybe some other time. Aren't you one of them young lads from Borrington? What do you want to know from old man Nelson? I was sent here from the Emir of Naroka to collect a medallion known as the subplot key. What? I'm not gonna dig up the subplot key for that old fool. Oh I'm god. Too busy. I have a whole bunch of shepherding to do today. Oh come on, it'll take you maybe one minute. Forget it, lad. It's shearing day, and I have a whole pasture of sheep I need to round up. I can't waste another moment. You're just sitting there playing the jaw harp. I'm meditating. You have to be in the right <laughs> frame of mind when herding sheep, or you'll never make it. Oh, for God's sake. I'll just go herd the sheep up for you. I need that subplot key. You? Well, isn't that just a peach's fuzz? Look at the farmer boy who thinks he can do a real man's job like ranching. <laughs> I threshed enough corn this morning to make your fingers bleed, old man. I think I can handle a few lambs. Oh, I'd like to see that. Tell you what, laddie, I'll give you a chance. If you round up all those sheep, I'll give you a subplot key and a valuable treasure besides. Oh, damn. Good. You have a deal. Now this here is the shearing pit. <laughs> shearing what pit. you have to do is go out into the pasture and bring back all ten sheep and throw them in the pit. No problem. But you have to hurry. The sheep don't like to be corralled for very long. They'll get restless and climb out. Oh, of course they do. It wouldn't be a proper minigame if it didn't have some challenge. Yeah, you'll find out soon <laughs> enough, laddie. <laughs> oh, of course it. they do. Well, it seems easy enough. Let's do it. Let's get it, gamers. All right, well, let's go grab the sheep because it's time to shear them. It's a tiny ass sheep. Why? I like how he holds it like a football. <laughs> he makes it up like a fucking football. Oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can just deposit them. Perfect. You just jump the gap. That way you don't have to jump back out. Optimize. 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 Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Did we get it? I didn't. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Got him. How many sheeps are there? That's a lot of sheep. There's so many of them over here. God. Da -da 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 -da. Three sheep. 
He's gonna fall asleep. I missed this one too. Oh. Perfect. Poor sheeps. Sure is a fun mini game. Dude, once we burn 2,000 calories, I'm going to Disney World. You know, if we had just dropped them in here and not done this strat. Ten of them? Oh, God. I wonder if I could, like, maybe we could enhance. Yeah, let's, let's do hard mode. Okay. Okay. All right. Turbo sheep. Turbo sheep. Ugh. Okay, maybe this is a bad idea. Uh. 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 <laughs> oh, God, no! Sheep! Sheep, we're going places! Oh, no, sheep! Maybe I, maybe I should have just done this the normal way. Oh, Jesus. I used, it, you, that, it, it implied that our key was to toggle the, toggle the sheep. This has not worked. Sheep's going to see the world! We just took sheep to limbo. Oh, God damn it. Oh, I gotta do all of it. I'm coming, Kevin McLeod. Oh, my God. No, please, please, please. Yeah, I'm just the speed, the speed moves are the fucking worst. They're so bad. Well, there was death, so I took it, and there you go. Now I'm the now I'm the king. Now I am the king of the death. Guess I'll walk normal. Okay, I, I made it there at least. Okay. Yeah, it always, it always ends up taking longer using the speed boots because you end up dying like four times. Welcome to McGregor Wrench. Oh, do I just start depositing again? How can I get the sub pot key again? Oh, I can buy his vinyl. He doesn't have a vinyl? Oh my god. I thought maybe we could cheat. <laughs> I love the sheep. One sheep, two sheep, three sheep. What? You know what? I'm just gonna walk away for a second, I think.
Oh. Good, good skybox. <sighs> yeah, this is, uh, this is the protein dimension, so congratulations. Hello, Pelicus. It's Princess Carmiana. Where are we? We're in your dream. My dream? I've never dreamt of a place like this before. Are you, like, actually projecting yourself to my dream? Yeah, something like that. Uh, it's really sweet of you. Where are you? You know something about this room? Will you marry me? Oh, Pelicus, I'm not gonna marry you unless you rescue me. One thing at a time, you know? I think I'm about to wake up. Get me out of this dimension. I forgot I had a teeny tiny Get bit up, of laddie. key lime pie oh, that, that I you got fell earlier. I mean, on the job, just as I suspected. A farmer like you can't handle a rancher's job. I don't know why I fell asleep. You fell asleep because you were counting sheep, boy. Don't you know anything? Oh, that's why... And while you were asleep, all the sheep climbed out of the pit. You're gonna have to start all over, lad. If you want your sub -block key. Me? I'm gonna go back to meditating. Show you how a real rancher does it. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm not gonna get all these sheep in the pit if I keep falling asleep. I think we have to find an item to keep you awake. Oh my Welcome god. I don't have a jaw harp either. Borrington's nearby. Maybe we can find an item there to keep you awake. There is nothing in Borrington that has ever kept me awake, but there's a first time for everything, I guess. God, the amount of side quests we're going on is insane. Archon of the 61 months says old man Nelson is scrundled, and so am I. Archon, do you gel with old man Nelson? Like, do you feel like this is just, this is just you? I wish I could have just bought the vinyl now. I would have put that on my credit card. Well, time to go to Borington. <sighs> this game. I, I'm surprised at the level of content here. Very surprised. Some days you feel you wake up feeling a little Nelson, a little danger Nelson even. Also, I want to thank everybody for all the support tonight and everything. This has been a very silly, fun, whacked out Wednesday. So thank you guys for supporting the stream and being here and watching and all that stuff. I know it's getting kind of late. Provincial Estates Winery, right? Where the hell's boring? Whoa! Oh god damn it! There were chests right there too. I was trying to get. Shit, shoot destiny in the face. <laughs> Finally, I just wanted to die. <laughs> Finally. Oh good, we're back at the shearing pit. I do wish the speed boots weren't so over the top. Cause I, I feel like the game's kind of built with the speed boots in mind because some of these areas are huge. Get an old man Nelson over here. Wait, where are the chests? Are they over here? Or... I can't remember which thing they were at. Oh, I think it was this one. The Bank of Bo Tudgel has increased your credit limit to 2,000. Oh. How very kind of them. Or it wasn't. No, no, it was. Another crossbow. 50 crossbow darts. Okay, so where? I don't even remember where Borington is. That's the, that's the hometown. Oh, 
Oh, you can change out your uh, weapon up there. I didn't realize that. I should have just been punching my way to victory. <laughs> the kick is so surprisingly, like, well animated. <laughs> Whoever put the hinges on this chest should be hired by Apple because they thought different. I agree. It's it's very, very intriguing design. I really like it. Now I just remember where Borington even is in the first place. The street signs up here will tell us for sure. Part of the dollar says, you think it's what old, old man Nelson be blasting? I don't know. Is it some copyright shit? D double check for me. <laughs> if he's blasting some copyright shit, I'm going to kill Nelson. That is where Borington is. Why would I do this to myself? I mean, allegedly it's over that way. I don't know if I, I don't know if I believe anything anymore in this game. <sighs> There's a Chesticles over there. I wonder if I can make it. Oh, well, there I go. It is not. It's the guy with the jaw harp. <laughs> Hey man, you never know. Jaw Harp could be the end of my channel. God. I love people asking what type of mouth harp it is. Like they're all over this shit. No, nice. so excited i got that guy's getting up in there he's like yeah that's right god i love me some jaw harp boy am i loving it loving it oh for anybody who's just now joining us by the way this game is uh utterly fucking ridiculous it is basically a quest to go save this princess and we've had to go through all kind of oh, we got a credit card that just that's the entire game they get we didn't have, we couldn't get the like adults wallet like Ocarina of Time style. So instead they're just like, oh, yeah, go go open a fucking credit account. And I'm like, all right, well. <gasps> oh my God, gamers, can I get a gamer in chat? Background music changer. Wow. Yeah, that dude, uh, that dude was blasting. Where the fuck is Borington? I followed the road. Oh, it's right here. Okay. <laughs> Give him to me. <sighs> Something in Borington to keep me awake. Might be in the agriculture supply. Hey, Jalapeno. I don't think I'll need anything from this store for the rest of the game. <laughs> oh, I wonder if we can. I'm sure we could, right? Home BGM, Ale and Rag. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> ah! You, you ever just be blasted and then just catapult yourself out of existence? At least this track is just Slap City, Utah all the way through. Hey man, you got anything, uh, you got anything to keep me awake? We got JJ's Fruit Aid. That's, that seems pretty good. Well, nothing right now, I guess. All right.
Oh, it's probably, uh, it's probably that really insane coffee that, like, said it was gonna kill me. I like how the Valyrian steel just... No teas. Welcome to Spinner Moat. Can I have your name? Large cup of coffee. Half... Oh, yeah. Give me this. This will do it. Put it on my credit. Thank you very much. You should not drink it if you have any health problems. Next. <laughs> I like Borington just having the blasting ass catwalk music. <laughs> Tealess, are we? <laughs> this is just like Elden Ring. My favorite video game that gets patched frequently. <sighs> the hell is that? What is 10-3-39? It is cool that it's actually by zone. Now we can just set the catwalk music to all the time. It even tells you what it is. What is the gnome? <laughs> Complete Well, there it goes. Okay, let's start collecting sheep, and then we'll pop the coffee. Like, I think we were able to get five last time before we killed over. One sheep. Two sheep. Three sheep. Four. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Take a crow with the other two dollars, yeah. Thank you for doing stuff and things. I think if we didn't have Jigakuro's two dollar links, we would have gone out of business a long time ago. Large coffee cup of espresso is delicious. It is actually killing me. I don't know if the coffee was the solution. It is actually 100% killing me. The question is, do we have anything to heal it? Hmm. Your heart palpitations have stopped. Okay. Well, the coffee got us through the first five, so maybe, maybe we'll have enough to do. I don't know what mechanically... Oh, well, no, it didn't, actually. I don't know mechanically if this is going to work. We'll see. No, I don't know. Look at that sheep. <laughs> Look at that sheep. He's just sheeping. You have a new bill. Oh, no. Not the bill. Minimum due, too. Oh, that's fine. It will pay the minimum. The best way to keep yourself in debt. Oh, must be one to two o'clock in the morning because I hear the I hear the screeching. What time is it, chat? <coughs> His evil little scratch at meow. Kale, what time is it? What does your watch say? I'm sorry, is that sheep? Okay. Oh. 1227? That means it's 127 for me. 129, as a matter of fact, I'm now checking the clock. And it's time it's time to scrim. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I just suplexed the sheep, but I certainly did. I wonder how long the coffee lasts. Also, if this doesn't work, I quit. <laughs> I just I don't want to fucking run all the way back there. I've been stealing my socks, standing over them, and screaming into the nearest wall for about a week. 
Yeah, Kale found a Greeble somewhere in the hallway. He stares above one of the hallway closet doors and just yells at it and then runs away really fast. So he found Greebles in the house. Oh, did I pay my did I pay my minimum? Yeah, Greebles are what they call those things that cats like just look at that obviously there's nothing there and like <laughs> and yet they're like yelling at it and running around and being crazy. They call that seeing Greebles. No, no, a Greeble. I did it. I did it. Eat hey, something, son. Nelson, I've got all the sheep in the pit. That's impossible. Let me see. Huh. Well, I'll be. All ten sheep are in the shearing pit. I've never got more than seven in there, even with my meditating. How did you do that? Well, all I can <sighs> say is a little outside the box thinking does wonders. Well, let me tell you, son. You're going to have the best shearing we've ever had in a long time, thanks to you. My God, ten old sheep. Well, a promise is a promise. Here is the subplot key. And also, here is that treasure I spoke of. <laughs> Probably like a can oh, of beans cool. or something. Oh, cool. It's a magic spleen. I love those. Ugh, that was tasty. Well, if you think that's good, you should try haggis. Don't, don't eat haggis. Don't ever eat haggis. Anybody who's advocating for haggis in chat is insane. Don't, don't even. I like how the subplot key is like one of those tags that you put onto like shit at the stores to make the alarms go off. That's good. Okay, well... Alright, back to it. Yeah, don't, don't eat haggis. Haggis is not a food. You're crazy. I've tried haggis. I, I... No. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No way, no way. In the northwest part of the kingdom, Lady Sameltish. Are those popping gamers? Oh. Wow. Oh. What are you doing? You've ruined it. Oh. <laughs> How the fuck am I alive? Oh. No, Haggis. Haggis is not real. And it can't hurt you. Don't ricochet. Don't ricochet. No ricochet. No whammy. No whammy. No whammy. Well, now we're dead. You know, you know, Pelicussy, it's not really a good idea to drink all that caffeine when your health is low. I mean, I didn't think it was that much caffeine. Oh my god. That's not true. I didn't die from that. I died from... That's why spinner motes keep popping up everywhere. <laughs> they made a diabolical deal. <laughs> oh my god. Who, who is eating proper haggis in chat? and can try to defend it, because that's what I want to hear. I want, I want to see the defenses for Haggis. I want to see people dead-ass look me in the face and say, Haggis is good. Mm. I gotta pay, the, gotta pay the old minimum. I feel like it's not like, a, like things like Nato where you can like kind of get, I, I don't get it. I don't even fucking get it. I just, I do not understand. I have, it's all right. Shit, Shit where'd you, where'd you eat the haggis? <laughs> where, where did you consume the haggis? Technically, if you eat it in America at all, it's like not right, allegedly. Because it's like criminal if you eat it in the native area. <laughs> but if you eat haggis in Scotland, it's just not even, it's not even legal. Do you think this is where old, old lady Mahiggins is or whatever? Oh, this is the scenic overlook. We'll see it. Oh, 
I don't know where the hell she is. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. You can't even look at it? Oh, you don't like snot bean, Archon? Can't imagine why you wouldn't like snot bean. Yeah, that's what I was trying. That's what I figured. That's why I went this way. I think it's father of Noel. I guess they could just like dig the organs out and eat it that way. They don't have to waste their time packing it somewhere else. Oh no, this is Brabensi. She doesn't live in Brabensi. somewhere else to cook it with the onions and stuff though you can just stuff the onions in the dead sheep maybe they have like maybe they have like freeform haggis right where they just like they pack it in pack it up pack it in get yeah, a little freestyle oh it's like coke freestyle but you get to fill it up with a uh, like what? Yeah, it's like Coke freestyle, but you get to pick which organs you want to stuff into your uh, meat sack. Well, hello, young man. Hello, Sammy. How are nice you doing? Garden. What? My garden. It's my favorite hobby. Look at all the fantastic plants and flowers and vegetables growing all around us. Bro, there's nothing. Oh, yeah. It's real impressive. <laughs> Have you brought me a fairy? How sweet. My garden is so beautiful and colorful, but I've never had a garden fairy. Uh... I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm not a garden fairy. I'm a sidekick fairy. Also, garden fairies aren't actually fairies. They're just insects called fireflies. Oh, <laughs> that's too bad. You know, you kind of look familiar. I get that a lot. I am a Lady <gasps> Samaltish Stone, Countess of Vesta, and naturally you are wondering why a high-ranking noblewoman like me lives in a humble cottage out in the country. No. Not really. You don't wonder. Not really. No, the cottage isn't that humble. It's pretty nice, actually. Young man, this cottage may look impressive, but I'll have you know it's infested with the Rons. Wait, did you say Rons? <laughs> they don't really exist. That's just a human tale. Well, I can assure you, case they of the do Rons. exist. I've seen them myself. I don't mind, though. Better to live a humble life with the Rons out in the country, I say, than a hectic life in the city. You should move to Boringshire. I bet you'd love it. Good heavens. <laughs> just Boringshire. A human tale. No thanks. I'm just a recluse. I don't hate myself. Well, my name is Lance. And God I'm damn. Town, and I don't blame you. I couldn't wait to get out. Now I'm on a quest to rescue the princess. Rescue the princess? Did something happen to Kamiana? Wow, you really are isolated out here. Yes, she is being held captive by Firina Hirde, and the king has commissioned me to go on a quest to save her. I am the chosen one, Destiny's Ward, the glorious hero, and so on. I'm afraid I completely believe you. It'd be just like Telki to pull a stunt like this. Telki? Well, it was nice to meet you, Lance, and I wish you could <laughs> luck just on drop some quest. shit and leave. You'll need it. The the the. I was sent here from Amir of Naroka to collect a medallion known as the subplot key. Oh my God, you're a glorious hero. Of course, you need the subplot key. This is not good. Why is this not good? Because, well, I don't have it. The Rons have it. Oh, please, Lance, let's just ransack the cottage. This nutcase with an invisible garden obviously <laughs> the just the put Rons it somewhere and forgot about it. it. 
Now cool it, Tap. Let's just find out what she has to say before we do something drastic. Fine. Lady Sameltish. Please call me Lady Ilt. What? I go by the middle three letters of my name with my friends. <laughs> Very well. Lady Ilt, if the Rons have the subplot key, Ilt. how can we get it back? Well, you'll have to sneak past them, of course. The game no sense of way. humor is so good. Come around no, to the me, other side of the Ilt. house. I want to show you something. Oh, Here God. we stand at the entrance to the Rons' secret lair. They have taken the subplot key into their lair and are guarding it. I don't think they know what I know about. Oh, brother. What secret entrance? I don't see one here. Look carefully. Wait, I see it. Is this a bunch of rats? Look at that. There's a tiny little hole in the wall. Wow, that's small. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit through there. I know. Even if you could, you would have to sneak past the Rons. What are we going to do? We need somebody really small to be able to infiltrate the lair. Hmm. To try to leave? Wait, I've got it. Tabitha, you can go into the lair and get it. Tabitha? Where'd you go? Come on, I need to talk. I just want to talk. I'm here. Tab, you can fit into the entrance of the Ron's lair and get the subplot key. But Lance, I can't do that. I'm just a sidekick fairy. You're the glorious hero. But Tab, you're the only one that can fit into the entrance. I need you. <laughs> but no, I can't. Besides, I... I can't face the Ron's. They're too powerful. Well, yes, as Lady Ilt told us, you have to sneak past them. This is a stealth mission. You don't understand, Lance. There is nothing more horrifying to a fairy than the Rons. I was told that if I was bad, my parents would feed me to the Rons. I, I don't ever sleep because I'm a fairy, you know? But if I did, I would have been up <laughs> all sleep night I'm for a fairy, years you know? worrying that the Rons were coming for me. You know, Tab, for a being with no soul, you have an awful lot of existential anxiety. That's easy for you to say. Listen to me, Tabitha. I may be a country boy with no experience heroing, but there's something I do know. A sidekick sometimes has to step up when the hero is unable to. I bet that's like the first thing you learned at sidekick school. That's not... Ugh, actually, that really was the first thing I learned in sidekick school. Well, Tabitha, the time for you to step up is now. I can't get to the subplot key, but you can. Very well. But this is not what I signed up for. Well, I'm glad you two kids have worked it out. Let's go back to the garden. But if somehow you can get get rid of the Rons altogether, I'll also give you a special gift in addition to the subplot key. Gee, oh, thank great. you, Lady Ilt. I must say, you have a wonderful garden. Oh, Lady Ilt, you suck. <laughs> you suck. All right, Tabitha, off you go. Just get in there, get the subplot key, and get out. I'll be right here by the hole if you need me. I'm counting on you. Fine. Let's just get it over with. All right, here we go. Stealth section. Why does this game have so much content? Oh my God. Oh God, it's the wrong. <laughs> All right, Tabitha, off you go. Just get in there, get the subplot key and get out. I'll be right here. Huh. I'm having deja vu. I know. Oh, it's God. Oh, let me guess. It's like something you learned in sidekick school. Like, you get deja vu whenever a fairy continues or something. Yes. What? That's it. You guessed it. I guess what? That you get deja vu when a fairy continues. Fairies don't have souls, so we don't go to limbo to await continuation like humans do. Instead, when we continue, the universe rolls back to a point sometime before we die, and we continue from there. However, oh, the universe God. rolls back only imperfectly, and that manifests itself in your memory as deja vu. Wait, you're telling me that you already went into the Ron's lair, got killed, and now you're continuing, oh, but I don't God, know this anything, game, dude. but I still remember it? Yes. <laughs> this game is so ridiculous. You are so full of it, Tabitha. Anyways, as I was saying, I'll be right <laughs> here by the hole if you need me. I'm counting on How you. dare you lie to me? There it is again. Oh, please, universe, please don't roll back so far next time. Oh, jeez. Okay, here we go. Gotta watch out for the Rons. Oh, shit.
can't get on top of the blocks either. They specifically did that, so that's great. How am I supposed to get past these guys? Is it because they're locked in a locked in eternal conflict? <laughs> that was not the case. You also can't jump over them. It seems like whatever they use for the detection uh, goes above them. So like there's like a hidden thing. <laughs> All right, time to wait every single time. All right, so there's nothing that way. I thought maybe you could like snorkel around that side, but I guess not. We are dead. <laughs> Tabitha dresses like she's an extra on the Gilmore Girls. Oh, so I said you could take this job and shove it, you humans, and I walked out. But then when I got a new job, I found out those sons of bitches blacklisted me from all the good gigs. Can you believe that? Well, Ralph, you know I don't agree to blacklisting, but you gotta admit they had a point about that baby. Man, let me tell you something. This isn't about infecting a baby with rabies. This is about a human holding honest, hardworking rats down. That's all this is, Sam. These people only want to work. Only want one thing: to make us suffer. The faster you learn, you're nothing but a victim to these sadistic assholes. The faster you learn to survive in this business. But Ralph, ever since I was a little ratling, I dreamed of being part of the video game industry, and here I am. I don't see what's so bad about being an enemy. What? Why? Low wages, no glory, and you keep getting killed? All the enemy gigs are crap. Well, I'm happy to be here, Ralph. Look, I'm not saying all enemy gigs are crap. All I'm saying is we should both have a better gig than a sentry on a stealth mission. Come on, Ralph. What other gig can you get in a video game where you're severely nearsighted and have almost no peripheral vision? See, that's what I'm saying. What does eyesight have to do with being a sentry? Nothing. It's just an excuse for the human to keep you down. You know what? Shut up, Ralph. I grew up in the sewers, and now I have steady work in the industry and a job I've always wanted. So what if it's not the most glamorous job? I can't complain. You say that now, but the faster you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The faster I learn, the faster something happens. Whatever. I've got to get back on patrol. Goodbye, Ralph. <laughs> I think Jigakuro is more interested in me looking at his links than the game most of the time. How the hell am I supposed to get past this? With his nearsightedness. Uh. <laughs> oh! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's so many rats. Oh my god. Uh, well, there's like. Plant forming! <laughs> Damn, that one's Scundle Goose on top of the other one. Holy shit. <laughs> ah! There he goes. Oh, good. That, you don't have to watch that cutscene again. What the fuck? We didn't even have to get past him last time. What is this shit? Oh, I guess we waited for him to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're about to get pincered! I hate waiting. I hate waiting. I'm not really impatient, but I hate waiting. I don't even have, I don't even have any of my applications to entertain me while I wait. I don't even have the music changer. I could be bumping this whole time. But now they just won't let me. <sighs> Jeez. 
So you have to wait for them to path every single time. Oh my god, that's terrible. Alright, well I guess I better do this correctly. I gotta get to those uh, jump kings over there. There's so much rat down here. Well, these Rons are, uh... Oh, shit. Here we go. Fat platform. You guys ready? You guys ready for some God Gamer shit? God Gamer! <laughs> Got it. What? Oh, it is like a vertical cone of detection thing. Ooh, how about that? Uh, oh, I think I have to God Gamer over there and then God Gamer to the next one. All right, here we go. Get you God Gamers ready. God Gamer. God Gamer. Shut up. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. God Gamer. Breathe out the peace of the t Oh, wow. <laughs> well, we're really going all in on this, aren't we? What's happening? Oh, look. A flue opened above me. I must be in a hearth under a chimney. I can just fly out of here now. Cool. Because it's kind of hard to find creative ways to do that where I'm from, you know? I get it. You'd be surprised how hard it is to get a magazine delivered here. Hey, Chosen One. What the hell? You said you were going to wait by the Ron's lair. What? You know, given that I had to step in and be a hero, the absolute least you could do is have been marginally passable sidekick and stay by the hole like you said you would. Uh, well... I don't think I even want to give you the subplot key anymore. Maybe I'll just give it to some other hero. Maybe I'll give this subplot key to Gary. Not Gary. Why not? Well, first of all, Gary wouldn't have waited for you at all. No, he... Okay, I can't argue with you on that. But <laughs> still, why would you abandon your post? It was just... boring. What? I didn't know how long you'd be. And I was just around the other side of the house. I didn't know you'd be so upset. Well, I am. It doesn't really matter how close you were. You said you'd be right outside the hole. I'm sorry, Tab. I really didn't think you'd care that much whether I was nearby. Look, when we met, you agreed to tag along with me for a while. And, well, I think you've done that. You've fulfilled your side of the bargain. So I release you from my service, Tab. If you want to leave me, seek a true hero. I won't object. Well, uh, it would be a waste of time to stop now after all of this. Fine. In spite of this, I'll still tag along with you, but only because heretofore you have demonstrated an aptitude for heroing. You can say but she's going to tab I along. I am not happy. <laughs> Here's the subplot key. And let me tell you something. If you pull that shit next time I have to step up and be a hero, I am gone. And we'll see how you like it when Gary rescues the princess. Okay, sorry. I appreciate your forgiveness. <laughs> Although the princess always has the <laughs> trademark on it. All right, we got the subplot key. I don't even remember who to give the subplot key to. Tabitha's blowing off steam and doesn't want to talk right now. Fuck am I playing? This is uh the ditty of Carmiana, I think. Head's been issue shit today, so we're gonna go we gotta go beamless for a while.
Oh yeah, this is game of the year for sure. No question about that. <laughs> it both looks and feels like a fever dream. Correct. I don't remember the desert was. Oh shit, we need the uh Maybe, uh, well, I think that was our last one. Oh, that's not good. I think they sell, I think the water in the desert helps a little bit, uh, to keep you from getting soft lock. <laughs> I like that description, Argon. That's pretty good. We gotta go talk to old Wing Ding in his house again, I guess. Oh no, nah, we're we're going for it, Ford. We're in now. We're in now. Who approaches? Come around to the front. Come in. Bring the subplot keys. Nice to have an Acme Badge Forger Model 3 right here in my Oasis home. And yes, it's done. Here's your new badge. When you arrive at the entrance of the catacombs, just hold your badge up. A little black uh, rectangle on the front doors and it should open the doors. Oh, I should, the door should open for you, rather. Entrance of the catacombs is directly west of the Oasis and is marked on your maps app. There's no more obstacles. I can just walk in the catacombs. There might be something minor still left to do. Like maybe, for example, a small, easily removed rock could have rolled down the mountain and blocked the path of the catacombs. Oh my god. I'm not saying it did. I guess that's where the strength gauntlets come in. Can you have the subplot key? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I can't trust you with that, Sasha. Come on. You know this. Let me talk to Waterman over here. If a butterfly flaps its wings in China, how will that affect the weather here? I think a better question is whether the romance of the idea is misplaced. You cannot predict the long-term future of a chaotic system like the weather with any certainty. But there is a certain appeal to the idea that one can control massive systems like the Earth's weather. With only the tiniest effort of a butterfly flapping its wings, can you imagine the amount of money you can make by leveraging knowledge of a future you can you yourself control? You would be the richest, most powerful man in the world. This is errant thinking, however. Even if you could accurately predict chaotic systems, you have to remember that there are hundreds of millions of butterflies and people and dogs and civets all make their own small motions. If you have the power to control the weather with small effort, know that other people, dogs and civets, are also trying to do the same thing. No one person can be in perfect control when everyone is trying to be. Thus, we are back in the same place where we began. Everyone in the world with a single-minded goal to maximize their own wealth at the expense of everyone else. Except they would be doing that by controlling chaos rather than with ordinary commerce. Man, it was, a, it was a lot. Here's your purchase. If you're going to cross the desert, I highly recommend plenty of water. No less than 50 glasses. 50? 50? Well, we're super hydrated still, so hopefully, hopefully we can make, we can just make it out of here. Question is, where? Was it still in the desert? Calm down for now. Oh, is that it? 
Oh my god. Oh, holy shit, we're fucked. We're gonna let it expire and then hit the water. I wonder if you save the game and reload if it saves your hydration status. Let's find out. God, it really doesn't do shit. Oh, we're in trouble. Well. That means I have to go back into town and go buy some more, uh, go buy some more, like, Gatorade or whatever. I mean, I guess I could just buy a shitload of water from that guy, but that seems like a big pain in the butt. Hmm. Yeah, he did. I mean, the, the Electrolyte Wizard did say... He did say to beware. <laughs> he did. Oh yeah, no, we are we're turbo turbo fucked. All because I didn't go back and buy the thing. It's fifty just to get there too. That means we need like fifty to get. Oh my god, we had to figure out a way to get out of here. I screwed up. I screwed up so bad. <laughs> Actually, we might be soft locked because. We only have, uh, 2,000... And it seems to be based off of, like, your current speed, so if I did, like, turbo jump, we'd be... Wait, wait a minute, I've got an idea. Because maybe if I die over here, it'll respawn me over there. Or something, I don't know. Nope! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I have I have a new idea. I have an idea that might that might work. I'm not sure. Okay, I need I need this. This is fine. Now I need turbo boots. Inside the city. All right, here we go. <laughs> but water doesn't, oh, uh, water doesn't refill your, uh, doesn't refill the hydration meter all the way. Shit. You have a new bill. Minimum due eight. See app for details. Congratulations. Due to a history of good credit, the Bank of Botuggles has increased your credit limit to 4,000. Great. You water suck. <laughs> you, you water suck, poopy. Scoot doot doot. Scoot doot doot. Scoot doot doot. Yeah, we might be able to, we might be able to run it and refill with like five or something. We'll see. Maybe you could drink the water while dead. God, same. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna burst it and then drink. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, you gotta be kidding me.
<laughs> we, we are in such huge trouble. I, I have made an error. Most, most long passages in this game's various libraries are just supplemental information. You don't actually have to read them. Oh. How's my chicken? It was delicious. Well, shit. Uh, I think like 10 water might be enough to do it. We're just... We're going into credit card debt for nothing. Actually, it is for something. It's because my dumb ass wasted one of our things and I should never have done that. Alright, you win, water broker. Asshole. Oh, wait. Maybe if you also speed boot out you get like that first burst. Oh, there you go. Do you see that shit? The tech. Oh no, I'm not moving. I'm not moving. Why? No. 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 You gotta. Oh, gotta hurry. You gotta hurry. You gotta hurry. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I made it. Oh my god, eat shit game. Oh no. Well. There I go. I hate you so much, video game. <laughs> I hate you so much, video game. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, oh. Just take me into death's office, dude. Take me into lower hell. Take me out, fam. That means I'm gonna have to buy more water, I think. All right, time to hoof it. <laughs> you can actually almost make that without it. Go! Oh my God. Well, at least we're uh, at least we made it, everybody. Now it's time to dance with the devil. Oh my God! Call the media. I need this shit on the eleven o'clock news. Oh God! Okay, I've I've dodged death. I've dodged death by switching to Tabitha right as I die. So therefore everything is a okay. Damn it. Well, death is fast and it catches up with you. Death is fast and does indeed catch up to you. Up Mike's, down Jake's, where you get the hot pancakes. Up Mike's, down Jake's, where you get the hot pancakes. Scoot doot doot. Scoot doot 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 doot. Shit. You know, the edibles are working when that is what cracks me up. What? I don't know, Archon. Mine, mine did that for a while, and I eventually just had to get a new one because, like, everything I did to fix it would not fix it. When are we playing Desert Bus again? Never. Never again. Ever, ever, never. I need more electrolytes, please. Why are you making me pay for this? Because we just can't. The hero never gets anything for free. Great. Put it on my c -c 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 credit card. 
We have almost a thousand dollars on our card. You gotta learn the th enthusiast. Oh, dude, you wanna talk about? So the the problem with like enthusiast keyboards is you can end up with the exact same situation. The only thing you would want is like a hot swappable uh, deck. That way you can actually like change out particular switches if you're having like an issue or something. Oh, we we already oh yeah we going big broke on this one, dude. Oh, I need the turbo gauntlet. Dude, I love to swap decks. Totally. I didn't say swap decks. I said swap switches on the deck. Part of the board. I've actually never used a hot swap of the board like that. I love when that music abruptly stops. It makes me so happy. Am I hydrated? Super hydrated. I'm ruined. Ruined. What's wrong? Do you have to get to the other side? I have to move the boulder out of my path. I'm ruined. I'm sorry. My name is Johan Caulfield, owner of the Caulfield Earth Movers. Are you, and you are? My name is Pelicus, too. Here's my card. And that's why you're ruined? I'm stupid. I bid a million miles to the contract uh, to remove this boulder from the pass, uh, but I was not expecting a boulder the size of a mountain. There's no way we'll be able to remove this boulder for less than six million miles. Now I'm ruined. Maybe I can get some of those millions. Maybe I can help. I have these gauntlets of power that let me pick up really heavy items. Maybe I can pick up that boulder for you. Gauntlets of power are going to move this boulder. It's the size of a mountain. All right, at least let me try. No problem. What do you want me to do with it? My God, you slipped the whole boulder out of the pass. It's a miracle. I'm saved. <laughs> Why don't you just take the whole million mile, mile fee? Uh, well, thanks. That's a little too much money for me to carry around. I appreciate your generosity, but my money bag isn't big enough to hold a million miles. But no, really, I just can't carry that much money. Well, here, take whatever you at least take whatever you can. Oh, shit, we got a thousand. Wow, that means if you've somehow figured out a way to get like that. Then we should have bought the damn wallet and gone into debt because then we would have been able to pay it off. Shit. Oh, there it goes. I'll just chuck it somewhere. I, I feel like that's going to come back up. Debt recover. Oh shit, we could restore, couldn't we? Ooh, you're right. Uh, this is a very good time. What don't you have said to me? Go back, go, go back. Yeah, because if you waste your money on buying the new wallet, then then you can just uh, you can just cap that out and then pay off whatever your debt is. I think that'll probably become a problem later. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, you went straight upward. I hope it's still there when we get out and he just gave us all that money for nothing. All right, let's uh, let's sink ourselves into debt. So the money bag upgrade is 1,000. So we'll just go ahead and check that. Perfect. Uh, this one is 10,000. So we're not able to do... Wait a minute. Oh, my card's been declined. Yeah, because our thing's only 4,000. So really, we're only going to get a few more miles out of this. But still... It's something. Do, do, do. Scoot, do, scoot, do, do. Do, 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 do. Scoot, do, scoot, do, do. Would you please? I just want to leave. Oh, yeah, you got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've never been so dry in my entire life. The goddamn catwalk music will haunt me while I try to sleep tonight. What's that? Oh, look at that. Did you see that rebound? Hell yeah. <laughs> the 
<laughs> it's gonna haunt me. Where are we going? That was a waste of a potion. Scoot doo doo. Scoot doo, scoot doo doo. Do you think we can like intercept intercept ourselves? It's going to fail again. Is that us? <laughs> oh my god. I discovered some tech with that. Now, technically, we could go around the rock, but let's not sequence break and kill the game. Here I come to save the day. Howdy. I'm a ruined. A ruined. A goo goo. A goo 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 goo. Sweet free money. Wait a minute. Our wallet size was 10,000? Yeah, it was 10,000. I guess that makes sense. Dude, check this out. I'm going to pay my shit. My credit score is going to be like 800. It's going to be so good. Call the bank. I'm making a full payment. Done. <laughs> I got to just bang the mic. <laughs> Rebound prevention. Maybe I don't bounce if we're in Tabitha mode. Oh boy, it's the Southern Catacombs, everybody. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. Well, this ambience sucks. Can't ricochet out of the zone when there's nowhere to ricochet to. It's just like Elden Cave. I'm the Great White Eel. All right. What's up, gamer? You just can't swim! Oh, Pelicussy, Pelicussy, Pelicussy. <laughs> that fish is probably the silliest enemy in the whole game. All right, it's not like a fish beat me up or anything. It just startled me and fell in the water. You're right. I shouldn't give the fish too much credit. <laughs> so the fish did kill you. <laughs> His dick got waterlogged again. Got that old sog dick. Oh, I see. So we accidentally got past the fish. Nice fish. Lame. Oh no! Fucking <laughs> lamey. <laughs> this 
Is that a smaller switch? What do you mean the switch won't budge? There are no more surprises between us and the plot key. Let's explore the southern catacomb and find the plot key and get out of here. Keep an eye out for Kara Loft. She's an experienced explorer. Oh, there she is. Oh my god, it actually is just Lara Croft. Hey, someone there? Who is that? I'm stuck in this doorway. I see. I suppose you want me to help you get out? You've got to be kidding me. Well, I'm not sure how to free you without... Lance, come on. You're supposed to be a hero. Just do it. All right, I guess I'll just... Uh... I just put my arm here, assuming <laughs> that's okay. Assuming that's okay. <laughs> pull. Damn, she's dead. Oh, for God's sake. Tab, am I the only one here who thinks the game designers might be hitting on the gratuitous hot water carry a little too hard? Just do the scene, Lance. <laughs> just so, do the uh, scene. Yes, yes, I'm quite fine. Thank you. My name is Kua Loft. I thought it might be you. The Emir of Naroka told us that he sent you here to retrieve the plot key. Yes, we are standing just outside entrance to the no longer sacred temple. I tried to squeeze into the temple through the opening in that doorway behind you. Ugh. Huh. I remained stuck there for almost two days until you came and freed me. You are the chosen one, I presume? Uh, yes. Yes, I am the chosen one. Destiny's ward, the glorious hero, etc. I guessed as much. It is just as well. We can now operate the mechanism to open the door, which requires two people. I'll go operate that switch open. You we have to pull the south. All right, Lance. Yes, but I just can't look away. I mean, how is your chest even physically possible? Well, do your best, Lance. <laughs> I'm ready on the count of three. Pull your switch. We have to pull together one, two, three. What? Why were they turny wernies? Let's go to the temple. What was that shit? That might have been the most disconcerting thing in the entire game so far. Wow, this is amazing. This is the no longer sacred temple of Rico. It was once the most holy site for the Ricanists until they abandoned it and built a new temple in Melojusa. For us, it is where we can obtain the next plot key. Great, let's go. Wait, I suggest we split up to cover more ground. I will run on ahead to Inner Sanctum. You should look for items and clues that could help us from the outside in. <sighs> Later. Wow. An inscription on the door, only one who possesses the statuette of the prophetess may enter. <sighs> why, why do I look over and chat and see words like poly gussy? Why's it gotta be like this? <laughs> why, why it gotta be what it do? We have been streaming now for what? Six hours and 15 minutes? I'm fucking so tired. HP Office Chat Pro, what's up? You still out there printing? You printing real good? Don't you run out of uh don't you run out of ink? The polygoosey? Good. It's just contained a spare Rikahedron. Well That that solves that solves a lot of this, doesn't it? If we have another one? Is it is there any point? Statuette door opens up, but it doesn't do any. <laughs> Holy shit, that's funny. I like how you can get that, and then it's just the door that goes to the same place that you could already go to. Hey, 
Hey, don't worry. I have a spare in case in case we need it. Don't look down. Don't look down. <laughs> Our appearance is superficial. Or is appearance something that though you should not rely on it as a defense? <laughs> That's providing a useful prediction of someone's behavior. You cannot, of course, dismiss the casual effect of the superficial altogether. The appearance of an entity is indicative of signal of the composition of said entity and is a major mechanism by which we acquire information about the universe. Composition is, of course, a direct effector of the entity's behavior. There is the self-evident. A person who presents a strong phys physique is more likely to train and compete as an athlete simply because of a cost-benefit standpoint. This person is more likely to benefit from this. Of course, although the cost-benefit is the best crude predictor of behavior, it cannot be denied that it correlates positively. That's true. Likewise, a per person whose garments contain fine silk is more likely to be able to employ you and to prosecute you. Also true. And a soldier with differently colored uniform is more likely to attack you. So it's, <laughs> it seems you believe appearances are very important. Not exactly. The, pro the problem with appearance is that it signals... Its signals are extremely prone to noise. For instance, so oftentimes one's appearance has a factor to send two very strong signals, something an observer almost can, can't fail to notice about them, that dwarfs all other factors of their appearance. The observer, based on all-encompassing power of these two signals, might conclude something about that person that isn't true, and especially given that it's merely a factor, not the whole of the person. A person can often base you. Oh my god. The overall presentation, but... Uh, oh my god, okay. I still think it would help if you'd show me an example. A good example is skin color and facial structure. There are two strong signals that tend to dominate what we perceive about a person, but they only have a small correlation to the person's behavior. That's where it stems entirely... St that's where... Oh my god. And what there is stems entirely from cultural factors. Yes, of course. The obvious example would be... <laughs> the important takeaway here is an appearance that sometimes indicative can also be deceptive. Uh, why, uh, do your... I can't. I can't deal with another one of these. Yes, Parsa. The language seems to be a variation of Old Narican. I don't know Narican, either old or modern, but I do know modern Kenarin, which is a similar language, and I'm slowly deciphering the writing. Cool, so what did you find out? Not much. One sentence reads, bring the light to something, 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 adequate, something, something opens the way. I noticed that the word Lunga appears quite often, and it reminds me of the Kenara word for Lunga, meaning dragon, but that can't be right. Oh yeah, it's probably just a coincidence. The oddest thing of all is the panel surrounding the sun icon. The letters are carved very deeply in the rock, likely for emphasis. So it's like the engraving version of boldface. Exactly. I think I've noticed a bunch of words ending in nat, which I believe is a negative imperative form. There's always, always appears shortly before the word mean. The letters nat are carved especially deeply. There are a few words I think I recognize. Warning, vulnerable, lighting, but overall the message escapes me. One word I would definitely recognize is the very first word, uh, Bushinola, which is the second person singular present act, art, active, sarcastic, confid, co oh my god, conditional form of the verb busha it is a very common idiom in canarin meaning roughly you would think oh my god i don't like when we speak canarin words holy shit the amount of dialogue insert miles to play i'm sorry is this is this air hockey? I oh my God. I uh I'm just, uh, at this point, why not? Stop. Well, good times. Nothing's happening. I think I see the problem. Look where the beam of, beam of light hits the wall. Uh, the beam produces an oblong shape, but look up at the opening. The opening square. I think what's happening is something's blocking the light. That's good detective work. I think you're right. I'll fly up and see what's causing the obstruction.
We sure are, Sass. Some if you left after the first spleen, you have missed so much. It is unbelievable. There's not even like a mo movable geometry up there. No dynamic scenery that we can move ha somehow. Nope. I look. That stone is part of the static fixed geometry of this scene. It's going nowhere. But what are we gonna do? And the we do the best with what we have. Part of the sunlight's getting in. If we could do something to amplify the sunlight, maybe it'll be enough to trigger the mechanism. Something that's so shiny, it's almost seemed like it's reflecting more light than there is in the room. We're going to find something that shiny here. Well, we have to give, do we have to give them the steel bikini? Oh, the boobs. Uh, I need your help. Would you mind hey, standing? Cora, I think I figured out how to get to the next area, but I need your help. What is it? I just need you to stand very still in one spot for a few seconds. Ah. Uh. I suppose it's one of those puzzles where you need to hold down two switches at the same time. I hate those. Yeah, something like that. It's just as well. I don't think I'm going to make any more progress deciphering these engravings. <sighs> Though I did figure out a few more things. Let's go. Great. So all I want you to do is stand right where that sunbeam is hitting the ground and face the sun icon. Uh, well, <laughs> I'd be happy to stand there, Lance, but I can't because there's a huge mirror there. Oh, yeah, right. I'll move it out of the way. Hang on. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is so stupid. I missed when you brought- oh, you have missed so much. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> it's working. Whoa. <laughs> the final chamber. I'm going in. Follow me as soon as you can. When you get there. I have a few things to tell you about what I found out from the engravings. Will do. This fucking game, dude. Yeah, go, Carl Loft. You're the best. Maybe this is this must be near the end of the game, right? Unless we have to get the thing and then go back for some reason. Dude, is that the Spherohedron? What the fuck is this? Uh, I think there are two plot keys. Oh yeah, we only did the subplot key shit. Yeah, I guess this should be the final plot key, I guess. No, it's the eyeball. This is a boss battle. That's Gozamata. You mean the ancient dragon Gozamata? That's what the engravings in the inner sanctum say. They say Gozamata was formerly guardian of the Rikahedron and implied that she was a big part of the reason why they left. And now she guards the plot key. Yes, one other thing. The engraving mentioned that I could discern. The only effective attack against Gozamata is a simultaneous dual attack. It's fortunate that both of us are here. Nothing else you could discover? Unfortunately, no. Given that I'm more on the adventure side of that's a good, that's a good dragon. I like that. I think that's a strong looking on the dragon. Action side, I will let you command this boss battle. I will attack Gozamata with my pistols wherever you tell me to. Wait. Where did you get pistols? I'll try to synchronize my attacks with yours. Where did you get yes. pistols? Uh, just, I don't know, man. She's a big eye, I guess. There he goes. That was reasonable.
going very well. Music is very aggressive. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, God almighty. What a boss fight. Hey, watch this collection. Random polygons. Scrungulate you. It sure is. It sure is scrungulate me. That's, that's for true. Oh, wow, it's uh, crashing every time I go to load the save file now. Hmm. That's not good. That's not, that's not good at all. Ugh. Yeah, that's really not good. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Ugh. Can't skip this, however. That sucks. I don't even know, uh... I might, it might have been why the game told us to get a better weapon. I might be able to pee before this is over, as a matter of fact. Gozamata. You mean the ancient dragon Gozamata? That's what the engravings in the inner sanctum say. They say Gozamata was formerly guardian of the Rikahedron, and imply that she was a big part of the reason why they left. And now she guards the plot key. Yes. One other thing. The engraving mentioned that I could discern. The only effective attack against Gozamata is a simultaneous dual attack. It's fortunate that both of us are here. Nothing else you could discover? Unfortunately, no. Given that I'm more on the adventure side of action adventure gaming, whereas you're more on the action side, I will let you command this boss battle. I will attack Osmata with my pistols wherever you tell me to. Wait, where did you get pistols? I'll try to synchronize my attacks with yours. Are you ready? I guess. I don't know what to, I don't know what to shoot, like... Oh, I guess you have to, like, attack the same thing. I get it. She's not even shooting her pistols! This is awful. Score can't save me from this. Well, well, well. You know, me and the guys had a bet going over whether you'd actually be stupid enough to attack Gozamata in the eye. What? What, guys? You're the only person here. Aristotle assured me that someone who's hours into a game full of jokes and parodies would know by now not to fall for such a blatantly obvious trap. Most of the ancient philosophers were of his mind, although if we were being honest, those guys are always just kissing up to him. Uh, Fainer was with me. He thought you would stupidly rush in and do the most obvious thing. <laughs> anyway, we cleaned up. Cleaned up and what? Is there even money down there? Flowers, of course. Oh my god. Not that you'd understand, since you're always continuing rather than contemplating your life, as you ought to be doing in Limbo. Though, if you keep getting killed in mind-boggling stupid ways, you might earn a few flowers from time to time. Spend, uh, from time spent here in the passing. Great. The Hermeticon. Good. <laughs> God. 
Just die, get some shit talked to you on. You know how it is. You know how it be. That's why you should be using the credit sword. It scales with credit rating. Yeah, that's probably real. I'd believe that. This could be fucking impossible. <laughs> Welcome everybody to this. We're playing one of the uh, one of the strangest games of all time, which just came out recently called The Ditty of Carmiana, which is a an, an RPG of some type where I mean it sucks, but it's really good because it sucks. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it's certainly something. I try to explain it, but there's really no explaining it. Other than maybe the credit rating. Which also makes sense. God, this track is so loud. So the, uh... The premise of this game is that the princess gets captured, right? And, uh... You have to go save her. And so you have to go get the plot keys. At some point, you sign up for, like, a credit card because you don't have enough money. So you go into, like, crippling debt. Whatever. It's insane. Hopefully you guys are having fun playing something more reasonable than this. Uh, I don't know what you were doing tonight. I did not catch that. But yeah, hopefully it was going good. That is really cute. I, I like the Hippo Pop. It's really cute. I like it a lot. We played ATS? What is that? I don't know what that is. Anyway, if y'all if y'all have not checked out Hippo at all, you should go check them out because they're... Uh, they're real cool. They're a lot of fun to they're a lot of fun to watch. Good times. Tay Tay the big gay. Now that is a hell of a fucking name. Oh, American Truck Sim. All right. How is that? Volume for sound effects such as they are. How is the uh, how is the trucking? And again, welcome everybody. Thank you for the raid. Really appreciate it. What are you supposed to do? She won't even shoot. God damn it, Kara Loft. How could you do me like this? Maybe you're not supposed to use the crossbow. Maybe you're supposed to whack it. Well, I'm dead now. <laughs> Maybe I'm supposed to whack it. Try to set up VR, but it has a lot more involved than originally planned. Oh, really? What was, like, what's, uh, what's so crazy about it? Well, we're dead. <laughs> we're dead. Again. Woo. That sounds like pretty fun and, uh, pretty fun thing in VR, though. Fucking Tay Tay in the big game. What a name. That's so good. Oh, trying to get it in 16 by 9 and not 4 by the... What? That's insane. Maybe she keeps forgetting what to attack or something. I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's the... Maybe you just attack the tail. I don't know. This is easily the hardest thing we've done yet, though. <laughs> I have unfortunately had to reverse with the trailer before, and it is miserable. Yeah, maybe it, it has to be the tail, right? Because the middle's doing like no damage, but it also said we have to attack it at the same time, which. Oh my god, what do? Maybe I can just tell it to tell it to attack the middle. <sighs> oh god. Why does it have to be like this? I don't think the crossbow is gonna save us either. It's so strange on the aspect ratio. I wonder why uh wonder why that is. 
I wish I could fit into the steel bikini. Then I'd be uh, then I'd be impenetrable. Let's try. Let's try saying shoot it in mid body. Maybe you can pick whatever you want. She doesn't shoot her guns anyway, though, so I don't know. What are you supposed to do? Good. What if I start chasing it around? I mean, we could try the speed boots. Take that, you demon. <laughs> tail plus turtle is the winning combo. Put Korra on turtle bit, and you just go for the tail. Oh. Okay. That seems that seems very strange, but alright. I thought I had just broken it or something. I mean, I, I, I'm used to doing that. What the fuck? Why's life gotta be the way it do? How was I ever supposed to figure that out? Maybe you can shoot it with the crossbow still. No. Oh, I do need to eat some Cosmo chickens, you're right. Oh, I sold them all. Shit. Because we had no need to heal ever in this game yet. What's up, Gozamata? If I'd have known you'd play so rough, I wouldn't have bothered. Bothered to do what? Defend my horde. I mean, I know I'm a dragon and I'm supposed to attack anyone who threatens my horde. Can we talk about the fact that the dragon is an eyeball with a things. chain link fence Not attached to it? My ass kicked over. Anyway, you're Ugh. the Rikohedron oh, from this location more than 200 years ago. We don't seek the Rikohedron. We are merely looking for a plot key. A plot key? Are you talking about this worthless paper ticket thingy? That's all you want? Huh. Well, I would have just given it to you. Here, take it. Yes, the second plot key. Finally, I can go rescue the princess. Here, <laughs> just take it. But let's not be hasty. We were just getting acquainted. What else you got in that horde of yours, dragon? Actually, that plot key was my entire horde. Even that I've only had for a few days. When wow. the Reconus left for Melarjusa, they also took all their other treasures, which I'd been guarding. I've been here ever since, enjoying my retirement, until this weird shepherd wizard guy showed up a few days ago and charged me to defend the plot key. The Thane of Egrog? He thought he'd put a binding spell on me to force me to do his bidding, but it didn't work. I had no reason to guard a horde, especially one that's just a piece of paper. I was just doing it for old time's sake. Oh well. It's been oh fun, well. I don't want to miss Oprah. Later, humans. I don't want to miss Oprah later, humans. Take time. Lance, Take time. Cora, is that you? Take time. We are scouts in the service of the Emir. He asked us to try to find you. Concerned you might not have enough water. To Why are you so quiet? Have you found the puck key? Yep, we got it. Great. Let us return to the Emir. Oh, they actually made it to where you don't need the uh, the hydration. And she sauntered off, and that's when your scouts found us. Very interesting. I had no idea there was a dragon living in the catacombs. Fortunately, Kazamata sounds like she's content to stay in the caverns and has no horde to lure in thieves. You can never fully trust a dragon, but that does appear to be so. Indeed. So, Lance, have you got the plot key? Yep. 
Thanks to your and Cora's help, I finally have both of them. Now I can finally rescue the princess. And the plot keys. <sighs> Y'all did it so late. Yes, I but I need so. to like. I wanted to finish this. Keys, I can break the seal on Furina Hirde's lair. Just one quick stop back to headquarters, and I'm off to the final dungeon. Well, I wish you and the princess the best of luck. Give His Majesty my regards. By the way, here's a charge of level three electrolyte sports drink to help you get out of the desert. On me. I'm impressed by the commitment to Croft Hitty TM TM TM. I am too. I am too. They definitely put a lot of effort into that. Oh. Thank you again for the raid and stuff, Hippo, if you're still here. I'm sorry I was in the middle of uh, stupidity. And again, we're most of the time we're in the middle of stupidity, so that's not that's not exactly uh I guess it's not exactly new. Don't have any credit balance. What was the second plot key say? Uh find out. I like how we have a spare. Second plot key is it just says swordfish. Wow. There's so many like pieces of armor and stuff that I didn't even like we haven't even found yet. So we just have to take this back to the uh, to the war room or whatever the hell it's called, and then uh... <laughs> hey Chargoth, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, my calories reset when the game crashed. We were up to like three thousand something. I'm so upset. I guess let me see if there's like a new weapon or some shit. I don't think there was. And welcome to the weapons samplery. There wasn't. There was absolutely nothing new here. There's nothing here either other than the Santa hat. Very good, sir. Very good. Well, last time I was here, I got gifted a sub. Looks like it. Looks like it. Nah, I don't think calories in the credit store it's credit score related, unfortunately. There's not much more to brief you on. All you have to do is take the plot keys to Freena Heard's lair in the Northern Kingdom. I'll show you on the big board just for completeness. Uh take a ride out of the castle, follow the river north to get Egrog Gorge. Oh dude, I know where that is. There's no checkpoints or gates or anything like since it's a narrow valley that's easy to defend way out of the wilderness. Once you cross the border, our intelligence reports there are plenty of carnivorous plants and enemies to hassle you on the way, but otherwise there's no obstacles until you reach the lair. It's not gonna get uh gonna get raising raising canes. I'll be lurking. All right, <laughs> right y'all have a y'all have a good night. Thank you so much for the raid, and we'll see you later, buddy. You the bomb. I'm glad you had fun American trucking. Trucking out. was yelling he's just like why are you still working he's like you were supposed to stop and play with me no well we're dead unless i can land on that one beast of land oh my. 
call the media. I have something to report. I kind of already forgot what they said it was, though. Well. I like how Benscara is like not even real. She's got a construction thing out here. If you swap to Tabitha, you won't die. We're still gonna die. Oh, is this it? <laughs> Just dead. I've been waiting here. You don't have any advice on killing a dragon, do you? Oh, that was uh, that was what we were supposed to get when we died to what's his name. Glad you're playing this so I don't have to. You're welcome. I just need to figure out where they want me to go. They said it was just straight to the north. Don't know if I believe them. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know, we never did figure out a way to make this guy. Uh, maybe we can give him the speed boots and that would fix his problem. Or we could just stand here and wait. What happens if you get in the turt lays way? <sighs> All right. Whoa, watch the heel, buddy. Because this goes to. Oh! I didn't want to go to Bravinsky. I thought it was maybe over that way because there's the. Well, that's the crazy lady. It has to be that area that was over by the, uh, where that metal door was that was closed. Oh, please! Come on, hit the grass. Shit.
I just want to see the end of this dumpster fire. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do, 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 do. All I want to do. Maybe I can just jump the water. The answer was no. Speed boots are the most reasonable solution. I just hate the fact that, uh... Yep, that's out. <laughs> I just want this to be over. <laughs> and I'm too lazy to walk all the way there. So I just keep gambling on the speed boots and we know it ain't gonna work. We know it shan't work. Boy, it has it has been an adventure. Please. <laughs> hey, tis please. <laughs> Are we gonna need a tap at the mode if you want to stop bouncing? Probably. It certainly seemed like that, but I'm not sure. All right, let's try tab a thing. Oh, there I go. I don't know where I went, so I'm going to assume I'm dead. Yes. As much as I wanted Tabitha mode to be the solution, it was not. That little cat in there is just me, me, me. Well, I wonder if you could run slow with speed boots. You can. Like you can hold shift. That's interesting. Oh. That. That's interesting. I wish I had known this. Uh, all those hours ago. What's happening? It's the gate to the lair. I think it's reacting to the plot keys. Oh, there it goes. It's gone. The final dungeon. Well, here we are, Tabitha, the final boss. Amazing. Who would have expected a farm boy from Borington to be on the verge of rescuing the princess? I didn't, but I'm glad I gave I know I didn't, for sure. I did, because it's my destiny. Sure, Lance. Let's just do it. <laughs> sure, sure, Lance, whatever. Lance, is something wrong? I can't shake the feeling that something's a little off. You know, come to think of it, I feel that way, too. You remember Lord Tapton warning us about all the enemies we'd see as soon as we crossed the border? Carnivorous plants and such? We didn't see any. Plus, there weren't any enemies in this final dungeon. Normally, you don't just enter the final dungeon and walk right up to the final boss without facing any enemies. I thought that seemed odd myself. Do you think he's trying to psych us out? I bet that's it. But does it matter? Really? We're here. Let's just do it! You're right as usual, Tab. Here we go. Alright, here we go, gang. <sighs> Here comes the dupe. <laughs> equal rights for enemies, equal rights for enemies. <laughs> enemies on strike. 
<laughs> Enemies demand safe work and get this shit. <laughs> Down with hero privilege. What is this? It looks like the enemies have gone on strike. What? How am I gonna have a final boss battle if the enemies are all on strike? Hey everybody. Uh Bob Dad, what are you doing here? You're not enemies, you're NPCs. We stand in solidarity and support of our enemy brethren. We will not sit and let corrupt elitist game developers continue to provide poor working conditions and limited continue. I can hardly blame them. What with you running around, flaunt your hero privilege at them. Son, while you're gallivanting. <laughs> while you were gallivanting around the kingdom chasing a princess, the dozen of enemies in this game have endured oppressive conditions just trying to earn an honest living. How do they're living? They're earning their living honestly. As long as game developers and their unmitigated greed, people like us must resist. Today it's enemies, tomorrow it could be NPCs. The day after it could be heroes like you. Join us, son. Join our strike. Resist the oppressor. Look, if you want me to go on a sympathy strike, fine with me, but I'm not interested. I just want to rescue the princess and get out of here. Do you callously turn your back on the underprivileged? Yeah, because they're enemies. You're no son of mine. Hey, Pelly, it's Lenny! Remember me? You killed me back at the chateau. I'm Lenny. Bedroom, top floor, blue carpet. Oh, yeah, how's it going? Not too bad. How about you, dude? You just made it uh, Just made it to the final boss battle. You seem like you're doing pretty well. Yeah, I suppose. Lenny, out of curiosity, why aren't you angry? All the other strikers want to rip me apart. Ah, I don't care about all this communist bullshit. I'm just here for the chicks. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is the best time to score the chicks. And they're all worked up. The full game. Hey there. <laughs> What's nice? What do you think you're doing? Oh, nothing, man. Listen, you scabbing prick. You stay on your side of the picket line. Capiche? We're not letting you rescue the princess until our demands are met by the game developers, so scram. You know, here, old buddy, old pal. I'm all for enemies' rights, you know. I'm right behind you, friend. And I'd love to join you right here at the picket line, but you know I can't fully concentrate on picketing because I'm so concerned about the princess. She's innocent and all this, you know? So I'll just go ahead and get the princess and take it back to her father, you know? Can even help your cause. Uh, Carmiana is known to favor workers. I'm not letting you take the princess from here. Okay, but I'm not letting you take the princess from here. Did you just try to attack me? Uh. Well, you think that's gonna work? You think I'm. <laughs> you think I'm real human flesh that you can attack with a weapon? I'm not human flesh. I'm a video game character. I made of vertices, faces, and textures. Look. See? A near, the near clipping plane of the camera cuts off my arm because I'm just geometry, okay? When you attack me and I take damage, it's not because you're injuring my flesh. It's because I'm just doing what I was programmed to do. But the game developer insists on programming unfair working conditions for my enemies and me. We're not going to do what we're programmed to do. We're going to strike. What are you talking about? What kind of unfairness do they program into you? What do you expect? Not to take damage when I attack? No, it's continues. This strike is all about continues. That's right. Look, I'm a boss. You come to my chamber to fight me. Now, I can defeat you a hundred uh, times, but every single time I defeat you, you can just continue and we fight again. But if you defeat me just once... You get to go on and rescue the princess. How is that fair? That's called hero privilege, and it's disgusting unfairness built into the system. My fellow enemies are on strike to, pr to protest the iniquity, and we will not rest until the game developers meet our demands for a fair workplace. No, I won't even rest if you attack me with your imaginary sword. So get out of here, hero scum. I'm across the line again. Oh yeah, well, yeah, we could we could scythe him. I do feel like the scythe is gonna come into play at some point. It didn't. Move along, foul human. Don't talk to me, oppressor. Take your hero privilege somewhere else. What about you? Beware, foul hero, the revolution is coming. Soon it'll be the time of the servants of Pythagoras to rise up and assert the hypotenuse. Ha ha! They will depose the even with his two legs, and then's come the dawn of the oblique one, the dusk of the righteous. Oh yeah, the day will soon come. The king has admonished your uh, your revolutions among walking uh, walking among the waiting ones for too long. The baker bakes his soup, and the sander sands his beach. And for what? For the Marxist hegemony? Ha ha! That will usurp the effervescent presence of fairness, the continuity of the discreet, the axiom of choice. Constructability of the lies, the slanders of the well-ordered will no longer go unheeded. The great falls of truth of the <laughs> shall be exposed. 
<laughs> I paste you, I paste you, you lie, the truth of the averred, the fib, ha <laughs> ha. Pelicans too, all of this, these soldiers of the disavowed, they will rise to the stars and invoke a truce upon the human, and all shall be rendered. Yeah, I'm gonna go talk to somebody else. Alright, well, I guess, um... It's the rats! If this isn't Sa the Sam for the Ron's Lair. You know, when I was in the Ron's Lair, I overheard your compensation with your friend Ralph. I wonder where he is. That Ralph, that bum, he's not here. He seemed to be quite against, uh... Quite against it, the human? Uh, you'd figured he'd be striking. Ralph is a first-class grifter, complainer, and loser. He never pulls his weight at work, and we never even heard... We never even heard he let you pass without so much as threatening you. He did. Now that there's a chance to actually do something about the human, you, uh, for unfair labor practices, he's sitting at home complaining that we're all costing him his paycheck. What a bum. You said it. But there's a princess in danger. Oh, yeah. Yep, there sure is. Alright, well, uh... Okay, that, did, that didn't go very far. Well, I guess we'll just leave. I'll tap. I don't know what else we can do. The enemies are striking. They won't let me rescue the princess. I think we're going to have to resolve the strike somehow. It's the only way we can make progress. I think you're right. The only thing I don't think... The only thing is, I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Have you noticed how many loose ends are still open? Like, what about the what about the Rikahedron? Isn't that supposed to play into this somehow? And remember Gary? What happened to him? Nothing ever came of that. As this whole chunk of the kingdom is still under construction? Yeah, but I don't think the game is finished. I think this is just an installment. You make some good points. I have to agree with you. This is definitely just the first installment. We're at the end. Oh, what do we do? I guess all that's left to do is roll the credits. We can do that with the creditor app. Well, uh, that's, um, wow. <laughs> that is... That is almost exactly how I knew that game would end, in some terrible, stupid ending. I just... <laughs> oh, shit. That was something else, man. What a day, what a day to be alive, and what a game to see. Holy shit. And what a wet noodle of a game. <laughs> but like, in the best way possible. I don't know, that's why I'm waiting, because I have this weird feeling that it's like not actually the end of it. Because it is a full game, so it's not like this actually is listed as an installment, or at least I don't think it is. I didn't buy it myself. Deranged Optician bought it for me, so... But we're gonna find out here in a second, Ford. Python Software Foundation, Blender Foundation. The Foundation of Blenders. My eyebrows are so bushy, they rub them oil- them, their oily selves. The Diddy of Carmiana 2, the search for more plot keys in which Pelicus 2 visits other major biomes of the kingdom, including Tossieri, Banksera, and the crime-ridden principality of Etho Ethostoia. Come on, I started making this game as a hobby in 2006. You know very well this game is never going to be finished. You'll be lucky to get some of the DLC updates for this installment. Wow. <laughs> Shout out to Carl Banks for just being like, let's be fucking honest, that's probably not going to happen. Well, I have to say, uh, well, the game crashed right there at the end. So, uh, that was, in a lot of ways, uh, superb. I, uh, I mean, the, the, the pacing of it's pretty good. Uh, I, man. God, hashtag enemy rights. <laughs> yeah, that was, um... 
That was really good. I, uh... Yeah, I, I feel like... I mean, I feel like, again, I, I kind of saw that coming, right? But... <sighs> that was pretty fantastic. I love the idea of the enemy strike being the end of the game and you don't actually get anything else. There's also... There's a bunch of achievements I didn't get. Like, a lot of them. Which makes me wonder if there was, like, something else to this. Uh, none of them are hidden, though, from the looks of it. Rocket science, pass the aerospace engineering thing. Marksmanship, get a zero score on the shooting gallery game. I don't even know how the hell you're supposed to do that. Uh, do the cutscene and scenic overlook while carrying a pot. Pottery with Margaret, talk to wa Margaret while carrying a pot. Okay, if you talk to a bunch of people with the pot, that does something. Fill your purse with 100,000 miles. Oh my god. Have your credit card suspended by the bank of... <laughs> you get this one called not good with money. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I liked it, though. I think that was, uh... Oh, yeah, I guess you have to hit the bullseye every single time. God, that's funny. Uh, this game is only, like, eight or nine dollars on Steam right now. Uh, it's... If you want to play through it yourself and try to do some different shit, you're, you're more than welcome to. Now that we know that you can, like, shift-click to run faster in the speed boots, I think that's probably worth noting. Uh, this was, this was really funny. And, and I mean that, like, genuinely. Like, there's... There's a lot there's a lot of humor to be had in this and that's very impressive so uh there's no dlc this just came out on april 16th and i'm gonna be honest i seriously seriously doubt we'll ever see that i don't know i don't know if there was a twatter for this it's either it'd either be under tempered evidence or uh i actually like that name uh, tempered evidence is indeed not it, or it's just Carl Banks. Uh, which there are, there are quite a lot of Carl Banks out there, so I don't think that it's Carl Banks. Uh. Maybe it was an early access for a long time or something. It may, may have just gotten put on, on Steam or something. What an interesting... I would definitely put it up there with, like, Candice DeBeebe or some shit. Because I feel like it is... Yes, it was on IndieDB for a while, it looks like. Released back in 2014. This, this was done... Oh, there was a demo back in 2014. And this one ends when you... Like, right after the game starts, basically. Yeah, so there were, like, updates and stuff added to it and whatever, but it seems like... Oh, I think it's definitely better made than Candace DeBeebe. I also just appreciate Candace DeBeebe's fucking, like... Oh, okay, he it's Tampered Ev, that's what it is. Okay, so the full game's on Steam now. Six confirmed crashes. There's definitely a lot more than six. Uh. Yeah, no, this was really fun. Yeah, the guy's the guy's name is uh It's Carl Banks is his name. So that was uh that was great though. I had a really good time. This game took like 16 years to come out. No, it did. I don't think we're ever going to see any other... <laughs> I don't think we're ever going to see a follow-up to this. Unless it sells really well. Um... Yeah, which, which is which is possible that it, that it could sell well. I I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, it's 16 more years. I think Carl's going to... Carl's going to be dead before that happens. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I mean, that was great. I had a really good time with that. And I hope, uh, I hope you guys had fun too. It's always fun to have a whacked out Wednesday game that kind of ends up being a bit more interesting than, you know, just falling flat on its face and just being stupid or whatever. So, uh, now I did want to, <laughs> the village is indeed aroused. 
Uh, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess, shit, I guess we'll wrap up there. I wonder if anybody's actually playing this. Let's see. Uh, the Diddy of Carmiana. If there's anybody else playing this game, we should raid them. There is no one else playing it. Well, I guess that's just going to be it for the night then. Uh, but we will be back tomorrow. I have no idea what we're playing tomorrow. I don't know if we'll do more Neo or if it'll be a little bit more long drive. But I did want to say thank you to all you guys for the support. We are almost up to 1,000 subscribers. We're at 973. So thank you guys so much for that. That is incredible. Uh, and I hope you guys had fun. And uh, thank you for all the support throughout the night, even though Stream Elements was being a little weird earlier. Tactics? Final Fantasy Tactics? No. <laughs> Are you talking about tenderfoot tactics? But uh, you guys are more than welcome to uh, follow on Discord and Twitter if you're new to the stream. There is also, of course, the VODs channel, which is where all of the VODs go up, which are uh, nice and nice and pristine. And then there's the main YouTube channel, which is where we put up more produced style stuff. So you're more than welcome to uh, go subscribe to both of those and also go check out both of the Sokals. Uh, but that is going to be it for me. Thank you guys for everything tonight. I hope you had fun. I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Goodbye.